jewellery makers. <laughs> we are clashing slightly, aren't yeah. we? Oh, do you know what? It. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because it's all about colour today, isn't it, Hannah? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> Hannah Osborne, everyone. Hello. Yay. <laughs> We've got... Um, We've got an amazing show today. I know. We've got lots of lovely goodies. Yeah, there's <laughs> honestly, there's loads and loads and loads of colour. I do feel like we may have turned a corner with the weather. But you've said it out loud now. I know. Uh, <laughs> yes, touching wood, touch wood. It was chilly this yeah, morning, yeah. though. It was it chilly was. yesterday as well. But uh, it does feel like it's, uh, yeah. Well, yesterday it was like waking up in winter and then I was mowing the lawn in the evening. Yes! My <laughs> husband mowed the lawn. He absolutely loved it. He came home and said, I'm going to mow the lawn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, talk to us about your kits today, Hannah. Um, well, so I've got a plethora of flowers um, oh. in my lovely Lucite uh, flower Yay. kits. And they are beautiful, bright, lovely, like, well, cheerful colours, aren't mm. they? They're lightweight. They're quite striking. They add a pop of colour to your, you know, yes. your whatever you're going to wear. Um, and there's loads of them in really affordable size packs, I So, yeah, yeah. We've, we've done new site flowers before yeah. where we've done massive, massive kits, which have been brilliant. But actually today what we've done is we have um, condensed the kits down. They're a little bit smaller, which makes them so unbelievably affordable. So, yeah, these are coming your way. We've got so many different colourways, uh, which we're really excited about. Your 12 o'clock And then kits. the 12 o'clock. They're adorable. Have you seen how long those strands are? Yeah. You one metre length. <laughs> <laughs> you could. You could do a bit of skipping. Uh, one metre length of your shell pearl in, in lots of gorgeous colours, as you can see there, with your seed beads as well. It's just an absolute, an absolutely wonderful plethora of colour we've got going on today. Um, of course, um, we've got the gang with us today as well. And we've got... Kinga is literally, she is running around this studio. She's just on kind of, fire. Ethan's, Ethan, there, there he is. Yay! Yay! Hiya! <laughs> we got Niri Nuna Nani Nani Nani. We got Ale, 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 Ale. Computer's broken again. Oh no. <laughs> brr, brr. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Or a gentle tap. <laughs> a gentle tap. I don't know, it's just one of those things. Oh, he'll get there, he'll get there. What do you do when, when technology fails? Make a cup of tea. <laughs> Make a cup of tea. There we go, that's what to do. So, it fixes everything, doesn't it? It does. Well, <laughs> I, I, think, I think my husband had, uh, when he was a child, the, uh, the, the garage flooded. And, my, uh, and, and, and his, his mum came into the garage and just went, right. Going to put the kettle on. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Uh, so there we go. Um, but yes, go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. We've got lots and lots and lots of deals on the website. It is a viewer's choice in the eight o'clock hour today, so everything's going to be with you until nine o'clock, and then it's all going to disappear. But look, we got zebra jasper, African jasper, high luster metallic purple fireball, cultured pearl. Oh, the ruby strand, which is the best strand of ruby we've ever had. Multicolour coated spinel. Uh, we've got black diamonds, mermaid quartz, Ooh, um, Mayukis, angelite. Look at this. We've got the uh, uh, jewellery pouch. We've got the earring stands. That malachite looks amazing. Black jade carvings. Gorgeous earrings. I mean, all of this. Uh, please do go ahead and get it. It's all available till nine o'clock this morning and then it's going to be taken away so get all these deals ahead of time most of the prices are set as well which is great to see a six carat tanzanite oval cabochon for under 30 pounds these deals are crazy near oh look at those head pins oh look imperial topaz oh we have picked up That's the scrolling loads, face there loads of stuff. And we've got a closeout deal Ooh. for multicolour spinel coming up towards the end i'm in fact you know what? i'm going to show this to you because it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous gorgeous strand this is going to be coming your way towards the end of the hour. <laughs> Multicolour ombre spinel coming your way uh, in this hour. We've also got gorgeous jasper. Now, your deal of the day today is fossilised quartz. And with the fossilised quartz, we've also popped in... No, your deal of the day is the fire line. What am I talking about? The deal of the day is the fire line. Gee whiz. We've got, for the very first time ever... 
125 yard reels. Whoop, whoop. Oh <laughs> my gosh, we've got them in black satin, smoke, and we've got them in crystal as well. So, I mean, Hannah, this is, you, you put a photograph of these on your social I, media. I, did, I, I almost forgot to, because I was thinking, I wonder if I'm allowed to. I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just yes. going to say, yeah, by the way, so I just put a photograph of, of me holding all three and everyone went nuts. It was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to have this colour, I'm going to have that colour. So these bad boys are going to be coming up at 10am. We've got crystal, um, sorry, what am I talking about? Uh, Fossilised quartz coming up. Uh, as well in the 10 o'clock. We've also got some ammonite, some amylite, some jet and amber. Basically lots of lovely fossilised stuff coming up in the 10 and the 11. So great, great, great themes today. Shall we get going? Yeah. What are we starting with? Mermaid quartz. Oh, hello. A mermaid quartz is on in the background. Catch a mermaid. Before we do anything else, <laughs> let's go to the Wall of Fame and see some of your incredible designs. So, uh, we've got the Wall of Fame today. Um, we're starting off with number... Mm, I've got number 100, but that says 101. We can start with 101, that's fine. That's okay, we can start with 101. Uh, Katura Dixon. Hello, good morning to all at JM. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Uh, promise this year I will enter every week. So far, missed four. Oh, do you know what? It, 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 it happens. Life is busy. It's a pearl and seed bead necklace uh, with sterling silver clasp matching earrings can be worn on both sides, lilac or bronze. A feeling of satisfaction after finished uh, water palm, sun, uh, palm Sunday service and had a few comments. All items from JM hoping for a win. Good luck to all. That's lovely. Can I imagine you wearing that to put to a Palm Sunday service? Gorgeous. Well done. Best of luck. Looking forward to seeing your entry next week. Mm, don't let us down. <laughs> Lisa Walkton, you're number 102. Um... Sorry, that wasn't a threat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, please see attached major for this week's Wall of Fame. Three simple stretchy bracelets I was commissioned to make from silver-coated hematite and a 95 sterling silver bar. All items are from JM. Good luck to my fellow woffers, says Lisa. Oh, they're really nice. They remind me of the ones that you made, the wraparound well, ones. Yeah, so, so one of them's got the, the um, spacer bar in there. So I, I, I love those because they fit really neatly, don't they? They were beautiful. But they're, they're fab stackers, aren't they? Yeah, gorgeous. Who's yours, uh, your first entry for uh, I've got Angela Aronson. Uh, it says uh, it says number 103. I'm not sure if our numbers are... Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it says, Ooh. Dear JM crew, please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Pearl and eye light rings uh, made with beads from a bead scoop and wire. All materials from JM. I've been watching JM since 2014. Oh, love. And I think that the live shows sets you aside from your competitors and being able to see the gemstones on oh, screen makes a big Angela. difference. Angela. Also, the presenters and guest designers oh. are amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we'll pay later. However, yes, however, the post. Oh, <laughs> however, I really hope you will increase the number of hours on air uh, in the future since I rarely get to watch you live as it is now. Uh, keep up the good work, JM. Good luck to all the waffers. Thank you, Angela. That is such a lovely... Angela lives in Gothenburg. Oh, my God. I know. She's a really lovely lady. And we've been getting Wall of Fame entries from her for years. She's such a lovely Literally, lady. Yes. Full of positivity. That's pretty Thank much the so start, much. isn't it? Hmm? That's pretty... That's almost... Yeah, pretty much, pretty yeah. Much the beginning, isn't Thank it? Thank you, Angela. Yeah. Okay, so the next one I have is... Uh, oh, let's see if I can say it right. Karen Romanovsky. Oh! That's a great name. That's a name and a half. Vikings. That's a gorgeous name. <laughs> Oh no, we've got we've got we've got Angela Aronson with the Vikings, and now what, what's what's Ovsky is? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't they know. all sound like powerful names. They do, don't they? It says hi all. Another rosary linked lariat necklace this week, made with beautiful shell pearls, AB coated fasted clear quartz rounds, and good luck to everyone who's entered. That's Gorgeous. Thank you so it? much, Karen. That's beautiful. And then Norma Cowie says hi all. Uh, can I please enter the serpentine and hematite yes. necklace to the waff this week? Everything's from JM. As always, good luck to all in the draw and big thanks to all at JM. Oh, thank you, Norma. Norma. That's gorgeous. Caroline Brown, you're number 106. Uh, lovely Caroline. Oh, whoa, that's wow. lovely. Oh, I like 
I like the way she's displayed that. Uh, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a ruby set into a silver mount using the Jewelry Maker Gem Setting Toolkit, which is great value for all the tools you get. Uh, good luck to all the entrants. Best wishes. That's from lovely Caroline. Thank you, my lovely. Um, who's our last entry from today, Hannah? Uh, Sue got. Sue got what? That's what Sue got what? <laughs> <laughs> she's got the jewellery. She's made the bracelet. There we go. Oh, I don't know. It's lovely. I like that little flower in the photograph. Um, what does she say? Says, hi, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a pre-night bracelet with sterling silver clasps. Sweet. Beautiful gems, as always, from JM. Thank you, Sue. Oh, oh, everyone's so... I know someone called Harriet Gott. I wonder if they're related. Oh, maybe. Know. I don't know. It's an unusual surname. I know. This is, this is it. I've never met anybody else called Gott. Got apart from Harry. Got what? Got what? Oh gosh, I bet she's she gets got that. the lot. Oh, she's literally <laughs> got the lot. She's got the jewelry making bug. I bet she gets that all the time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> phenomenal. Right. Okay. Oh. We're going to hopefully. Oh. Oh. Start oh. with some sterling silver <laughs> wire. Um, let's just see. We might be doing prices off the website today. We don't really know. Um, sterling silver wire. There it is. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> Number 46. So that's uh, five metres of your 0.4 millimetre gauge sterling silver wire, which, of course, is a wonderful wire for doing your kind of rosary linking, your weaving, isn't it? Um, yeah, so is this <clears> the 0.4, did you say? Yes. Yeah. So, so this is kind of like, um, I, I did some work with um, the lovely Claire, and she was sort of saying it's really nice to have like a structural wire and a binding wire, and we call this one a binding wire because you, like, you can attach mm -hmm. all of your bigger um, strands together. Absolutely. But it's oh. strong enough to make links from itself. Well, I, I think it's surprisingly mm. strong. A, a lot of people think they can't do things like rosary linking with it, but you actually can, you can do. Yeah. Um, it's just that, you know, you're used to maybe saying 0.8 or one millimetre gauge wire, but actually you absolutely can. Uh, Manchester, Hertfordshire, Greater Manchester, West Midlands, London, Cumbria, Norfolk, 9.99 is your price point today. Get involved. Three different ways you can get involved with jewellery maker. that's the point. For, you know I or I can say that probably almost yeah. definitely is so that's, yeah that's a, a thing that holds my glasses around my neck <laughs> during the day <laughs> but bashes on a microphone when you're on television a spectacle chain a spectacle chain a spectacle lanyard maybe I don't know <laughs> lanyards are all the rage at the minute aren't they, they? Are, kind of phone know. lanyards lanyards to hold beer pints as well <laughs> have I you haven't seen noticed those? that but if it's still the rage why just you can buy a lanyard <laughs> so so because if you hold on to your pint for too long it gets it gets warm so uh oh, you just hang it around your neck <laughs> yeah okay of course i know about things like that it's, uh, right. it's obviously festival time coming up and things like that exactly so <laughs> bad boy spinel coming up towards the end of the hour what do what, what do you want me to do now lovely Oh, these ones. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, these are so sweet. That adds to the plethora of flowers that I've got today. <clears throat> Doesn't it? Just, you get these gorgeous, gorgeous uh, floral beads, floral designs here. Are they beads? Are they slices? Is it just complete? I think they're slices, yeah. So how am I going to use these? Maybe they'd in my... They'd resin. be fab in, yeah, fab in resin. resin. If you've got anything like milliput, that would work. If yeah. You, maybe, maybe polymer clay. I'm, not, oh, sure about, I'm not sure about the... I wonder what that thing. was. It's a face. Okay, that's good. At least I know. Oh, there we go. There, look. Yes. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these beauties. That's a face, just so oh. you're aware. So cute, oh. isn't it? It's adorable. Look at smiley face. I know, isn't he lovely? <laughs> They're gorgeous, aren't they? They remind me of the old style um, paperweights. I think my grandma might have had one. Um, I think I know what you the mean. The dome yeah. top, yes. Oh, they're so sweet, aren't they? Oh, they're very cute. I mean, I can, I can imagine you could make sort of like a resin coaster or something, couldn't you? Exactly like, that. You know, yeah. like the dot art would be, but with little pieces of glass in resin. That would look fabulous. Absolutely. That would just be gorgeous. Beautiful. OK, they're about to go Six ninety nine for those. Well done. Let's do a bead cap collection. That sounds exciting. What do, you, what do we love about bead caps, Hannah? What are your... Uh... Um, well, I think they just add a bit of bling, you know, a bit of embellishment. So um, they, they kind of, they, they sit either side of your beads and, and just uh, sort of go, hey, look at this bead kind of thing. You yeah. Know? It's like, it's, it's, um, it's a way of Ooh. making a focal point um, or just a way of adding a little bit of sparkle, you know. Yeah. So it kind of creates punctuation, like, yeah. a, like quite literally a bracket, you know, when yes, you use bracket like, when like you're... brackets. Yes. It's kind of, it, it really does highlight um, your pieces so well. Um, 
as decorative as decorative pieces there. They're just gorgeous. These are all silver plated base metal. Yeah, Patricia <laughs> Maker in Cheshire, another maker coming through. Gorgeous designs here, some lovely floral pieces. They also make great things like this. If you just feed that onto a um, feed that onto a head pin. That's going to work beautifully, maybe in a little fascinator or a little or a little brooch. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. They're really beautiful. I'm not, I've not seen that box <clears> of them before. Actually, I, I kind of need one of those. They're I'm nice, aren't the they? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? And and it's going to make such a difference to your jewellery as well. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Elaine, Tracy, Dorothy, Maker, Patricia, well done to you. Loads of people coming through. Eleven ninety nine today. You get sixty. That's ten in each design uh, for eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Get involved when you can. You get your thirty day money back guarantee. Alison's there as well. Great to see you, my lovely. Um, loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Can I just say as well, anything you want to get from the website, please do because items are only available till nine o'clock and then they're all going to disappear. So do have another look. What do we got? Mixed colour coated hematite. We've got the wooden ply stand with four sets of plies. The best strand of ruby in the world. Black diamonds in the world. In the world. Mermaid quartz has sold out already. Sterling silver connector with Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I quite fancy that. It's so nice. You can yeah. have a look at it if you want. It's beautiful. We did it as, a, oh, as a, an early bird on gosh. Sunday, I think it was. It's beautiful. Metallic pearls. Uh, no, they don't have holes. No holes, Debbie. Sorry. The slices. The slices. Let's move on, everyone. Yes, I do, Neera. How did you know? <laughs> Neera said, I heard you like spacer beads to go with I the bead caps. I love spacer beads. I love them. I, I love them more. Well, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I, I'm, quite, I'm quite passionate about them. You make, <laughs> she does make significantly more jewellery than I do. So, yes, you're allowed to love them more. Uh, in um, particular, I love these little daisies. Do you? Yeah. They're I just, so cute, They are so they? cute, but oh, they've even no. teamed them up, like, just on their own as little clusters of the spaces. And then it looks like a bigger sort oh, of metallic bead. What a nice idea. Or you can just have them as dainty and individual. Oh, that's so sweet. So these ones are kind of a lovely kind of square shape. Like a shreddy. I think they look a little bit like a, a shreddy. A little bit like a shreddy. Or oh, those, those, those biscuits as well, aren't they? With those, like, oh, kind yes, of those lovely, um, I think they're French biscuits. Aren't yes, they, they are. Nice. I can't think what they're called. Lovely floral <laughs> ones. And then you get, look, these. Tubes. Lovely tubes. Oh, these are nice, nice spaces. Silver plated base metal again. Pack of 100. Pack of 100. Oh, no, Mr. Zero. Pack of 1,000. That is a lot of spacers. I did do them out of 10 times the amount, didn't I? That is not good. That's not good. Um, Sylvia, well done to you, my lovely, in Wolverhampton. Gorgeous. Bit of a casualty there with a the little pot. I'll just put my hand there. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You I just know noticed this. <laughs> I know. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving. Anne, well done to you in Kent. <laughs> Loads of people coming through. Debbie, well done to you. <laughs> Neri, when you were on floor, did you used to eat? Pots. <laughs> that, that doesn't like a little bite mark. Or maybe Kinger is just particularly hungry. Aww. Although I did just walk past somebody in the um, in our canteen area, um, there was a lady in there making herself a cup of a cup of <laughs> a cup of coffee, and she she had a jam jar full of sugar, and she got not a teaspoon. I reckon it was a good dessert spoon. Two oh my. dessert spoons of sugar to put in her coffee. That's quite a lot, isn't it? That's not coffee. That's syrup. <laughs> no, 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 spoon will stand up. And, anyway, none of my business. Whatever, whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> I know, whatever you need to get through the day. Rocket fuel, that's yes. what she's made. <laughs> she's not decanting anything into the, uh, into the coffee. I used to have lots of sugar in tea. When, when, I, when I was, I think it was either 12 or 13, and my <laughs> grandma said, it's about time you started to drink tea. I was like, is it? And actually I was just presented with this cup of tea and she put three heat spoons of sugar in. Ugh. And it was, it was kind of like, I was so determined to be grown up, I drank it. <laughs> and then I became hooked on sweet tea at the beginning. And I've had to wean myself off now so I don't need sugar Thank at all. Thank goodness for that. My, you have no teeth left. Wired. What are we, what are we doing now, love? <laughs> yes, this chain is absolutely wicked. That's amazing, actually. So this is silver plated base metal again, which I think is brilliant because, of course, we can bring you 10 metres I don't know about you, Hannah. I'm instantly thinking, right, well, first of all, I can't find the end. There we go. The end is here. I'm going to layer it up. 
this is just absolutely gorgeous, yeah, isn't it? I, I, absolutely. I, I definitely do that. And if you've got other sort of like um, rosary link chains as well, you can make multi sort of layers and have gemstones and then sections that have just, just got little bits of the, the silver with the ball chain in there. Oh, how gorgeous. And then ha is it an open link as well? So you can, yeah, you can get a featherweight head pin through those links as well. So also, you, if you want to add things on there. You can embellish it as well. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Got it in a right angle. Never mind. <laughs> Anna's the jewellery maker. Uh, good morning. My hubby loves putting maple syrup in his coffee. Oh, OK. Interesting. That reminds me of the scene out of Elf where he has the pop tarts with the lucky charms and the and the maple syrup. I do, I do like maple syrup, though. You like those lovely flavoured coffees, don't you? Well, I, I did, but then they, they upgraded their recipe and now I don't like it anymore. Oh. They did something to it. It was like I was I was obsessed with this one particular. It was a chocolate orange flavoured coffee. Which was delicious, yes, because I bought myself some after you gave me some. I was like, well, oh gosh, I must well, have this. I, I really, I, I honestly, well, you didn't go anywhere without it, did I? <laughs> Literally, I've got to carry it in my handbag because nobody else has it. And then... They've changed it, and now it tastes a bit sort of... Well, I would it. write a strongly worded email yeah, to, the, to the manufacturer. <laughs> um, 11 99 I went through cold turkey to get onto a different one. Yes. <laughs> it's like... I need it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, send... Send... Oh. <laughs> we had a lovely message about the chain, but unfortunately... Um, the last part of your message is quite rude, so we're not going to read that one out. Eleven ninety nine. <laughs> you're gorgeous, Jane. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. Yeah, we, there will be demos today. Don't worry. Um, gorgeous. Oh, well done. Okay, that's okay. What What's next? Picture Jasper Meter Strand. I've got it. I've got it. Nearly, I've got it. Oh, look Ooh. at that! Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? It's like it's like an antique map, isn't it? <gasps> they really are like well, they they're oh. called picture Jasper for a reason, but they really they really are like little scenes, aren't they? They it's really just, are. They're gorgeous, like an Indiana Jones map or like or Star Wars or something, or yes. something like that. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Pirates of the Caribbean treasure map. Ooh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's just gorgeous, Jasper. I, I, honestly, I stand by this. Jasper, Jasper is one of the most diverse gemstones. One of the most diverse gemstones in the world. Look at all of this. It's absolutely, both of these are Jasper. They're both absolutely gorgeous. It, it's quite incredible, isn't it? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it is like it's the map to the Olmec mines, oh, isn't it? Yes. Morning, Caroline, Hannah, and crew. It's my birthday, and not in a hospital oh, bed. Oh yeah! <laughs> Got the millifury beads so far, and not stopping there, says Susan in Cambridge. I tell you what, don't you stop? Don't stop her. It's her birthday. Oh, Jill. Jill, we know you're lovely, darling. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I think I've totally misinterpreted your message. No, you're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Sorry, oh, Jill. <laughs> no, Jill. We love you, darling. Don't worry about. And no that. hospital bed. Whoop whoop. <laughs> so um, we've got. Um, <laughs> can we go towards the end. I know I'm the bad person now. Oh, Jill. Forgive me, darling. I'm sorry, lovey. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> sorry, it, darling. Anyone know what's going on today? <laughs> oh, Jill, yes. What day is it? I don't know what, I'm looking at this, I know. And then I'm looking at this. Oh, yes. Two left, Gorgeous. Imperial Topaz with your shell. That, yes. It's so good, isn't it, this Imperial Topaz? Um, is this beautiful. is amazing stuff. Uh, make us already through for this. Look, we've only got a couple of chances available. Uh, one of the rarest varieties of uh, Topaz comes from one mine in Brazil, the Capau Mines, uh, which are- Capau? Kapow! 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 Mines. Uh, there's probably, like a, there's Kapow! probably Kapow! about four or five miners mining for this gemstone right now. That's it. It's so rare. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It was $21.99. Unbelievable, Jeff. Mixed coated hematite. Is it me oh, or is it extraordinarily wow. hot in here? I am wearing <laughs> long boots with tights, so 
I don't... Is it hot? I'm all right at the minute, but give me 10 minutes and I'll, okay. <laughs> I'll have a power surge. <laughs> oh, what happened the other day? I'm, I'm so sorry, Carol. I'm so sorry. Um, so gorgeous mixed colour coated <laughs> hematite. Isn't this just gorgeous? Every time we bring hematite to air, it just flies. It's because it's amazing, isn't it? Like the fact that it's metallic and you've got all these different colours. It's a wonderful size. There are so many things you can do with that. I yeah. mean, it's perfect for your beady beads. It's perfect for your stretches. Well, just even, even the rosary linking you were showing us earlier on in yeah. that gorgeous chain. Perfect for things like rosary linking. Yeah. Well, it's got so many uses, hasn't it? That, that, but with, oh my gosh. I know, that, can you that imagine that? really striking. Oh, that's adorable. They're so sweet. Yeah, they've just got any glasses. I think because... <laughs> It's such a heavy gemstone as well. And physically, if you speak to if you speak to someone who's interested in uh, crystal healing, like if you speak to Susie Menham about it, it is a really beautiful grounding stone as well. So, you know, it, 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 you know, a lot of people believe there are huge benefits of wearing a stone like this. Um, and you really experience wearing it. It's not too light and fly away, is it? Uh, Jane, good morning, lovely ladies, on this beautiful sunny morning. When is the fire line coming on? Oh, I think you and everyone else wants to know this. Yeah, I, I told somebody on social media that I thought it might be in the 12 o'clock, but it could be earlier. So, so if you'll watch, I can't even remember. Which, it's 10. Me, but it's at 10. It's at 10. 10 o'clock, <laughs> I'd feel Sorry. devastated if she misses it. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Or maybe, actually, we could access your social media posts and then... Um, yes, can, yeah. yeah. Because we've got such limited amounts of these. So... I'm not sure if it was through because I've because I put it on my um, Jane Guest Designer thing and I also share it to the Share Your Makes page every time. So I'm she not basically sure puts which... it everywhere. I, yeah. <laughs> I post like, that. Hey, look what I've got. <laughs> Thirty nine ninety nine. Absolutely amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, Ollie, you're absolutely right. We've sold some serious quantities of Fireline. Um, this is, uh, we've got such small quantities today, just to make you aware, but it's going to be absolutely brilliant. 39.99, looking absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> but we are going to be taking it lower. Ollie's having problems with the clock this morning. It sounds like, yeah, there's gremlins in the yeah, system no, today. It, there are definitely, there's definitely someone in the system. I don't know who or what it is, um, but we're at 39.99. We're not going to be, oh, hello. There oh. we go. We're not going to be hey. staying there. We're going to be taking the price point down even lower for you today. All of this is going to disappear at 9 a.m. Uh, so anything that you want to get before then, do it, get it. If you want to request anything, please feel free to do that because it's all going to disappear at nine o'clock. Paul, well done to you as well. I can see you there. Uh, you've literally got 10 seconds and then we're going to be dropping the price point down. Maker in Dorset, I've got you there as well. Well done to you. Denise in South Yorkshire. So the fire line's coming up in the 10 o'clock hour today. We were thinking of... Um, we were thinking of um, putting it on pre-order, but we just can't because it will sell out before we even bring it to air. So we're not going to put it on pre-order, no matter how many times you ask, unless you give me a million pounds, maybe. $29.99. It oh, was me, Nikki, honey. It was, yes, okay. I'm sorry, Nick. I it completely went out of my head. I'm here. It, she says. I was really panicking then, thinking, I've told her it's probably 12. She's going to miss it. Oh. It's in the 10, darling. Don't <laughs> worry. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's your deal of the day today alongside the, uh, the fossilised uh, fossilized quartz. Really excited. Uh, 29 99 for you today. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Denise, check out. Well done, everyone. About to sell out. 60 seconds and then we're going to be take, <laughs> taking the details away. Well done, everybody. <laughs> You get a 30-day money-back guarantee with everything you get from Jewelry Maker. Plus, we are the UK's only dedicated jewelry making channel. Whoop, whoop. Woo, woo. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, isn't it? That pretty that is pretty amazing. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so uh, please do get involved. Hope you've got a nice few days lined up, maybe over the Easter uh, kind of bank holiday. Uh, we'll be with you, of course, all throughout that. I'm with you on Friday and Sunday. Debating whether or not to come in fancy dress on Sunday. Oh, I, think I don't you know. Should. I'm totally unprepared. So I, I don't know. Oh, you're come in as a bunny. <laughs> yes, I was kind of thinking of that. <laughs> or a chick. A ch oh my gosh, a chick. A that chick. would be amazing. <laughs> Lynn, well done to you. <laughs> Gorgeous. Who's this from, Hannah? Oh, hang on. Get my glasses on. Uh, good morning, lovely ladies and gents. I oh. love those Lucette flowers. Oh, and Ovsky. Ovsky. What? Hang on, hang on. My... 
I can't say that. Hang on. Oh, Zeitmeier. Obski, the name, the name. Zeitmeier. The last bit of the, the surname. Oh, I, the, power, the, the powerful name from, from earlier. That's right. Zitima in Ukraine. Oh, forgive us if, if we're saying, I, I can't pronounce it very well. But Thank you for that, Karen. You, you just, you sound like some kind of warrior princess, <laughs> you know. It's, like, it's a really cool name. Thank it's awesome. Mean. Thank you for explaining that. Yes. <laughs> right. Ovsky. I I'm, think I, is that I, another I, word I, for ovs, obviously. I, I know, but I, I, do you know what? Well my, my brain works in cartoons, so in my head, you are this, like, warrior kind of powerful woman crown. with like an amazing crown and yeah. maybe a cape or yes, something like that i don't know why my brain is weird i'm sorry <laughs> a cape as well a cape as well as a crown slight overkill i think yeah, <laughs> okay well if you're going to be a if you're going to be a warrior Zitania, princess, you apparently. want to be pretty impactful don't you <laughs> so, yes yeah. here we go I'm sorry Karen. <laughs> don't apologize here we go uh, we've got here sterling silver connector with a Sleeping Beauty Turquoise with a beautiful little sterling silver heart. This has got your name written all over it. It, it. absolutely has. I mean, if, I, I was just looking at it earlier thinking, I love turquoise. I love it's got a little heart because that's me and my little boy. Oh, <laughs> that's good. What yeah. a beautiful sentiment. Also, Hannah, you could, if you wanted to, you could take the little loop off the other side of the heart, off, off the little heart, couldn't you? That could be a lovely little charm on a bracelet. Oh, you could, yeah. I mean, I'd, prob I'd probably just add like a little pearl or a, li or a little, I don't know, a tanzanite or something, or his birthday maybe, like an amethyst. I like the fact that it's yeah. not symmetrical. Yes. I really like that. It's yeah. so modern, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. I mean, 1999 for you today. It's absolutely brilliant. Hi, Carol. Can I see number 27, please? Karen, yes, you can, my darling. We will bring that to air. Um, gorgeous. Yes, absolutely, my lovely. We're taking the price down again. I thought this was meant to be a viewer's choice. Like, these are the prices, Neary. Sometimes you have to be a bit aggressive, he's oh. saying. Oh. Good he grief. Was, he was singing earlier, so I know we're in trouble. Yes. He, he's, he's just, he's, he's in, he's in a, a chipper mood. He's in, <laughs> he's in the mood. He's in the mood today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, he's singing the Friday song. It's not Friday, it's Tuesday today, love. Is that, Julie? don't tell him, let him think it's Friday. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well done. Here we go, everyone. Get involved when you can. Go, go, go. Um, you get your 30 day. 30, 30 day money back guarantee, 12.99. Jane through for this, well done to you as well. This is absolutely fantastic, well done. Do you know what, it's, um, it's, it, it, it's great to have a laugh, isn't it? Um, uh, it, was on Sunday, it was Sunday night before bed, my husband and I were watching, not, not a laughing matter at all, we were watching um, uh, the movie of Luther. Oh, gosh. You okay. know the series, and yes. we're watching the movie, which was just terrifying. I went to bed in a really kind of scared, like, traumatised mood. So last night, we watched a bit of Run, Fat Boy Run, which is oh. just <laughs> with Simon Pegg, which is just hilarious. Well, Simon Pegg's brilliant anyway. He's gorgeous, isn't he? He's so isn't funny. He? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's absolutely. <laughs> I went to bed in a much better mood. Uh, Maker and Airshare, Nancy Gloria. I feel like I should open this up to everybody. What do you do for a laugh? I mean, I, I don't know whether. Ooh, I don't know the kind of messages we're going to be getting. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you're not as all warped as me. I don't know. Maybe you are. I think the sunshine helps, you know. The Doesn't fact, the fact that I was able just... to be in the garden in, in the evening, yes, it was quite late mm. and I was mowing the lawn. How lovely is that? <laughs> oh. Neary watched a trampolining video. Right, I've no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> he loves a trampoline. Near, yeah, okay. Beware earrings. How bling are these? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these beautiful beewers. These are Biwa pearls. This is um, directly inspired by a designer called Soru, who creates these absolutely gorgeous Baroque melded kind of masterpieces and I love all that crystal embellishment don't you yeah I mean it's it's very red carpet isn't it it's very um I'm going somewhere fancy you know or I'm dressed up fancy take me somewhere nice you know let's go out for dinner or let's do Abs something yeah precisely or if you've got um you know like a wedding or a party or something to go to it's nice just to have a little bit of bling isn't it, it? it so is yeah whether you're going to be going whether there's an event to go to or you're going to be nipping down the shops it doesn't it doesn't really matter 
And they're twenty nine ninety nine, an absolutely brilliant That's so price. me though. I'd put them on to go to Tesco. <laughs> yes, I really would. Go and pick to go and pick. I'm going really out. Must have Cubs makeup. Must have jewelry on. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, well done, everyone. Okay, let's get that price point down again. Here we go, everyone. Well done. Nineteen pounds ninety nine pence for you today. Absolutely awesome. Go, 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 go. Get involved, everybody. What an opportunity. Yeah, now, I mean, there's different things you can do with these. Those would just be lovely little earrings on their own, wouldn't they? But if yes, you, yeah. Uh, you know, they've got such great design, haven't they? Such lovely sparkle, even on the top. But if you wanted to take that bottom off and make that into a pendant, oh, maybe uh, you Yeah, could. you could, couldn't you? You, want, well, you, could have, you could have two pendants and then a, a, some stud earrings, or you could put something else on the loop at the bottom yeah. of, the, of, the, of the top section there. Nice idea. Jan, Karen, Jane, Venetia, uh, well into you, Helen... Uh, Judith, why don't you? The fine line is going to be my reward. I've lost two and a half stone in 14 months. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. That, that is awesome. Oh my goodness me. You go, Nikki. <laughs> that does sound like, yeah. Feel, if you'd have I've, said I've two and a half stone in like 14 weeks, I'd have been like, oh, need. gosh, it clearly <laughs> hasn't been eating. That sounds like you've been doing it really, really properly. well, really properly. That wow. is awesome. That is amazing. Nikki, that is so cool. Well done to you, darling. When's the fire line? 10 o'clock. <laughs> Mariska, I know, everyone, I feel like we just need it kind of tattooed across our heads. 10 o'clock. I feel like, they're, like it's going to be like, we have to hold the door shut because they're like, oh, the fire line. <laughs> it's like everybody wants to can't get it ahead of time. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well done. Oh, go on did, then. Did you? just say that yeah he did in the eight o'clock hour oh Th no this isn't them this that is shit is this it oh my god i could have sworn these were shell pearls look oh my gosh Good look me. at these bad boys bad boys what are you gonna do absolutely <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> your akoya pearls oh my gosh classic a classic, classic pearl with that mirror luster, with that incredible colour, beautiful petite size. Please, 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 whoever comes through to get this today, Kimberly, Julie, please, whoever comes through to get these today, please get your authenticity certificate. It's an extra 25p and it will say Okoya. Yeah, it will say Okoya on it. OK, so please, please, please get these as soon as you can and get your authenticity certificate. 299, we've got Julie, we've got Kimberly in Aberdeenshire. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. 30 second clock because we're not done. We're taking them down even lower. Get involved as soon as you can. And please do have a look on our website. All these items are going to disappear at 9 a.m. Um, so get them as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. I mean, I would never tell you what to do with this, but I mean, you could. Oh my goodness me. That has got Susie's name all over it, hasn't it? Mm. I could, I, she sort of wafted through the office the other day looking very glamorous with all her jade and pearls. She and always things. looks glamorous. She's, She's so ridiculous. stylish. She wears heels all the time. Oh, my God. All the time. I've even on dog walks. Literally all the time. On dog walks? Yeah, even on dog walks. It's crazy. Goodness me. <laughs> 175 for Akoya Pearls. And also, if you, if you, oh, it's so sad. If you, if you kind of do a bit of reading, do a bit of research, if you've, if you've seen any of the information we've been showing you about Akoyas and what's been happening to them over the last few years, lots and lots and lots of Akoya pearls have, um, have, 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 have died of a, a, a mystery virus. Um, and what that basically means is, is that really narrow gene pool, that, that, is, that is literally going. It's almost, it's very, very, very challenging to create uh, to culture Okoya pearls at this moment in time, purely because they're all, you know, so many of them are, are passing away through this Gosh. mystery virus. It's, it, it's just, it's so, so sad. So these are even more special. These are even more valuable than they would normally be. One, seven, five, gorgeous size. It's that classic size. It reminds me of um, Queen Elizabeth II. It yes, really does. Yeah. You know, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe for the coronation. Oh, one of the three bank holidays we've got in May. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Three bank holidays in May. May Day, May the... May the... Something? First. Yeah, May the 1st. 8th is the coronation. May the 8th. And then what, the one at the end. 20-something, is it? 25th, I want to say. Yeah, somewhere, something like somewhere that, near that. 
It's just basically my children are not going to be at school for the whole of May, basically. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 175 is your deal today. Well done. I've got Aberdeen cheer through. Do check your baskets out. Cardiff's checked out. Well done to you. Absolutely amazing. 10 o'clock, Fireline. I think if we say it every few minutes or so, then yes. it'll soak in. It'll like yeah. osmosis. It'll, it'll, yeah. Gorgeous. Well done. Oh, let us know. Things that make you giggle, things that make you laugh. What is it? What is it? <clears throat> oh, yes. I think uh, let's move on from that. I think we're just going to do a little impromptu star by. Hopefully we can do it. Uh, let's do a star by on the black jade carving. If you can, <laughs> you have to get this. <laughs> this is utterly, this is absolutely incredible um there are many i mean there are so many things that you uh, that, that there are to talk about with this this is that famous piano black jade it is so beautifully decadent it is the blackest of black I mean, the only thing i can think of that's as black as this is um uh, your um, black uh, spinel. It's got that kind of, that, that dead midnight black tone to it. Intensity, I suppose, is it? Yeah. The depth. The it? glossy luster yes. that you get. What I love about this is it's a gorgeous carving of flowers. Um, it's not obviously kind of, you know, um, Eastern inspired, you know, it's not a dragon or a pixu. It's that really beautiful kind of, they look quite Hawaiian, I think, these flowers. They look kind of... Um, like a gorgeous kind of rainforest, uh, kind of lush, kind of big flower to catch all that gorgeous rain. Um, the apertures that you've got going through here are just stunning. I've just got actually, and, and I, I mean, this is, you might not want to do this at all, but I've, I've just used the aperture at the top here. I've got a rose gold plated sterling silver head pin. You could, if you wanted to, create a little kind of pendant with this, you know, is it too big for an earring? No, I, I don't think so. I think it'd be amazing. Real, really sort of like, again, like I like that. I like that. Mind the sideburns. Mind the sideburns, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely is it. I mean, that would work, wouldn't it? I mean, you'd need another one, obviously. You'd have, you've got to get two. Or maybe you don't want that. Maybe you love that kind of asymmetry, that kind of mismatched kind of earring quality. Uh, but that is, the last one, that is incredible. Oh, Michelle Agunderhin, um, she, she was on... Who, sorry? Uh, Michelle Agunderhin, I was just trying to think what her, her actor thing is. I, I know of her as, the, as the, the head judge on the great interior design. Oh, um, does she wear mismatched show. earrings? She, she, she had something like one of the sorrow earrings on one side and then something on the other. They were, they were completely oh, so different cool. and they looked amazing. I'm so and not cool like enough to do that. the queen of like fashion and interiors yes. and all this stuff. It's amazing. I mean, it's such a beautiful thing to be able to own. It is incredibly valuable as we know. It's incredibly rare. It's incredibly coveted. And at £149, I think that is incredibly affordable as well. The jade pendant would look lovely with the angel light from yesterday and some pearls, says oh, Jill. Wow. A great idea, Jill. I love that idea. Well, if you make um, that, Jill, please send us the pictures. Oh, my gosh, that would I'd be amazing. I'd that. Yeah. It's double-sided, so it's got the same kind of detail on both sides as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So if you do choose to wear it as an earring, you know, it doesn't matter if it flips around. Look, it's so cute. Just beautiful, those flowers and those gorgeous kind of tendrils which go in between the flowers. Don't they look wonderful? They're they just really gorgeous, do. aren't they? One, two, nine. That's amazing. Uh, on individual split payments of 32, 25. Get involved when you can. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. 0800 655. Sandra in Warwickshire, well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, absolutely beautiful. I believe we may only have one or two of these remaining now. Well done to everyone who's going to be um, uh, adding this to their order today. Don't you love the way it's got no border as well? It just yes. kind of spills yeah, out yeah. like a gorgeous garland. That lovely sort of like teardrop shape created by the flowers. Yes. Lovely, yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 655. Let's leave that one there. Um, Smuffy, I have not seen your name for ages. Uh, you singing Bad Boys makes me giggle. We watch our local ice hockey team, Telford Tigers, every week. They play that yeah. when the players are sent to the box. Ah. What's the box? Is that like the sin bin? Is that like yeah. where you go when you've, oh, the bench? The box, bad boys, what you gonna do? <laughs> I hope you think of me. Yeah. Yes, yeah. not my version. <laughs> oh, I think yours is better. Do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my choir version. Okay, let's start off our early bird selection with the zebra jasper rounds. These are gonna absolutely fly. This is a gem we probably have, I don't know, two, three times a year. Let's go. Will you look at that? That is just gorgeous. You have got here the most beautiful strand of Jasper. Jasper is, I think, one of the most underrated uh, gems in the world. It's got the most incredible natural patinations. What we've got coming up uh, later on, I know, is, is, is fossilised quartz, but you can kind of see the similarities between these. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just so gorgeous. Anything that's got this kind of, this kind of patination going through it. This, by the way, this is also Jasper. Isn't that awesome? And this. We've got ocean, we've got zebra. It's just, it's just an amazing stone. Basically, you've got... You've got um, You've got quartz, chalcedony, jasper. Jasper doesn't tend to have an agate. Jasper doesn't tend to have any um, clarity or translucency going through it, whereas chalcedony and agate do. But what you do get um, is the most amazing colours. I can't quite decide what this colour palette is. It's chocolate. You know, have you seen these fancy eggs? If you if you go to the hotel. Yes. That sells That's chocolate. Exactly and they, and they, what and they, they are. And they drizzle the, the one colour of chocolate over the other chocolate, and you get oh these my incredible gosh. Easter eggs. That's what that makes me think of. My stomach is roaring because it's, it's seeing it as food. <laughs> it's chocolate. <laughs> or have you ever seen? Have you ever made a um, a marble cake? It's that kind of quality oh, yeah. as well. It's like a marble the, cake. The swirly lines. But um, it's, it's like it is. It's chocolates and caramels and and the different types of chocolate. Beautiful. All, all smushed together. Is that a word? Smushed. Smushed. Yes. yes. Amalgamated. Yes. <laughs> I think as well. And I'll, this is a great point from director Ollie. Don't you think it's a wonderful opportunity to wear something which is kind of animal printish? Oh yes. But without wearing. An animal print dress like I've got on today, which is a little bit, um, you know, um, to be able to wear something animal, whoa, animal print. <laughs> well, no, but, you know, certain people might look at it and go, oh, no, my eyes. Um, whereas you might want to wear an animal print pair of socks. Or just... <laughs> Pink tigers are endangered. Yes, because of this dress, I know. Uh, but um, if you wanted to wear just a suggestion of animal print, then I think this is absolutely perfect, oh, isn't, isn't it? it? It's, it's fab because uh, yeah, you've got you've got your zebras and you've got your tigers and you and your giraffes and it it could be a number of different things because it's a nod to it rather than actually being it, isn't it? Now this is a one meter strand. I don't think we have ever done a meter of zebra jasper. This is absolutely awesome, isn't it? It's a big, long strand. So a metre, they're eight millimetres in diameter. How many are you going to be getting on a strand? Oh, lots. Oh, Gillian. Gilli mm. Yes, the Belgian chocolates. I know exactly what you mean. That's exactly it. That's what it, that's, I, why, that's where my brain went. I'm I could <laughs> eat <laughs> an entire box of those. Could you? Easily, oh. one sitting. Oh. They're very sweet. <laughs> I reckon I could power through a whole box of those. Yes. Oh, gosh, that's exactly oh, what it looks like. Look. 
That is a that's a picture from the 1980s, oh. that is. <laughs> but it is that colour, isn't it? <laughs> 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 oh, wonderful. Well done, everyone. We're taking the price point down again for you. Here we go. Oh, gosh, that's taken me back. I haven't had any of those for years. Seventeen ninety nine. <laughs> Take the photograph away. <laughs> Otherwise, I will eat the strand. <laughs> Selena Jean, Margaret Maeve, Maker Debbie Jane, Margaret Maker, Maker Elaine Jane, Lorna Jean. Well done. Absolutely loads of you coming through to get this at just £17.99. Janet, you're through there. I've got Maker. Well done to you as well. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful quality. Lynn in East Riding of Yorkshire, well done to you as well. Wendy Iris, well done to you as well. 17 99 popular, popular strand. Also, it's full of neutrals, isn't it? Which is great. Yeah, so it means you can put it with almost anything, can't you? And like, if you're one of these people that, that isn't so good with black and white, mm. this is a good alternative because it's it's got that kind of sort of sort of monochromatic monochromatic kind of look yes it's not, it's not as harsh no no yes you're absolutely so, right so it's got you, the greys and the and the kind of buffs in there yeah, and the kind of creams yeah. oh my gosh we're taking the price down again or did ollie put the wrong clock in never the wrong clock Whoa. Oh, it's not wrong we're taking the price down again in 48 seconds oh my gosh <laughs> okay Maker and Conway, Sylvia Noala, Gloria Maker, Maker um, Janet. There are so many people coming through to get this. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking that. Could you make a mala out of this? I'm pretty sure you could do. It's 108 bees, isn't it, for a mala? Mm. And then, and then, I don't know. Imagine if you've got like a tiger's eye or an amber or something like that as your as your guru bead. Most the definitely. Yeah, we've actually got some Bayong wood coming up today as well, so that would look nice Isn't with that it. Ages. I know. Um, it, it, it's really exciting. We've only got a little bit of it. We've also got some jet coming up today as well, which is exciting. Um, I think as well, maybe a lovely bubble necklace is that is that a yeah. nice sight yeah do we like that would you go would you go with gold or rose gold or silver for your head pins for your bubble necklace antique bronze oh okay <laughs> fair enough i don't think we actually do any antique bronze ones but anyway um <laughs> it's kind of like a cappuccino <laughs> agate tone as well oh. at 14.99 take it cappuccino go 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 and coffee and chocolate and oh, oh. mocha <laughs> that's coffee and chocolate together yes. Mocha go. locker. It be mocha, Jasper. Thornton's <laughs> Continental Chocolate Selection. Mmm, mm. says Jay. <laughs> We're just saying things that we like. Cheese on toast. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> things that make you happy. <laughs> things that make you happy. Cheese on cheese. <laughs> cheese on toast. I sauce. Oh no, Worcestershire Ooh. sauce. Oh. Cheese on toast oh. for me <laughs> makes me happier than it should do. It shouldn't make anybody <laughs> that happy, but it. it <laughs> Literally makes me <laughs> happier than almost anything in the world. Uh, cheese on toast with Worcestershire sauce. Very, very, oh, Liam Perrins. Oh, 12 chances left. Loads of you there. Well done. Check out. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. At fourteen ninety nine. What a ridiculous thing. I'm just thinking that like, it's, it's a shame we don't have product placement. Maybe we'd get some chocolate sent in. Oh, my gosh. That would be amazing. Or... Yes, that <laughs> would be amazing. <laughs> African Jasper. <whistles> this is such a cutie. Look at this. It's got that wonderful turquoisey tone to it. It's beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> Four mil rounds. Again, um, this kind of colour. Great for summer, great for kind of warmer weather as well. What would you, what colours would you pair? I mean, you're so good with colour, Hannah. What would you pair this with? Well, this I mean, I, I, I kind of got two different ways of, of going with that. I think either you go with your sort of your, your neutrals, kind of think sort of backpacking, travelling, your ancient maps, things like that. So you've got sort of like worn leather colours, soft blue colours, um, sort of brown tones, like rich earthy tones, or you can go the other way and go tropical with it. So yes. you do hot pink and orange and, yes. and, and bright oh. turquoise or lime green even. And, mm. and it becomes like a kind of like a tropical party thing. Yes. You know, like Club Ellen Tropicana Rose. drinks yeah. are free. Yeah. Absolutely. Look at this with the amber just out of just out of curiosity. Yeah, would in, you go with that? That's a colour scheme, I think. Yes. It's slightly more muted. Yeah. It, that is really Love lovely. We've got the best amber in the world here at, at JM. We really, really do. And it's all real stuff. It's not kind of fake. It's not synthetic. It's amazing. Um, just gorgeous. Uh, well done, everybody. Here we go, everyone. At 9 99 That's amazing. That no, it's not. We're taking it down again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. 
You think it goes well with the dress? Ooh, look! <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> what was the move that they used to do on shopping? You don't see it so much anymore. It's this, isn't it? With the bracelet and the oh. earring and the... <laughs> the kind of... Yeah. Because I always yeah. want I don't know. That. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I probably hit the mic then. <laughs> 6 <laughs> Things that make me happy. JM, everyone at JM. JM. Gemstones, diamond painting, cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it. Watching JM, doing your diamond painting whilst eating cheesecake. Oh, that I is just the it. ultimate day, isn't it? <laughs> well done, Nuala. Well done, Angela, <laughs> Zena, Tracy, Selena, Kim. Absolutely amazing. Derbyshire's just bought four. That's amazing. Well done, everyone. Debbie, Susan, loads of you there. Taking the price point down again from 6 dollars in five seconds. How amazing is that going to be? Oh, my gosh. Enjoy. Here we go, Tracy. Check out, everyone. How about under a fiver? Go on. Go on, because we love you. Oh, my God. Go on. Yep, let's just do it. Here we go. £4.99. Oh, my gosh. Four pounds ninety-nine. That's I mean four pounds <laughs> ninety-nine. Oh my gosh, Debbie, Mary, Tracy, Selena, check out. Debbie's got two. Oh, do you know that is unbelievable. Come on, everyone. Check out your baskets. Well done. That is amazing. Tracy's just bought three. Well done to you as well. £4.99. That is amazing. That's, that's incredible. I and mean, I, I know we'd have Alison using these on her loom, wouldn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, my Imagine God. Imagine that. That would be fabulous. You could use this with leather. You could put leather either side of it and yeah, kind of do that I, kind I of really ladder weave. It's got, it's got that lovely kind of, like, I don't know Worn. what the word is. Yeah. It, 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 looks, it looks like... You know, like the old encyclopedia and the old, the old globes used to get at school. Yes. And they, like, I don't know if they still have globes at schools like that or if they have fancy whizzy ones that play music and things these days. But probably <laughs> the old school one. Yes. No, you're absolutely right. It looks ancient, that doesn't it? That kind of colour scheme. Um, yeah. This is gorgeous. Wow. Do you know something? And, you know, I, you know, we are big fans of colour and Hannah is phenomenal with colour. You look at the mermaid quartz, yeah, and it's bright, it's vivid, it's acidic, it's there. If you love colour but you don't want to go for that pow, 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 and you want to go for something which is multicolour but a little bit more refined, possibly a little bit more grown up, I don't know. Is it well, yeah, I don't know. More sort of sort of natural tones. Aren't yes. They? Earthy neutral tone, natural tones. It's a William Morris strand. It's, it's a it's Liberty William print Morris. strand, yes, isn't it? Absolutely. All day long. This is it. You've never heard of William Morris? Type into a search engine William Morris oh Liberty print. Gosh. I can guarantee it'll be colours like this, or like an old Paisley print, isn't it? It's just it is absolutely stunning. The strand that I've got here has got beautiful brick reds in it, lovely kind of uh, ochre colours in it, purples, teals, blues, maroons, uh, duck egg kind of colours. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. There, there you, go. you go. This is the William Morris seaweed print. That's exactly the kind of colours you're getting here. Yeah, if you do like that, apparently, I didn't know this. Sewing Street do their own William Morris Liberty prints, uh, fabrics. I'd, I'd heard there were, because they do K-Facet as well, which is all the, like, wah, colours, which I love. But um, I, I hadn't realised that we'd got, we'd got all those in there as well. I mean, how amazing look, is that? It's so cool, <laughs> isn't it? It's just, it's just brilliant. Wendy Iris, Paula, Maker, Lorna, Maker, Kaz, Maker in Meath, well done to you. I mean, it's just, it's just brilliant. Susan, well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here we go. £7.99. This is for your Ocean Jasper. Now, this is mine. Um... Oh, Debbie, well done to you. Tracy, well done to you. Michaela, absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody. Maker in Lincolnshire, Denise is now through. That's great to see. Well done, everyone. Linda, Sue. Oh, gosh, there's loads of people there. This is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? You get your 30-day money-back guarantee as well, which is just fantastic. Gorgeous. Lincolnshire's got three. Oh, my gosh. 
We're going again. We're going again. People are buying fives. You're absolutely right. Where's this from? Is this from Madagascar? Please tell me it is. Mm. Madagascar. This can only be mined um, when, when the tide is out. Yeah, basically the mine floods kind of twice a day. It can only be mined uh, when the tide is at its kind of pretty much its lowest. Uh, so, yeah, it is, it is an absolutely phenomenal stone. Um, the colours you get are amazing. I can't wait to see people's uh, designs with this. Please promise me you'll either ombre it or do a bubble style piece or something. Denise has got two, Sue's got two, Debbie's got two. Well done. Four pounds and 99 pence. Gosh. Go, 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 go. Just get it. That is amazing. Can you imagine the jewellery people will be able to make with this? Uh, that well, is going to look my, so my good. My brain automatically starts doing like strange design things as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing different weaves and things with seed beads really? around them. I've, I've, yeah. Oh, I've Hannah, I love that gold, idea. Gold seed beads in there, maybe like a netted cuff, something like that. Ooh. Kiss cross would look fabulous with this. Yes, it would. I mean, there's just so much you could do. And but, if you've got the hematite in the slightly smaller sizes earlier as well, Oh, some of those, there was like a green in there. Yes, and there, there was, was. Like a, a deep um, kind of like a bronzy color. Yes, definitely. They look fabulous with those. Wouldn't well. they just it's kind of yeah. that heritage palette, yes. isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, with the deep bronzy colors or even the golds. But yeah, definitely with the greens as well. Amazing. I uh, keep coming through for that. There's still genuine chances left. Well done. Congratulations. We're going to leave that open after the break. Um, we've got oh, you've spoken. We've listened. We are delivering. We've got the most incredible Lucite Flowers kit coming up, uh, kits coming up after the break. For the first time ever, we have broken the massive bundles down into smaller, more manageable, unbelievably affordable prices. Um, it is all coming up after the break. There's loads of inspiration. We'll see you then. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker.
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. It really does feel that spring has sprung. We were talking earlier on saying, you know, it was, it was like a winter wonderland yesterday morning and then by the evening, um, we were both in the garden. In the garden. And, and yeah, my kids were in the garden for the whole kind of afternoon until kind of kind of half seven at night. It was just beautiful. It was just gorgeous. It, it was gives lovely, you a bit of a, yeah, a lift. Um, yeah, a real lift. And when I knew we were going to be doing these lucite flowers and when I knew that we were going to be breaking down the massive kits and making them into a little bit more manageable sizes, which of course means that we can bring them to you for the most incredible prices, I just thought, right, there, I mean, there are a million and one ways in which you can use these. They are so beautiful. They're so useful. And I just thought this is exactly the time of year to be doing these because... You've got all this gorgeous colour, all these beautiful floral pieces, which are just going to be wonderful for kind of spring and Easter. Gorgeous, isn't it? So cute. But have a look at the um, have a look at the have a, have a look at this first slide, just to give you a bit of an idea. So there's lovely Easter bonnets there, Easter trees, seasonal wreaths. In fact, I think the one on the bottom right hand side is actually lucite flowers, and they've used kind of um, um, other other kind of um, oh, foliage or something. Foliage in yeah. there as well. And then there was another slide as well, which is yeah, just this. So uh, cake toppers. Um, kind of fascinators at weddings. And then you had the idea, Hannah, of the left-hand side kind of design, didn't you? Of the, yes, it was just um, something we, we talked about before because it, one of the packs has got sort of trumpet kind of shapes. And I was thinking it might be nice if you could get some little lights in there, little LED lights. And then if you've got an outside space, um, like in a, in a parasol or over an arbor seat or something like that, or pergola or whatever. Gorgeous. You could have, right, sort or of your bedroom, maybe. Floral kind of, because they're loose lights, so they're, they're, they're weatherproof, really, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So make sure you do it with LED lights, obviously. Yeah. But, oh, um, yes. but yeah, I mean, that would be absolutely, that Magical, would just be gorgeous. Things hanging from trees, yeah. kind of wind chimes, things for fairy gardens, maybe. Um, there are so many ways in which you can use these. And I just think, you know, get them today. You can get them home over the next over the next few days. You'll have lovely opportunities to work with these over the Easter holes. Um, they're just gorgeous. They're so, so, so sweet. Um, now, they, <laughs> they, they, they are a little bit like kind of wax. Uh, they've got like almost a waxy look to them. But of course, because they're lucite, they're going to be Pretty much, yeah, as, as you say, Hannah, they're going to be weatherproof. Look at that contrasting colour you've Slightly got there. Frosty, that's so yeah. nice. Oh, yeah, wow. That's, with the that's, turquoise. That's, you know, it just sings, doesn't it? You know, the, the turquoise with, with the fiery colours just looks amazing. It really does, doesn't it? it, it it's just absolutely beautiful. The, the looks you can go for. Now, all of these kits are interchangeable. They are all interchangeable. King of God lover, because we've got so many kits in this hour. What, what we're going to do, um, are we going to put them all on pre-order or do something like that? Because we're going to put all the kits on pre-order because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's, yeah, there's like um, 11 kits. I mean, it's just, it's obscene. Uh, no, 10 kits, which is just ridiculous. So we're going to put them all on pre-order. Just get them, go ahead. The colours are great. We're going to start with this kit here, which is um, this one here. Now, it looks like you get this amount in the kit. You don't. God love Kinga. We love her. You get much more than this. If I can just show you how many of these you actually do get in the kit, you get that many. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a huge amount of flowers. No, I will not count them. Uh, but the lucite flowers you're going to be getting, you get 95 
of um, pink and white. Is it 95 in total, Hannah? Um, I think it probably is, actually. Yeah, that looks like it might be right, doesn't it? So 95 of your Lucite flowers in total. You then get, this is adorable. You then get... Um, Sparklies. These beautiful <laughs> foil-backed... Um, uh, fla oh, thank you for that. Little flower beads. And look look at them in the pieces. I mean, you can see them in my hand here, but it, it, you can't really tell kind of what they look like. Look at them here in this gorgeous pair of earrings because they look absolutely beautiful. Obviously, it's the, the blue version. Oh! Yeah. So this is, the, yeah, the blue version that you've got here. But These this the pink one. This kit, you've got the lovely pinky one there. Yeah. Love this. This is like a Mystic Topaz. Teeny tiny Mystic Topaz. You get this lovely fuchsia. A smaller fuchsia. Um, I think that's all that you get. Yeah, 40 of these incredible flowers. Look at this one here. It's so cute. Look they're at that. All, yeah, there's lots of different Ooh. sizes. And they're so cute. And they've all got little holes in the middle as well. So you can um, uh, so you can kind of thread them onto head pins and, and, and use them. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? They're so sweet. They're going to make wonderful jewellery, wonderful decorations, cake toppers, brooches, fascinators, seasonal wreaths, table centres, you name it, you name it. Now, I've got an escapee over there, look. I do have an escapee, <laughs> thank you. Now, Hannah, when we bought these for bundles to wear, first of all, yes. and we bought them to wear a couple of times, haven't we, and they've gone very, very well, they've both very times. popular, yes. Um, what kind of price, I mean, I know we were looking at bigger kind of bundles than what you've got today, but what kind of price points were we looking at? Can you remember, because today, <laughs> This is going to absolutely fly. Got a lot of people there already, which is wonderful to see. But today, we are going below £20 for everything. Have a look at this. Today, yours for £19.99. pence. You get all of these Lucite flowers. You get all of these gorgeous little additions as well. And it's yours for under £20. Go, 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 go. Well done. Now, all of these kits are completely and utterly interchangeable. Mix the colours together. Mix the, um, layer them up, which is exactly what you've done, actually. Yeah, uh, which is so, so I, I've, nice. mi I've mixed a few. I mean, if you look at, um, I mean, there's a big sort of orange necklace on the front as well. Yes. That, I mean, I've... I've, I've I've kind of mixed everything up just because nice no, I, like that. That's exactly and what I would have done. It's just one of those things. It's like you can really play around with these. You can absolutely mix and match them. Um, I actually, I really like the idea of overlaying the smaller flowers onto the larger flowers. Yes, I think that's a nice idea. Yeah, and and I mean, it's the sort of thing that once you once you start, you, you keep on coming up with new ideas yes. and new ways of using them, and mm -hmm. then you'll find you'll just find things will just sort of work suddenly, won't they? Now. As a special deal, because I know a lot of you love these kits, love these features, we're going to go to $14.99. Now, at this price, there is literally nothing in it for us at this price, but just go for it. $14.99. Oh, my gosh, I've gone nuts. I've gone completely nuts. <laughs> now, this kit here, you've got these gorgeous, delicate pinks and whites, which, of course, you can mix with at your shell pearl, your pearls, as Hannah's done there. You can put them with your reds, with your oranges. You can put them with the smaller flowers that we've got coming up. So look, we've got almost the same kit here, but in smaller flowers. So if you wanted to flowers. mix yeah. these up, then you absolutely can do. We've got that kit coming up next, actually, uh, which looks absolutely beautiful. This one comes with a little strand of kind of AB coated something, uh, crystals, which is absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone coming through to get this. We're gonna give you a 30 second clock to close. It's, it's literally about to sell out. Well done. Um, gorgeous, 14 pounds and 99 pence. I just love the addition of these sparklies as well. They're it's so nice. A little nice, bit of sparkle, huh? yeah. I just thought, I mean, you know, who doesn't want a bit of sparkle in their, in their world? Honestly, <laughs> absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Look at these baskets. They are so rammed. Nicolette, Glitter Sloth, Alison, and you know, Maker. That's my Maker. favourite, that's my favourite um, cover name, whatever you want to call it. Glitter Sloth. Glitter Sloth. I, yeah, I love it. It's because she likes sparkle and apparently she moves very slowly, her husband says. So, yeah. <laughs> but we love you, darling. <laughs> we love you. Don't worry. Gorgeous. Well done. It's lovely Rachel in North Yorkshire. Well done. Okay. Next kit. Oh, same but blue. This one. This one. Okay, so this kit, you are going to be getting the same amount of the Lucite flowers. It's just that, obviously... There's too many to fit on the board. There's too many to fit <laughs> on the board. So you're going to be getting exactly the same amount. I love. 
Oh my gosh, these are so nice. Look at that. Oh wow, look at the sparkle. Absolutely amazing. Gorgeous sparkle, beautiful. Beautiful blue crystals here. You've got a lovely kind of bright kind of turquoisey aqua blue as well. Oh my gosh, they're so wonderful. Do you know what? We're going to do it today for 14.99. We may as well. We may as well just give you the best possible deals that we can. Let's just go for it. Well done everyone. I'm delighted for you. I genuinely am. And also, um Hannah, if you've got you know, this will arrive to you over the next few days uh, from JM. And of course, the great thing is if you wanted to create pieces with your kids, with your grandkids, um, you know, they're easy to they're easy to hold. They're easy to make pieces out of. They're really interchangeable. You can change up the colours and get them exactly the way that you want. There's so much that you can do. Oh, bless you, darling. Oh, great. I love you, darling. Um, there's so much you can do with these. Um, and just fun for absolutely everyone, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're quite a tactile thing anyway. Um, they, or, or Even though they come to a point, they're not sharp. No, no, so, no, no. So like when, they're, when you're wearing them, they're, they're, they're a big statement, but they're lightweight. And, Very and lightweight. don't sort of stab into you like it might. No. If, it was, if it was like something that came to a point like that, Mm. in like a metal or anything mm. else it, it might be a bit uncomfortable but they you can't feel they're there they're amazing yeah absolutely absolutely um you get considerably more than this obviously this is the pile of the first kit that i showed you that's how much you that's how much you're going to be getting in this kit but obviously we can't fit them all on the board so you're going to be getting kind of two three times the amount 95 of the lucite flowers in total which is just incredible well done everybody i'm thinking as well um you know easter uh, lots of people kind of you know the kind of further down the line we go uh, lots and lots of people making easter kind of decorations to put up in their homes uh, and um you know i can just imagine lovely easter decks being made out of these i really like the idea of the wreath you know yes. I, I love a christmas wreath as well so why not why not have an easter wreath you know like, we had a picture of one with um, eggs and flowers and things earlier. Yes. I really fancy that. You just just a bit of glue and pop them on or you could wire them in. Or... Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Also, the great thing about today's show is the 12 o'clock kits go with these go as with well. Go with 9 o'clock kits. Yeah. yeah it, it's, it's, it's like we planned it. And it, mm. It's like we planned it. <laughs> um, so the shell pearl, for instance, I mean, they're all beautiful. The shell pearls you've got here, look at them with this kit. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Lovely. It's like sweeties. Yeah, sort of, sort of sherbet-y, pastel -y colours. Yeah, that's exactly it. Oh, we're going to do... This is the drama. The next one's a bit oh, dramatic. Oh, but do you know what? I think maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> drama! Drama! Oh, my gosh. Do you know what? It, that's, just, that's just me. Um, I love the... Pink, orange, red. Probably my favourite colours to go together. I just love them. And then the... These... Oh my gosh! They're striking, aren't they? But if, Black. You, if you think of your like your your um, phoenix and your sort of like your oh your ra raging inferno kind of yes. yeah. That you see, that's a colors. great that's a great way of thinking about it. It is these are phoenix colours, aren't they? They they really Ooh. are. Ooh! Imagine that with a bit of like a black spinel as a. Um, did we what, did we have something? Did you say there was jet coming up? Mm. So that would look fabulous with like the, the that colourway of flowers. I love and that idea. A sparkle. I'm thinking as well, if you were to, can you imagine if you were to make like a really cool kind of big chunky necklace, like the one that Hannah's yes. made there, and you were to wear it with a black dress or something, it's just going to look so vampy, so beautiful. But similarly, if you wear that with a linen, a linen outfit that's kind of like your neutrals, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. But that is, but this is, with the blacks, with the with the with the with the reds, with these gorgeous kind of champagne colours. Oh my gosh, it's just look, you've gone with turquoise there, which looks amazing, Hannah. Yeah, um, I, I just I mean that's that's just a colourway that I'm sort of drawn to, really. It's such a know, nice yeah. colourway, that <laughs> tropical kind of quality. Put uh, one in a bride's bouquet. Yeah, yes. so so I was Great I was idea. looking at I was looking at these all sorts of designs last night, and I was looking at thinking about bouquets, buttonholes for weddings as well. Lots of people are going more for silk flowers nowadays because you can uh, because you can um, keep them. Obviously, you can keep them forever. Uh, so uh, buttonholes, cake toppers, corsages, um, and also lots of. Um, 
lots of kind of shops and I've noticed there's a pub actually in, in, in Stratford which has got this lovely artificial flower arch as you this, go into it. There's one in Warwick actually. It's beautiful. It's, out, it's so lovely. I, yeah. I think it's a restaurant. Was that like a giggling pub. squid? That's it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So nice. <laughs> And, you know, do the same in your house. Why not? Why shouldn't you have a garland going over the top of your door? Go for it, love. Oh, <laughs> right. This kit is gigantic. This, oh, my gosh, I've just spotted the crystal. Yeah, Ooh. so this, this is the one that I really this think that you need to make. Stupidly um, big. Outdoor lighting with, you know. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Because it's, it's bold and blingy and there's loads of it. Yeah. I think it's the biggest kit we've got. Isn't it, it is. Three You've got together. all the trumpets. <laughs> these are so beautiful you've got all the trumpets you've got these reds oh gosh look and there's so much in this little pot alone <gasps> the shapes you could make i mean oh. i'm just thinking on lampshades as well you, and you yes. can have your crystals and your floral Love that. sort of like um fringe work around oh it my gosh amazing. so like a, a nod to kind of that retro kind of yes. um, yeah but look at this these are amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just get, look, look at them. Oh my gosh, I love this kit. This is so big, bold, dramatic. But if you wanted to, do you know what? You could really make, you could really downplay it, make it very pretty, very girly, just by using these two kits either side here. This kit and then the lighter pink one and use all the reds and the oranges in something completely separately. Um, that is amazing. All the way down. Maker in Kent, East Sussex has got two, Kent's got two, $24.99. That is amazing. That's you get so that. much for that price. You, you get, really genuinely you get do. get masses again, like, because again, like, this isn't everything. This is, this is what fits on the board kind of thing. Yeah. Kinga, yeah. do you have the remaining amounts of all the Lucite flowers that you get with number nine? And uh, you don't need to set them up, just in a bag would be great. <laughs> she needs to just do her lunges to uh, prepare for uh, lifting this bag because honestly the amount that you get in the kit it, it it's you know we can't put them all out all of the lucite flowers out we'd be here for a, we'd be here all day um oh my gosh is it is it that you're kidding you get, you get is this a new kit or is this the leftovers so this That's is the, the whole, whole kit. kit. Right, OK. I'm not going to get them out. Don't worry, Kinga, before you start getting upset. So this, you get that. That. This is what you get. This is the whole kit. This is a separate kit. That. Oh, my gosh. You get all of that. For £24? For £24.99. That's amazing. Yep. Really good. That's going to last you forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to last you literally forever. I'm just thinking like, like parties and barbecues and things yeah. and just like decorate the well, place. Things like, I mean, I look out into my garden and it's just so dull and dreary. And, and, you know, if you wanted to, and if you wanted to have a nice, um, something up in your garden kind of all, all year round, then you absolutely can do. And it's just going to look really lovely, really joyous. And just, you know, if you've got a climbing frame outside for your kids, you just want to wrap some of these around a climbing frame. How gorgeous is that? Or to decorate a, a bedroom, you know, to put over the top of the bed. Yeah, or, you know, actually, we've so got cute. one of those um, cabin bed things, and we've got fairy lights underneath yes. it. But you could absolutely, you could, you could have like a little floral kind of cascade oh, thing. It's gorgeous. You? Why not? You know, it, it's magical it's looking. Really magical. Yeah. So so nice. Um, yeah, my kids have got those LED strips, the strip lights, which we kind of stick up. And Pippa always wants to go to bed with hers on flash, and I'm like. <laughs> This is bedtime. This is time for <laughs> sleeping, not raving. So you've been a little raver there. <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Oh, it's, it's sold out. Well done. Thank you for that, Kinga. That's amazing. Right, that is gone. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Kinga, have you done your lunges pop. today? I feel like... Uh, God, I love that. Right, so that is... That's that. I, I'm going to do... Oh, steady, oh, steady. No, so in control. <laughs> right, OK. The strand. So which one's this kit, sorry? This one. This is so cute. Uh, this one comes with head pins, which is adorable. Uh, so you get beautiful rose gold plated uh, base metal head pins. Gosh, they look like the sterling silver ones, actually. I'm just going to pop those there. You then get your beautiful little lucite flowers in pink and white, which, oh, they sound so nice as well, don't they? Of course, you get more than this in the kit, don't forget. We've just put a selection of them out. 
And then, of course, you can start to go, ah, oh, well, if I've got the first kit and I get this kit, you can put them together, can't you? can double you? them up and they look really cute, yeah? They look so nice, don't they? You just double them up. They're so sweet. Also, you know, for... I'm thinking as well, if you're going to be making pieces for, you know, the, the bank holidays we've got coming up in May or you're going to be organising teas at your local church hall or, your, you know, whatever it might be, mm -hmm. um, wire wrap them onto little hair grips, you know, do a make oh, and take. Yeah. Um, and, you know, kids can have a go at using these. And they're so... Those colours are so delicate in that necklace, Hannah, that it just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It's, it's a barely there necklace, isn't it? As, it is. as opposed to the other shouty ones. Yes. Which are kind of like, ah! No, <laughs> it is. And then you get, oh, it's a gemstone. I thought it was crystal. AB coated clear quartz. Oh, ah, don't do that, Neary. He thought this was um, like, I don't know, fire polish beads or something. No, this is AB coated clear quartz. <laughs> There we go. Oh Absolutely. <gasps> that looks so good. That looks so good. Let's break the phone lines, everyone. This is going to breaky, breaky, phony, phony, liney, lineys. Everyone's going to go for it. Ready? Steady. This is going to fly. Guess what? It's twelve ninety nine. Oh my gosh! That's <laughs> way too low. Oh my word! That has gone completely and utterly nuts. It's amazing, isn't it? I was talking to somebody yesterday about it. We've spoken to Hannah about it this morning. How much the nice warm weather, even if you are a winter baby, I love winter and, and, and autumn. I love them. They're my favourite seasons. But I have to say, when winter starts to drag on, it gets darker, it gets dreary, and then the clocks change and it gets even darker in the morning. It's so depressing. And the sunshine does lift your mood ever so slightly, doesn't it? And and these are the kind of kits I can just imagine. Even if it's raining outside, you could be sitting inside making your jewellery, making whatever it is, bonnets, cake toppers, buttonholes with your kids, with your grandkids, with your best mate. And um, it's just hopefully, I really hope and I really believe it will. You know, it might just boost your mood a little bit. Give it a go. It's $12.99 amazing well done love these little bracelets you've made so here cute. wonderful for little flower girls as well aren't they yes yeah definitely i mean i've i've just um with, with those two i've just added some of the um smaller uh, had some rainbow spiral kits recently and it's the smallest size of those that i've got oh. left so i've added those with it oh how lovely um, just because i wanted to add a, a, a little bit of I don't know, a bit of billing again. I think anyone who's into the mermaid quartz kits yeah. as well, don't you think they're really going to, they're going to look wonderful. The mermaid glass kits, sorry, they're, they're, they're just going to work so well, aren't they? Right, next kit. Number who? <laughs> Number who? Ah, oh, oh, it's another fiery one. Here we go. There's a head pin. Don't want to be losing that anywhere. Okay, so this has got a gorgeous strand of citrine to go with it. <laughs> Let me just pick this up. Here we go. Oh, these lovely kind of passion flowers you're going to be getting here. <gasps> Again, this isn't all you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting significantly more. I love this red. The frosted nature of these is what I really love yeah, as well. I, yeah, I like the fact that they're slightly frosted as well. I mean, I, ju I just think they look fabulous with this gemstone as well. Really I mean, you, do. You could, you could make sort of a, a long line, just simple threaded necklace, and then just with head pins, have little floral um, sort of motifs all the way around yes. it. A bit like sort of like the, the Hawaiian lays. Is yes, it, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, also, I've just noticed as well, and um, um, you probably noticed this already, but the different shapes that you get. So you get the larger ones with the kind of more pointy petals. These are the small smaller ones with the more pointy petals as well, um, which look absolutely beautiful. They're just gorgeous. And also, um, I, mean, I know this is a little bit somber, but if you wanted to um, uh, make little arrangements, maybe to take and put it a graveside or something like that, they're going to last. They're weatherproof yes, and yeah. they're just going to they're going to look beautiful. They really genuinely will do. I think Mr. Neary's borrowed Liam's brave, <laughs> brave boots, boots from yesterday <laughs> afternoon. Beautiful work as always, Hannah. Mar it says Margot. Margo. I tell you what, Liam was wearing an amazing shirt yesterday. He looks go he's go he's a gorgeous individual, isn't he? God, I love him. Um, and literally unrecognisable from about three, four years ago. Yes, yes. I, I, he is totally transformed. Blossomed, hasn't he, he? He really yeah. has blossomed. Love that turquoise. That's so nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. <laughs> well done, well done. I think if you added these on to maybe, I'm trying to think if you stitch them onto things and if you were to hand wash it, and I don't mean hand wash it in the washing machine, I mean literally hand wash it yourself really gently, 
you might be okay with kind of adding them onto kind of garments as well. Um, I, I shrink everything. <laughs> I shrink everything <laughs> I wash. It's terrible. My husband purposefully, please bring those tops in, Ollie, because my husband, <laughs> my husband, he literally buys tops at three sizes too big. He goes, don't worry, Car Carol will shrink it. And I don't Aww. tumble everything. I think it's the washing machine, but I don't know. I made the mistake once of um, hand washing a wool jumper of his and then getting it out and thinking, oh, no, that's still soaking wet. So I tumble, oh, sorry, not tumbled it. I span it again, which shrinks it. So it came out. It wouldn't even fit my <laughs> nine-year-old. So, <laughs> right, never Aww. mind. Well done. Number eight. Back to the, <laughs> back to the gorgeous pinky <laughs> colours here. With a strand of kukukunzite. I just, I mean, that's the perfect colour, isn't it, to go with that? So, so feminine, isn't it? Oh, look. Uh, all the magnolia trees are out at the minute, aren't they? This is just so lovely. Um, that is, yeah, so, such lovely colour matching, isn't it? It's like sea glass, isn't it? Oh, rings! That oh, just fell on, my, on the back cute. of my hand. How lovely is a little ring? Oh, I like that idea. Mm, see, see, there you go. Beautiful qualities. They remind me a little bit as well. I think it's these ones that remind me a little bit more. Back at, kind of years and years ago, I remember buying candles that you put in a cake and the holder for the candle was always oh, this shape. Yes, you have that little shape. Well, you could you could use these for that, couldn't you? you well, put candles why not? In them. Yeah. Why not? Please don't eat them, though, for goodness yeah, sake. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Um, Kirsty, Anne, Leslie, Jane, Lorna, Anne, Maker, 14 99 Amazing. And you've got a strand of genuine kunzite in here. These are fab, bought both colours uh, the first time, I think she says. Uh, yeah, they are great, aren't they? Um, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. And I'm just looking at these pieces that you've made here in different colours. If you wanted to go for a contrasting colour with this kit, what would you go with? Um, hmm. Peridot green? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, you, could, you could go for sort of like a, a sort of a soft kind of green colour. You could probably go a peachy colour. Mm. You could probably go sky blue if you wanted to, actually. Ooh. That might be quite nice. It might, might stand out. Yes. Um, but if you think of pink as kind of the red family um, and then go to the opposite side of the colour wheel from, from that. So it's going to be sort of greens, greens. And, and those, those kind of tones. So like a diopside green. Yeah, something like that. Then, then, Why not? Then they're gonna, it's going to uh, mimic nature then. It really is, isn't yeah. it? That would be gorgeous. Beautiful. Well done. Again, absolutely flying out the door. Well done. So, so, so lovely. Um, and these are going to make such lovely pieces which will last. You know, you think about beautiful floral displays and yeah, they smell wonderful, they look wonderful, but they don't last very long, do they, with the best one in the world? Um, these can last for an eternity. They go, oh, what are you doing, Neary? <gasps> A oh. Kunzite kit for twelve ninety nine. That's basically the Kunzite and you get the loose site for free. Oh my goodness me. That's ridiculous. That's <laughs> absolutely, you get significantly Amazing. more than these in the kit. You get um, uh, 95, I believe, in this particular kit. So you do get significantly more. Um, <clears throat> well done. Literally, absolutely flying. Well done, everyone. Just gorgeous. How many more kits do we have? Only another got, 25 kits we've got, to go. We've got these two still to go, haven't we? So there's that one. That one, and that, that one. one, and that one. Yeah. Three more. They're all on pre-order, <laughs> just to let you know. They're all on pre-order, <laughs> so just get them ahead of time. We've got... It's because the kits were so massive, so to break them down into to bite-sized pieces, there, there was always going to be a lot of them. But, but it's so nice. But it means you can pick, like, if there's a particular style of flower you like or, or if, whether you like the smaller flowers or the bigger flowers and you don't have to have all of it you can just pick the bit you like yeah but absolutely at an affordable price that if you want both you can have so them. appealing we are just over half sorry just under half an hour away from the fire line deal of the day <laughs> <laughs> that is going to cause i feel like we need security guards or something <laughs> i feel like people are going to storm I the think, building i think we need to um take some uh like energy drinks or something to the call center when, when we do yes. the fire line. just to warn <laughs> you keep going, keep going. <laughs> call center representatives you are gonna be inundated <laughs> right let's go sky blue appetite oh wow this is this is a meter strand this, this oh no that's mega, longer than a meter a strand my yeah. gosh 60 inches 
That is, that is a lot there. That's amazing. Then you get, yeah, look at this. <laughs> this one has to be your festival kit, don't you think? Yeah. Long Most line necklace, definitely. maybe a, a headband as well, something like that. I want oranges in here too, Hannah. I, well, Sorry, they, this I is do. The thing. They look I amazing the together. That just looks gorgeous. That's joyous. Oh my gosh, look at that strand. It's just a beautiful strand, isn't it? Somebody told me that that strand was a strand of, I don't know, mermaid eggs. I would believe them. <laughs> Uh, 1999, Glenda, Denise, Elizabeth, Karen, gorgeous Mary. Uh, well done, Woo! Pearl, Hazel, Stephanie, Karen, uh, Liz. Oh, oh, kind of bluebells. Um, I've never been on a bluebell walk. I'm, I'm making. I'm, I'm going to do a bluebell walk this kind of coming kind of May. Because when you walk into a wood, you just see a, a carpet it's, of it's them. It's magical. Like you're, oh. honestly, you're, you, it's like being transported to another world. It's like you'll get goosebumps. You will. Really? It's, it's so incredible because everywhere you look, it's like carpeted. But as you walk closer, it, it, like you see the indi individual flowers. So the carpet sort of goes further out. Oh. And like, it's, it's like a, an illusion, like an optical How illusion. How wonderful. It's, it's beautiful, yeah. And also, a, a, another place I'd like to visit this this year, and I think it's kind of July, June, July, August time, are the confetti fields over in Worcestershire. Oh, yes. Where you go and see all the beautiful flowers, the, what, the, what, the, the kind of flowers which are planted, and then, they're, and then they're harvested and dried for confetti. I'd love that. I mean, that is kind of a very... Take a photographer with you. I was going to say a very Instagram-worthy yes, yes, kind yes. of um, place to go, isn't it? Twelve ninety-nine. That is amazing. Oh, lovely photograph there. Beautiful. Shall I take Watson? No, because Watson will disgrace himself. <laughs> he will literally disgrace himself. My dog. I mean, I love him, but he is a bit of a dunderhead. He's he's not he's not the sharpest. Yeah, he's he's a bit. Oh, I don't know. He's a bit. He's a bit slow. God love him. Uh, anyway, twelve ninety-nine. <laughs> Fantastic. That's fine. Nothing I wouldn't say to his face. It's fine. Uh, well done, Nicolette and Dor. My cartoon brain kicked in again then, so I'd got him in, like erupting out of this mound of flowers. It was just like bits of stuff sticking yes. out of his fur. Yes, absolutely. Like, huh? Well done. This is pretty much sold out. Gorgeous. Well done. Eight, uh, Liam, you looked sensational on the show yesterday with your gorgeous ferny shirt on <laughs> come and give us a little wave here? is he going to do here? oh here he is here ladies he is. ladies oh, here he comes this is little wave <laughs> this is William's wave uh, hello. always <laughs> same same here he is come on oh he's not wearing come the same on. shirt today oh uh, no I'm wearing a different shirt today different shirt today oh we're trying to get a shot of it <laughs> oh look <laughs> so gorgeous <laughs> Oh, Leeham. Leeham Dickens. <laughs> right. Find him on Facebook. There we go. So, number four. Oh, this one. This one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Yellow, you don't want to know what they're talking about. I've, well, I, I, I dread Sorry. to think. Yellow got plated <laughs> base metal. That's disgusting. Um, <laughs> head pins. You get another strand. Okay, now, Neary, let me remind you, this is the coated clear quartz, AB coated clear quartz. I love that. <whistles> that is gorgeous stuff. It's so pretty, isn't it? Again, I think that adds a little bit of a magical sort of backdrop to these flowers as well. Doesn't so it just? Made a little bracelet with it and, and it just it just catches the, the light. So because the flowers all naturally move around and then you get the, the light bouncing well, off the gemstones. I think because you've got such serenity, such mm -hmm. lovely frostiness from the loose light flowers, it's to have that sparkle as well, it just it's pops. another dimension, isn't it? Yeah. Why, why on earth not? That is lovely. Look at that beautiful bracelet. Isn't it gorgeous? Shall I move it over? Have a look at this beauty. Isn't that sweet? And again, the little the little glass beads I've used from the, the rainbow um, kits that I had the other day, the rainbow spirals. 
Oh, your elephants were beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. They were stunning. We were talking about them on the show yesterday. They were gorgeous, Hannah. Those, those, those pieces people were people seem to like the elephants, but... The tassels were beautiful that you did. It was just lovely. Practising the tassels, you see. <laughs> just beautiful. And they were so big, the tassels. Yeah. Weren't they? Well, gorgeous. if you're going to have a tassel, you're going to go bold. <laughs> yes, exactly. You may as well go all out with your tassels. Straight down. Here we go. This is ridiculous. You just handed me the elephants. <laughs> yeah, with the shell pearl, you know, go with these. Uh, because the shell pearl kits coming up at the 12 o'clock hour, shove them with these kits. They look amazing. They would look fab. And that serenity yeah. mixed with the shell pearl, beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. Okay, uh, we've got, we've got one, f okay, there's loads of you there. There's loads of you there. Also, I think as well, you know, please do remember you get significantly more. Um, you're going to get a... Oh, no, Neary, come on, love. <laughs> what are you doing? He's on a mission. Ready? Just, just go, just do it. Oh, God. <laughs> He's got excited. I told you. £10.99. I, I knew he was in, in that kind of bubbly yeah. mood. We're going to get in trouble. £10.99 <laughs> for... Your incredible kit for this gorgeous kit. Well done, everyone. Literally flying out the door. Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. Amazing, amazing deals for you today. Great kits. I know it's made I know it's been a lot of effort to break these down and to kind of and to kind of separate them out and everything. It's a lot for you to work with, Hannah, but <laughs> It's, it's paid dividends because it just makes it so affordable. It's just I just, yeah, I just I just wanted everyone to be able to sort of like get hold of one of these kits. Of course. You know, not, not everyone's got the budget, so it's quite nice. And to also not that's, you know, when acquirable. we originally did these, it made me <laughs> I did look at them and I think not everyone's got the space for all those lucite flowers. So <laughs> having a fab time buying the lucite kits and Hannah's makes are awesome. Oh, Thanks, thank Jen, for making my birthday special. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Make sure you eat cake. Oh, shove that cake in. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to bring a cake in on Friday, actually, oh. for my lovely gang. Is that all right? Because, you know, it is, you know, it's bank holiday. It's good Friday. Depends. depends. I'm going to bring a courgette cake in. Oh. Is that all right? What do you mean have a day off? It, whoa, that is a proper cake, Neary. Don't... OK, well, you're not having any. <laughs> you shouldn't have told him what it was. What do you mean? <laughs> it's all right. It's blooming lovely. It's got vegetables in it, he says. <laughs> it, honestly, it's delicious. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's got <laughs> lots... carrot cake as an alternative. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at this. OK, this has got shell pearls in. Let's just go. Let's just go, go, go. Well done. <laughs> well done, everyone. Here we go. Oh, mate. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 12 99 for you today. Jan, Jane, Shirley, Alison. Well done. This is amazing. I just love it, love it, love it. There's loads of you there. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Loads of you there. Absolutely fantastic. Eleven ninety nine. Well done. Well done, everyone. Absolutely gorgeous. I've no idea what they're actually talking about. I'm not about. sure they're talking about pot noodles and things. Then at one point, I don't, I don't know, know what, what happened about. there. <laughs> well oh, done. Yes. <laughs> six oh, yes. triple four, six double five. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Uh, keep checking your baskets out. Well done. Demo, 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 demo. Okay. What would you like to make? I'm just going to show you how to make one of these little bracelets. Yes, please. So, are we all right? Okay, so I've gone for, um, I think it's the kit you've got, actually. That you've just this done. one, yes, yeah. with the shell um, pearls. I am going to add some of my, my little glass beads in just from the other day, um, just because I think I like them, but you don't have to. So the one that I made um, for display is just using the shell pearls. Um, I've also got some of the um, excess shell pearls from the 12 o'clock kits in there because okay. I like the colourways there. Um, and it comes with head pins. So head pins just have a little ball on the end to stop things falling off the end. Mm. 
So I'm, I'm going to start off, I'm going to take a piece of um, beading thread or more ordinary um, jewellery maker beading thread. I'm going to take a crimp bead, which is like a little tube of metal. Lovely. You pop that on first, you pop on a jump ring and then you fold your um, thread over and you pass it back through the crimp bead and then you push that towards the, um, the ring but leave a little bit of a gap in case you want to add um, a crimp cover and then I'm using crimping pliers and I'm just going to squish that in place. So you squish it once with the, um, it's got two notches on the crimping um, jaws, one's got a little groove in it and one hasn't. <laughs> It's the one with the groove first, which makes a little line. Lovely. And then you turn your pliers the other way and you sandwich that shut. So the groove kind of folds your crimp in half. <coughs> Get in the groove, as they say. Yeah. Then I'm going to use my flush cutters and trim away that little tail end. And then that's my sort of what I'm going to thread onto in a second. And uh -huh. then I'm going to make myself a series of little components that you can then thread on any which way you like. So again, I'm going to take my head pin. I'm going to pick up one of my um, smaller beads from my own stash and I'm just going to pass it through one of my flowers and then uh, if I find my round nose pliers it's the easiest easiest technique you can ever do. If you've never made jewellery before you need one of these kits and you need a basic tool kit and you need to make these. Yes Hannah! So I'm just going to crimp that, well clamp it, not crimp it, into the, the jaws and then I'm going to wind that around and then every time I get my wrist all the way around, you sort of let go slightly and turn it back <coughs> to the top again. And you kind of, you spiral the head pin down towards the flower. And then we're going to put that down and we're going to make a few more of those in different colours. So you can, you can use the shell pearls in the centre of the flowers, you can use other beads. Um, I wonder if you can do it without one actually. Let's just try that. Yeah, you don't, you don't even need to have something inside. You could, you could have just like a, the little head pin in there. Mm. I, just, I just like the embellishment. So I'm going to make a few more of these. So again, I'm just going to keep spiralling these. And you can, you can go quite quickly once you get into it. But if you've never made jewellery before, it's a nice, easy, simple technique. Something you could do with the kids if you want to over yeah, Easter. Yeah, definitely. Um, if people have dexterity problems but want to make a piece of jewellery, this is probably a good one to have a go at because yeah. there's nothing too fiddly. You might need a little bit of help with um, uh, perhaps attaching the crimp on the end. But aside from that, I think it's fairly accessible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a handful of these, I think, because I like to alternate them. I think on some of the um, some of the bracelets, I did um, different colours in the centre as well. And if you did, if you have got one of the other packs, you can of course put the two flowers together, so you get the bigger one behind the small one. Um, uh -huh. it, it gives you another dimension, a bit more chunky. Four of this kit left. Four. Mm. Oh, there's no point in leaving that behind. Somebody needs that. Come on, everyone. <laughs> Thirty-five people with this in baskets. <laughs> I absolutely love the idea of these as an Easter thing as well. I mean, you, you could do like little, you could have a little game with kids, couldn't you? They could decorate an Easter basket and then go on an egg hunt or something. Oh, yes. I mean, that'd be a nice activity for Easter Sunday, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? How lovely. So again, you can see it's, it's quite satisfying in that, that it's relatively quick to make these. Mm. But that's the, that's the beauty of mini makes, you know. It's not, it's not something that's going to take you too long. No. So you... Um, you you get your reward fairly fast, which so, is nice. So these kits, we've got kind of ones and twos left of some of them. Just have a quick look at the website. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, left in the fruit salad kit, uh, a couple left in the sunflower and the rose kit. Yeah, oh, the big ones sold out completely. A couple of, of the pink petals and the orange petals. So uh, yeah, just just you know, check them out. They're gorgeous and. They're so interchangeable. They're wonderful. They really are, and they do. They really do work with the um, the twelve o'clocks as well because yes. of the, the colours in the shell pearls and the Absolutely. fact that you get some like masses of the shell pearls as well. Mm -hmm. um, you could you can split them across the two. You really Absolutely. can. Do a couple you more, can, then I'm yeah. going to thread some of these together. I think, Gorgeous. I think I used about is there about twenty ish. Of, of these flowers on there, so, so, the, so I think that pink bracelet is probably a bit too big for me, but the, the other ones are slightly Let's smaller. Two, four, six, eight, ten, 
12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. 21, 21. There you go. Same so, age as us, Hannah. Uh, of course. <laughs> Two, four, <laughs> six, eight. Several ten, years experience. 12, <laughs> yes. 14, 16, 18. There's 19 on this one. Ah, okay. There we go. So kind of, yeah. Right. So I'm going to pick up my little um, threaded piece of uh, beading thread. Yeah. Uh, I'm, if you're not using um, a crimp cover on the end, it's a good idea to have another bead there before you start adding flowers. Uh, mm. One, because the size of the bead will hold that um, little piece of metal away from your skin so you won't feel it. If you've got a crimp cover, then put, put that on. So um, a crimp cover, for those that don't know, is, is a little, it almost looks like a, a Pac-Man or a little baby bell cheese when it's open. Yes! And it just goes over the crimp and then just, just uh, hides any sharp edges. So I've added one of my smaller beads, then I'm going to add one of my shell pearls, like that, and then I'm going to pick a flower, so I'm going to go for purple, then I'm going to add a shell pearl, and then I'm going to go for green, and then add a shell pearl, and you can see there's a pattern forming, <laughs> and add a blue, and then a shell pearl, and go back to purple, And then I'm going to keep alternating, but I'm going to follow that pattern of colours. So you could just pick like one colour and have like an entirely green um, bracelet, for example, if you wanted, or purple or uh, blue. But if you mix them up, you get this lovely sort of, um, I don't know, it's just, I think it's a cheerful display when you get all the colours together. Definitely, it really is. It's lovely. I'm just going to so pop nice. those on. Uh, green and then blue and then... Obviously, you carry on until you've got the length of your desired bracelet. Gorgeous. And the, one, the ones I've made that fit me, are, I have got about 21 flowers on. But you just carry on like that, and then you get this lovely kind of fl oh, floral display. So sweet. And they're cute, aren't they? Yeah, very, very sweet. And it all moves they? around, and it, and it rolls like that. And then when you're wearing it on your wrist, the flowers... Um, if, if they start off upside down, you can sort of jiggle it about until they're sitting outwards. And, yeah. and then you get sort of a complete little floral display all the way around. Yeah. And it's as simple as that. Adorable. Yeah. So sweet. Anyone can have a go with those. They're, oh, they're, they're such gorgeous, gorgeous kits. And as Hannah says, they're joyous. They're joyous. So sweet. Thank you so much, darling. You're welcome. Gorgeous. Right. Um, beautiful, hey? Gorgeous kits. Amazing. Uh, right. Star by... Oh, this is exciting. We've got a little section of ammonite and amylite, um, which kind of leads into our kind of fossilized section of the show. It's a star by, these are gonna fly. We have got here a selection of three, three gems which are heralded as the rarest gemstone on planet Earth. Um, are they the rarest gemstone on planet Earth? They are definitely one of the rarest gems on planet Earth and I will explain why. This incredible stone, this incredible stone forms in one place in the world, in southern Alberta, in, um, in uh, Canada. And it forms on the shell of a, a, a sea creature that lived kind of 60 million years ago called an, Ammon, uh, called an Ammonite. And it forms on one part of the shell. So it forms on one part of the shell of one particular type of um, extinct fossilized sea creature um, in one place in the world, in one location, kind of one location of that one mine. So is it the rarest gem on planet Earth? You, you could probably argue that it is because it's no longer being made. It's no longer being it's no longer in existence, if you like. The animal that it, um, uh, that it was um, attached onto uh, died out 60 million years ago. The, the animal is the ammonite, and I do have an ammonite coming your way.
But the gemstone that forms on this particular variety of ammonite is called ammonite. My yeah. gosh. Now, it is the Aurora Borealis in a gemstone. I need, to, I need to be really honest with you. Because this forms on one part of the shell, it forms in literally microscopic layers. Um, you will never see amylite on its own. If you did, it would, it would just, it would just, it would just break. So it, it is always set into either a doublet, normally a triplet. And what that means is you have a slice of amylite, which you can see there with the most incredible intense colors. Underneath the amylite is a bit of um, dark resin. It, it tends to be either brown or black, just as kind of you would see boulder opal on a host rock, yeah? So you get that underneath and then over the top, this is the really important part, over the top you have a clear resin. It doesn't alter the color, doesn't alter the quality. What it does is it protects the amylite, which is underneath. It's very, very, it would be very sensitive to sunlight. It will be very sensitive to the touch, which is why it needs that triplet setting. Every piece is unique, every single piece. Presumably, Neri, we're going for the largest one. Is that right? Right, this is a supernatural gem it is literally it is literally above and beyond anything else on planet earth the fact that it comes from southern alberta which is the kind of place where you you will be able to see the northern lights for me makes this an a near mythical gem we were um we have got a great relationship with um uh, the gentleman who runs the um, who, who who runs a mine a gentleman called tom we visit his booth every year at the Tucson Gem Show. And what they are doing uh, for the local, uh, the local kind of um, local employment, what they're doing for the local community is really quite incredible. The gem you have here is unspeakably rare. Um, it is totally natural. Like I say, it is, it, is, it is found on one part of one side, I should say, of the ammonite fossilized shell. It is literally wafer thin. Um, oh, there he is. Perfect. So this is L at the um, at the Tucson Gem Show, not last year, but the year before. And this is when they have all of the all of the big ammonite shells. You can see the ammonite on the ammonite there. And you can hopefully kind of understand why uh, we set it in the way that we do. Because honestly, if you were to just, if you were to, that, that will have resin over the top. You can see how it's shiny it is. It's because it will have a clear resin over the top just to protect it. Much like you would with a car, you put a wax over the top of it to protect the paintwork. Um, these are so beautiful. Those pieces there, by the way, they are near on priceless. They are tens and tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, and we've got beautiful, settable pieces for you today. It is such a fragile stone. It is such a beautiful stone. It is such a rare stone. And anything that you get, anything, uh, any amylite that you get, which has got one color or more is amazing. Here, we've got reds, yellows, greens, and two different types of blue here. We're gonna give you a 30 second clock to graphics. Every piece will be unique. Every piece has got that incredible um, uh, kind of um, ethereal quality to it. The price of amylite in Toronto is quite um, yeah. prohibitive. Yeah, so, so when you do go to places like Southern Alberta, or if you go to places like Toronto in, 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 in Canada, and you try and buy this incredible gemstone, it's a little bit like trying to buy Larimar in the Dominican Republic. The price is always going to be that much more expensive. It's going to be that much more exclusive. Because you've got the tourist trade, you've got a captive audience there. What we've got for you today, Graphics Alive, Graphics Alive is a piece of amylite which measures eight by six mil eight by six so it's a calibrated size we do have semi mounts which uh which take eight by six millimeter uh gemstones you don't need to worry about the 
the integrity of this piece because it's been triplet set, it's been sandwiched, it's been almost sealed, if you like. I wouldn't wear it to do the washing up, um, but uh, can you wear this every day? Sure you can, no problem whatsoever, because it's, it's got that resin underneath and it's got that clear resin on top. It is a, it is a magical stone. And I can imagine so many people absolutely loving this as part of their collection. One of the world's rarest genuine gems, isn't it? I, I've, I've got one like this. I don't know. Do if, you? I, I don't know if it's the same. Mine, mine's actually in a little pendant, and it and it used to belong to my mum. And oh, uh, sweetheart! It was just one of those things that um, she, she she had a little box of, of um, treasures. She called them. And when I saw that, like, sort of took it out, held it up. My, and my sister used to work here as well, obviously. And we both said, we know what that is. It's Did just... she get it from here? Yeah. yeah. Did she? Yeah. Wow. It, I mean, and... Because I don't know anywhere else in the UK where you can get no, this gem from, No, no, it was, it was from here. And it was kind of like, wow, that's amazing. How so wonderful. Yeah, so we've still got that little bit as a sort of a memorial to her. But also she, she was oh, mad with colours as well. Yes. And she said, can you, like, she was just marvelling at the beauty of nature and the fact that you can have this tiny little snapshot of something yeah. that's part of this massive, massive other story. And she, she loved it, yeah. When you look at it, you can't help but be awestruck, can you? Yeah. It really is. It is everything that, that, that Mother Nature is offering you in a, as you say, a snapshot. Price on this is ridiculous. 79.99 is not your deal today. This is honestly amazing. To have more than one color is incredible. Here I can see in this particular one, reds, yellows, greens, light blue, dark blue, 49.99, my gosh. You try and get amylite of this quality anywhere else in the world for that price. That is incredible. Maker in Cumbria, Chris in Cleveland, Linda in Hertfordshire has got two, Janice in Kent, Jennifer in Surrey, Helena in Leicestershire, Linda in Hertfordshire, well done to you. We're not done. This is something which is no longer being created. It's made from a fossilized sea creature. It, it formed on a fossilized sea creature which died out 60 to 100 million years ago, the kind of amber kind of age. And you are getting here a a quality which is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's, a, it's an eight by six gem. It's not the largest gem in the world, but it doesn't matter because it's, it, it's got such a punch to it. Look at these prices you're getting here. That one there, kind of um, second row right on the left, that's absolutely beautiful. How much is that? 429 US dollars. Wow, 389 US dollars. Uh, 459 US dollars, you've got 499, 299. Uh, 269, I mean, you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of dollars, aren't you? Okay, there's, yeah, there's hardly any double figures there at all. There's hardly any prices which are around the $50 price point, are there? I have an Amalite, uh, an Amalite ring from Gemporia I bought years ago, I love it. Jane, it is, it is a magical gem. Um, and I remember when we launched it, um, and it was, it literally, everybody, I think pretty much everybody I know bought a piece of Amalite, whether it was a piece of, um, uh, a pe you know, a loose gemstone or whether it was in a ready-made piece. We're taking £10 off the price point. This is your deal today. Well done. 39 Oh my gosh. Amazing. Absolutely brilliant. It is a magical gem. Well done, Maker and Kent Lynn. We've got makers there from all over the country getting involved. Can I just say as well, we do have a slightly smaller oval as well. If you wanted to make, if you wanted to put this in the centre and then two smaller ones either side to make a lovely trilogy ring, then you absolutely can do. We've got two slightly smaller ovals coming up as well. West Midlands, Hampshire, lovely Leslie. Well done to you, my love. Um, we've got Maker in the West Midlands. We've got uh, Wiltshire coming through. Absolutely amazing. Can you imagine the feeling of when this was discovered? I mean, you, well, I know you say you struck gold, but you've struck something equally beautiful, if not more so. Well, when Labradorite was first yeah. discovered, it was it was believed that I can't remember who it was, but um, some 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 uh, god um, uh, was believed to have struck his staff into the ground and connected with the aurora borealis and transferred it into the into the earth and i can imagine absolutely you know the same kind of feeling that kind of it is it is godlike it's absolutely incredible helen has taken three well done to you my lovelies gorgeous right okay now ring mount oh oh We've got this ring mount. 
Ah, to go with the slight. Okay, so the next amylite I'm going to bring you, uh, we're going to do a ring mount, not this ring mount that you can see here. Oh, it is that ring mount. Okay, brilliant. So, okay, so we're going to bring you the amylite now, uh, another amylite, slightly smaller, and we're going to bring you the ring mount as well. So this is the middle size one, Neri, is that right? Is this the middle size one, Lovey? Yeah, brill. Oh, gosh, the colours in here. Wow. And it really, oh, wow. This looks like the old gosh. Channel 4 emblem. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Woo! Or was it, no, was it uh, Central TV? Central, yeah. <laughs> Absolute, my gosh. Oh, Look at my that. gosh. Oh, Hannah, that is amazing. That really is. I mean, when you say about like, Aurora Borealis, it, it really could be, couldn't it? That is absolutely stunning. Do you know what? And, um, you know, we were, we were lucky enough to... Uh, I've got a photograph, actually. I really shouldn't show my phone in the studio, should I? But I do have a photograph of the Aurora Borealis that we saw around Christmas time, and it was absolutely amazing. Let me show you. See if I can find it. It is... Abs Look at those colours. Look and see how they move. They are just incredible, aren't they? they? It's hypnotic, isn't it? The, it really is hypnotic. It's like a piece of rainbow or a piece of the aurora, you know. It's just to forgive have that captured in a natural situation. It's very out of focus, so that. forgive look me for that. showing you this, but just look at that. That's got a very bad photo of the aurora borealis, but that is just incredible. That, those colours you can see there, the greens, the reds, it's absolutely out of this world, <laughs> isn't it? It's um, it's stunning. My own piece of the Northern Lights. Yeah, Santa's here. Yes, says Chris. Yes, <laughs> Santa. I know him. Uh, look at this. It, it's just, it's beautiful. We do have the ring mount coming up as well, which we're really excited about. So this is, um, oh, Fireline is coming up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Fireline is coming up. Don't worry. We haven't done it. It's there. Don't worry. Thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Minute clock. Lowest ever price. Okay, we're going to be bringing you the ring mount as well. Oh, gosh, this is amazing. Maureen, well done to you. This is the best opportunity to own this stone. Yeah, I've got the mount here. I'm not even going to attempt, my, she says, but I will attempt. And it might not work because I don't have a gem setting toolkit with me. I'm just literally going to pop it in to the mount. Oh, my gosh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> diggy, 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 diggy. Yeah, so you look at the pieces there. Look at the prices you're getting there for really beautiful pieces. I'm just literally resting this in here. I do not want to set it properly. I'm not setting oh, it properly. Oh, But just look at that. I've just literally rested it in there. Oh, my gosh. That's stunning. That looks amazing, doesn't it? You've got to admit. Uh, we've got the ring mount coming up. Ring mount is coming up. Ring mount is coming up. Oh, it's... come on. Go on, my <laughs> ring mount is coming up. Like I said, I haven't oh, set it properly, but that beautiful. is amazing. <gasps> Helen has got two. Janet, Rebecca, Denise, Maker, Maureen. Well done to you as well. There's your deal. Twenty nine ninety nine. That is that's the lowest price I think I've ever seen for Amalite. Fabulous. Lowest price I've ever seen. We're talking kind of yeah, ten percent of some of the prices you're seeing there. Of uh, most of the prices you're seeing on there. Maker, Valerie, Rebecca. Well done to you as well. Oh, my gosh. Look at those colours. I mean, it's, it's almost got a sort of like a, a swathe of rainbow across the front. Well, it's like it? a diagonal line. Yeah. It's just incredible, it's isn't it? A lovely stone. Well it's done. Really beautiful. Deborah's got two. Helen has got two. Jean Maker's got four in their baskets. Check out Maureen. You've got two in your basket as well. Check out my lovelies. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Well done, Jean in Cambridgeshire. <laughs> Check out my lovelies. And we've got the ring mount. Yeah, he's about to come out. Sorry. We've got, the, uh, we've got the ring mount coming up as well, which is just gorgeous. Yeah, we'll put the ring mounts on in the break. Let's do that because we want to do the last Amalite. Amalite. It literally does light up, doesn't it? Oh, it is a beauty. Is, this, is it three different sizes? Yeah, so, you so we have, didn't... You have a beautiful sort of cascading sort of trilogy as, as a pendant if you have you set them all. Oh, I like that, that idea, that Hannah. Lovely, yeah. it? Oh, wow. We'll get two of those and have some absolutely amazing earrings. Blues, reds, greens, I'm seeing there. What about you? Orange is at yeah, the bottom got as well. Yeah, like orange and a gold. Yeah, that is seriously gorgeous. Oh, lovely. <laughs> 
Beautiful. Let's get that price point straight down. Oh my gosh, that's so good looking. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We've got the ring mount coming up as well, which we'll put on over the break. Uh, Amalite triplet, six by four. So we've done eight by six, seven by five. This one's six by four. This one's the baby one. But honestly, it, 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 it doesn't matter. You know, like when you look through a, sorry, this sounds, this makes me sound very dodgy indeed. But you know, when you look through a keyhole, <laughs> no, I don't make a habit of looking through a keyhole. But you know, when, uh, you know, I'm thinking of, um, I'm thinking of uh, Alice in Wonderland when she looks through the keyhole and she sees the animals playing, are they playing croquet or are they having a race or whatever it is they're doing? But she sees a whole wonderland, yeah? And it's like, it doesn't need to be a big aperture that you're looking through because you can just see a snapshot of that wonder and it doesn't need to be a huge vista in front of you. Does that still make me sound a bit stalkerish? Yeah, possibly. Okay, 19.99, well done. It's such a good deal for your... Um, for your Amalite, that is absolutely amazing. Love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. Chris has got two. Deborah's got two. Helen has got three. Oh, I can, I can sense earrings, necklaces. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's got, to, it's got to be, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The blue's amazing. It's like that blue that soaks up light. It kind of retain, it kind of it, it retains light, doesn't it? It kind of soaks it up. Amazing. Elizabeth, Rebecca, Valerie, Caroline, Maker, Carmen, Maker, Brenda, Chris, Pauline. Well done to you. Oh, so many people coming through. Great to see. Valerie's got two. Well done, darling. Minute to close. Oh. The fact is every one of these is going to look slightly different, but every single one I've shown you, and we're not picky about the ones that we take out of our vault locations, by the way. Our, our warehouse staff do not have time to sit there and objectively go, oh, yes, well, this one's the best, so we'll use this. They literally will just take one from each location and then they'll send them over to us. So they, they literally are, they literally are um, a plethora of colors in each one of these. In each one of these, I've seen over you know, three, if not more colors, which makes these top, 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 you know, double, triple A quality. Gorgeous, 19.99. Maker and Kemp, Pauline, Debbie, Elizabeth, Rebecca, Maker, Maker. Check out your baskets. There's so many multi-bidders there. So beautiful, well done. What? A magnificent stone. Now, what we're going to do do next? We, I wonder, Ollie, could we make this into a star buy? I know we're kind of we are a bit pushed for time. Now, there's only one of these. We're about to bring you the ammonite shell. This is big. This is beautiful, and it's a one of a kind. I remember as a, as a child um, when they were building the M40 motorway and I lived in a little village at the bottom of the Burton Dasset Hills called North End and um, right next to the village they were, they were building the M40 motorway and um, on the Sunday afternoons me and my sister used to go down to where we, oh, no, no, we shouldn't have done it at all. Um, but they weren't building or, or doing anything at the weekends. But um, on a Sunday, me and my sister went down a couple of times on our bikes and we climbed over the, over the fences and we just picked up fossils off the, off the ground. We were finding um, devil's toenails. We were finding um, uh, ammonites and I've still got them. I've still got them. Absolutely. And it just, it made my, it blew my mind that these things even existed. Now, what have we got here? Sorry, we've, I've got a lovely, lovely photo that I, I'm desperate to show you. This is a photograph of Ollie's amazing daughter, Shayla. And um, <laughs> look at her. She's absolutely loving life there. She's in Lyme Regis, which is part of the Jurassic Coast. Uh, and you've got a statue behind her of Mary, is it Anning or Hanning? Anning, who was a very famous paleontologist of the time, and she discovered the plesiosaur, which was an aquatic uh, dinosaur. She discovered it back in, I think she died in 18-something, but she discovered this. I mean, 
amazing. Uh, amazing, amazing. And she is um, uh, Shay's absolute hero. So, because uh, Shay is a budding paleontologist, archaeologist, everything. This is a picture of this terrifying. I mean, I don't know what I would do if I was swimming and I came across one of these. But, I mean, that would be, that would scare me, yeah, to, to death. But look at that, a plesiosaur. Isn't that amazing? Now, you can go down to um, places like Lyme Regis and you can go along the, uh, walk along the coast there and you find these gorgeous boulders which look a certain way, which sound a certain way if you tap them. And if you're with a paleontologist who can use the little kind of pickaxe almost to just kind of split it in half, quite often you can find these ammonites. Now, the ammonites that I found when I was um, scouring through the, the kind of rubble of the M40 <laughs> all those years ago, about, it must have been about 30-odd 30, 30 years ago, uh, the, the biggest one I found was probably about that big. And it wasn't a, 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 a whole one. It was, it, was, it was part of an ammonite, like, like the outer ridge or whatever. Um, I'm going to show you this side first. Because dare I say it, this is the less impressive side. I mean, unbelievable. An ammonite fossil, 10 centimetres, isn't that incredible? A lot of people believe it's related to the Nautilus. It actually isn't. Um, I've got, can I, can I show my slide, please, lovely? Is that all right, Levy? Oh, hang on. Okay. Here we go. Ah, there, yeah. Um, so they were shelled. Hmm. cephalopods who died out about 66 million years ago. Fossils of them are found all around the world, sometimes in very large concentrations. All of them had a chambered shell that they used for buoyancy. I'm going to show you this other side. It's a little bit worn, obviously. Wow. But look at the colours. We're going to take this straight down. This is a one-off piece. This is the piece you are going to get. And these little chambers inside... The little ammonite would live in here, but they would have some of the chambers full, full of air. And when they emptied the air out of them, they'd either sink or they'd, or they'd, or they'd float to the top. They are beautiful. And this is a fossilized version of that incredible animal. I have one of these as a pendant, but I think that might be a bit big. Yes, you would not wear this as a pendant. Let me tell you that. I've got Alison. I've got, oh, I think that might be guest designer, Alison, actually. And we've got Anne in Cardiff and we've got Jennifer in Surrey. Your price is 199. There's one available. It's yours today. Oh my God. Isn't it's that? It's like a spiral staircase that gets, you know, your Aurora Borealis colors. Yes. It's almost like, well, like, a, like a wormhole or something. You're being pulled into well, we that talk, color. Well, we talk yeah. about the, um, you know, the Fibonacci code. We talk about the, uh, you know, the Da Vinci code, the Fibonacci numbers and, you know, natural kind of numbers and concentric Spiral, yeah. spirals in, in uh, nature. This is it. It absolutely, isn't it? It's yours today, 199 Peter and Sharon. I've got loads of you there. There's only one available. This is the one you're going to get. We're going to leave it open over the break. When we come back, we've oh gosh, we've got the fire line. Oh my gosh, I was thinking, <laughs> what are we doing? We've got the fire line. It's going to be your deal of the day. It's coming up next. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Regina, happy birthday! Yes, happy, happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I don't think I've ever been on this side of the studio. Oh, <laughs> there's all there's all sorts that happens over here, Hannah. I will tell you what's happening today, though. Oh, <laughs> this <laughs> is about to break the phone lines. I'm going to be really honest with you. We've got limited amounts of each one of these. They are going to literally fly in seconds. Don't put them in your basket. Don't even think about putting them in your basket. If you do that, you're going to miss out. OK, we're going to give you a minute clock. These are going to fly. Big reels, big reels. What, what are you, you going to do? do? What are you going to do? <laughs> I love it. So we've got the fire line in black satin. We've got it in smoke. We've got it in crystal. Now, Hannah, we, I was talking. We were talking to Susie about um, the beautiful about the benefits of fire line yesterday, and we were talking about it this morning as well before the mm. show. Gives you such fluidity to your jewellery doesn't it? it it really does because um it's it's got that it's incredibly strong mm. and it's very fine and it's got that it's like an added security to yep. the jewellery but it enables you to make literally sort of like almost fabric like beadwork yeah it's brilliant i love it now we've got three different colors that i believe they're all the same sizes the difference with this far line is you get so much of it you are going to be getting 125 yards on each one of these spools we're going to bring them to air separately they are all going to sell out they are all going to sell out right which one are we doing first oh gosh do you mean the black satin or the smoke in smoke or is it in black satin? Black, black satin. satin. Okay, we're doing the black satin first. It's going to sell out in seconds. Yeah, there you are. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Quick. Well done. <laughs> it's amazing stuff. It's the four pound one. So it's the kind of finer one, 125 yards or 114 meters. Oh, don't even think about putting a clock in Neri. What are you doing? I don't know if I get the same chance, but it might sell out before we even bring the price in. <laughs> oh, well. 
giving everyone the same opportunity. Love this. This is gorgeous, isn't it's, it? It's fabulous, isn't it? It's your, your classic black. It's um, if you're using dark gemstones, it sort of disappears in, in, uh, into your into your beading. Mm -hmm. in, obviously, seed beads as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually use it for bead embroidery as well, if you fancy. So if you've got Ooh. a black backing fabric and it disappears, nice. Like that, it's brilliant. It's just it's very strong. It's very durable. Um, it's um, it's very fine as well. So like when you're making beads um, that sit together very closely, they they have a lovely sort of fluid. Yeah. Uh, I keep saying fabric light because it's a, yes. If, if you get like um, a piece of um, Delica work or mm -hmm. something like that, and and it's got, it, it's just <clears throat> it's so sinuous. It's beautiful. Twenty nine ninety nine. Love Fireline even more so than Wildfire. So excited over the thread. Can't get the excitement over in a text. Says Alison. <laughs> awesome. Good for you, darling. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> It's pretty much gone. Well done. Huge congratulations to absolutely everybody. We had to take the clock out just literally because there's just so many people coming through. Well done to everybody. 29, 29.99 is your deal today. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. How many do we have left, Neri? 11 left. Oh, okay, so there's me. still 11 left. Well done. Uh, we've got just just dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people there. It's great to see. Well done, everybody. Um, gorgeous well done at just 29.99 well done gorgeous go 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 um gloucestershire dorset northamptonshire london surrey lanarkshire there's just reams and reams and reams of you coming through well done everybody look at all these people well done and good morning to you all hello hello so good yes. to see you all <laughs> well done well done well done so that's for the black satin well done okay Smoke or crystal? Crystal. Gorgeous. This one's my favourite. Why? I just like the fact that you can put this with any colour yeah. and it sort of disappears. It take, mm. takes on the colour of whatever you're stitching yeah. through. Um, it's almost like it's not there. It's beautiful. And the like, invisible and, thread. Yeah, and, it, it's, and again, you've got all the, the same properties as before. It's really, mm. really strong. It's really durable. <clears throat> it's easy to use. Normally, we, we have these on 50-yard um, reels, so the 125 is Yeah, is brilliant. Um, and you can keep going for much longer. <laughs> just, look at a, just, just look at this. Look at everyone coming through. There you go. Names, 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 names. Lots and lots and lots of names. Well done. It's it's flying. It's flying, flying, flying. 125 yards or 114 metres of your uh, fire line in your gorgeous crystal, which is that lovely, lovely kind of clear, transparent quality. It's absolutely brilliant. Go, go, go. Well done. 29.99. Absolutely crazy. Can I just apologise to our lovely call centre team as well? I know you are just I was just thinking swamped. of them. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Inundated by calls. Well done. That's pretty much gone. OK. And finally, last but not least, let's do the smoke. This is lovely. It's a slightly different kind of tone. Is it more grey than the other one, do you it, think? It's slightly. It's a, it's a softer. If you imagine... Oh, gosh, of, just a softer. Yeah it's, yeah, it's very subtly different. Yeah. So it's, it's um, again, it kind of disappears. It's one of those ones that you can, you can put in either a sort of a... I, I mean, how would you explain it? So like if you want something that's dramatic and you can kind of see the stitching as you're going, then go with the black. If go you want something that's more likely to blend and... Uh, yeah. and sort of becomes like sort of one with your beadwork, yep. then maybe smoke's perhaps the one you want to go for. There you go. Is that our Susie? Yeah, guess yeah, it's yeah. Our Susie. She knew she was going to be coming through to get it today. Well done, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everybody. $29.99. We've waited months and months and months and months to get this in stock. It's absolutely brilliant. Well done. Um, and yeah, we've only been able to get literally limited, limited quantities of all of these. Um, when I was looking this morning as well, other places, there's like literally two in stock. So, you know, you know, it is so difficult to get hold of anywhere right now. It really um, is, it's yeah. just a wonderful, wonderful threading material. It's used by almost all of our seed beaders here, but also not just seed beaders, beaders as well. Uh, don't just think it's just for seed beading. It can be used for all sorts of different beadings to give your jewellery a really lovely um, kind of silk kind of like drape. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can use like, you can use it like sewing thread, but it's stronger. So when I did the elephant tassel necklaces on the on the last one, um, it, it it's like this kind of thread that you would use to then embellish around the top of the tassel. Okay. Stitch through the tassel. Yeah. Um, so you, you know, you can really anything you can use a needle and thread for. Mm. For. 
Did I get my words right? Yes, around yes, then? yes. <laughs> I thought we were talking about Anything thread. You can then. use a, a needle and thread <laughs> needle four. Needle and thread you four. Can you can use it. You can use this. And except you've got that that sort of extra sort of knowledge that it's unlikely to fray. It's if you get yourself into a tangle, it's quite forgiving as well mm. because it's got that lov lovely um, coating to it. You can yes. kind of back it up and like if you use a pin, wiggle it and the knot undoes itself again. Oh, that's a good which uh, is really bit of knowledge. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Gorgeous, and also you can use your thread to, uh, zapper with it as well. Um, if you want to kind of um, uh, kind of ball at the ends, then you absolutely can do. You know, with your silk cord or your cotton cords, they'll just burn, they'll, they'll singe, they'll look yeah. awful. Whereas this, it just it just it just curls up beautifully. Well done, gorgeous, absolutely fantastic. Um, I believe has that gone, or have we still got some left? Two left. Two left. <gasps> Two left. Oh my gosh. Well done. We are absolutely going to let Gorgeous. the guys know that it's popular <laughs> and that lots of people look like they've not been able to get it. So I believe later on yeah. this month, we may have the wildfire in the different colours again. The pinks, the beiges, I'd, the blues. I'd heard a rumour that there was colours coming. Yes, yes. So uh, fingers crossed. Mm. <laughs> One month today from the birthday. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This year's uh, flying, isn't it? Yep, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know how we're actually in April. I don't know what happened to January, February or March. Well, yeah, I think I feel like February and March sort of went like that. Mm, um, January lasts about January weeks, lasted for it? about 95 days, <laughs> um, or it felt like that. And, yes. then, and now everything's just going faster now. <laughs> OK, right. There we go. Fossilised shell quartz. This is amazing. Now, we... Wow. We've got some gorgeous amber coming up next, which we're so excited about as well. So that's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, what is this gem? So Neary very helpfully sent me an email. <clears throat> yes, the other day. You did. You sent me an email. <laughs> and the email basically... Oh, where's it gone, Neary? What have I done with it? We've buried it in loose it like flowers. <laughs> I know, we've buried it literally in all the other slides. Oh, is it not there? It was the first slide, love. You've done, you've, you've deleted it. Oh. And it was basically <laughs> an email uh, from, um, uh, 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 basically this was sourced when we went over, this was sourced when we went um, over to Jaipur. I don't know whether it was this time or maybe the time before, but it was sourced um, uh, either, either this um, time just gone or the time before. And um, we were offered the opportunity to get some really, um, some really limited edition strands of this gemstone. When you look at it, it does, there are, oh, thank you for, um, for that. There are similarities between this and other gems like Mariam Jasper or some of the dinosaur bone that we've had. So I think, you know, if you've seen those before, you might look at this and go, oh yeah, I think that looks like it might be fossilized. This is really, really cool though. And this is what a man said, um, who's one of our contacts over in Jaipur, and said, this gemstone forms with fossilised shells, which is originally from a rare variety of gastropod that lived between 50 and uh, 100 million years ago. Uh, where well, the Indian subcontinent was submerged under the ocean, recovered from a hill which, locate, which is located in Madhya Pra. Pradesh state in central India usually found as a complete shell or merged with other minerals like quartz and calcite. So much like the varieties of fossilized jasper that we bring you or the peanut wood or your jet or whatever it might be, it's when you get this kind of merging of this organic matter with other materials like your calcite, like your quartz. And it's just absolutely gorgeous i love anything that kind of is a it's a historical relic and this is one of those things you look at it and you go that is a piece of history which you know the, the millions and millions of years before almost, humans lived on earth it's absolutely incredible it's almost like tribal art yes isn't it yeah absolutely yeah, so um, so when you, you know, when you think of things like ammonites as well, they were kind of gastropods as well. You know, they lived under the ocean, and it's believed that the reason why things like ammonites and um, uh, and related animals died out is because the sea levels actually began to fall, and they really loved deep, deep water, deep oceans, and that's one of the reasons apparently why they may have um, got too why they may have them. died yeah. out. Yeah, and it got too warm. Exactly. Um, this is a piece of history. Being able to work with those 
beautiful kind of cabochons, those triplets that we bought you. Um, Enamel light is absolutely amazing. But being able to bring you a fossilized, something in a fossilized form in a workable gemstone strand, that's really exciting, isn't that, it? It's amazing. In a it? bead, you know, something that, you know, if you're, if you're a beader, fantastic. If you're a gem setter, brilliant. But if you're not a gem setter, love that. If you're not a gem setter, then, you know, you might find it more challenging. That one, look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, look, these are some of your gastropods. And they look a little bit like nautiluses, don't they? They look a bit like barnacles. They look a bit like, um, you've got your ammonite there as well. Oh, that's a, E is like one of those devil's toenail um, fossil things. I think J and K are like, uni was it unicorn horn kind of things? I love finding shells like that. I've seen, yeah, yeah, I found some of them on the beach. Mm. They're amazing, aren't they? But if you look, if you look in some of these. You can see. On, I'll, give, I'll give you these them. as well. Yeah, look, you can see fragments of these gorgeous kind of spiralized there's a, there's a, there's a spiral shells oh, oh my gosh yes look at this sorry it's here look at that isn't that look beautiful that. just gorgeous isn't it that's a fossil this is all fossilized and what i mean what is a fossil how, how is a fossil different to something like amber so we'll talk about amber more when we come to play it but Amber is basically life preserved and fossilization is where you get organic matter, which which is replaced and turned, well, turns into stone, basically. That's what you're looking at. Um, uh, similar, yeah, to opal, fossilized water, basically. That's what opal is. And silica. Um, the quality you're getting here, amazing. Every single one of these is unique. Every single one of these has got a beautiful um, uh, character. And I don't know about you, working with gemstones is one thing, but working with a physical fossil, I mean, that's going to ignite anybody's imagination, isn't it? It's it really cool, is. It's pretty cool, isn't it? You know, it's connecting with the, with the ancient world yes. in, a, in a modern piece of jewellery. With I mean, the that, ancient that's... natural world. Yeah. I mean, seriously cool. We're going to start off with the strand of rounds. I think it's amazing we can do rounds. Whenever we bought you dinosaur bone, by the way, and we've never, I don't think we've ever done strands of dinosaur bone. They've only ever been cabs. They've always, um, always, always sold out. Um, we source most of our dinosaur bone from, um, from America, um, uh, along with the Megalodon teeth and things like that we've had in the past, which have been absolutely brilliant, so well received by you. Um, but to be able, and, and this does really remind me, that fibrousness reminds me very much of the fossilized dinosaur bone. Um, but we've never done it in strands. It's only ever been in cabs. To do this in a strand of rounds, workable rounds, one as a pendant. It's, I mean, it's also it's quite unisex, isn't it? So, I mean, if you're, if you're making something for, for the gents as well, I mean, I think it's, it's the kind of thing because of the, the colour tone, it's going to appeal to a lot of different people. But, yeah. I mean, you could team it with, like, sort of woods. You could team it with um, sort of hematites again, um, kind of... More masculine kind of themed things. Isn't that interesting that yeah. you say that? Because when we saw these, when we were looking at all of these this morning, our first kind of thought was, wouldn't this look amazing with wooden beads? Yes. Wouldn't this look amazing with, well, I suppose things like your peanut wood or your jet as well, which are also fossilised, but, you know, it, it, it's kind of a, a more organic gem rather than a gemstone. Definitely with hematite. I think you've definitely got, uh, or a bronzite maybe, it's more of a masculine kind of quality here. Wonderful neutrals. Those lovely. Are really quite graphic as well, aren't they? Yeah. Like graphic art. They really do. But the silvers in them are kind of like driftwoody colours. You can tell it's kind of been compressed and it's been it's been um, it's been compressed, it's been submerged for many, many millions of years. It's just so beautiful. Look at the all of these are so different. Look at this one here. It's got the most beautiful patination. Amazing, on it. isn't it? And that's all natural. It's not um, something which has been dyed or or kind of put together. It's 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 not even um, reconstituted. This is how it's found, uh, and then we just cut it into rounds. I just love it. I even love these kind of concretey ones as well. Don't you? I think they add to it because that like that that gives you the the sort of the the comparison then. So you can have one that's very graphic looking and one that's more kind of sort of almost misty or or sort yes. of yes. I, I, I can't even like sort of um, like a haze almost. Yes, absolutely. And yes. Then, and then you get another one which is like really kind of again graphic with like these strong like white lines on a grey background. Yeah, like ab 
Absolutely, absolutely, Hannah. Yeah, you do get the more graphic ones and then they look just so wonderful next to the ones which are a little bit more solid in colour, like pebbles. They're just beautiful. Okay, lots of interest there. This is great to see. Well done, everybody. I think as well, if you work a lot with, um, oh, I don't know, diamonds or things which are very sparkly and very kind of uh, colourful, maybe like your amethyst, why not try? And we said this with the uh, black rutilated quartz we bought to wear the other week, actually, and it absolutely flew. Um, why not try doing just one collection or a couple of pieces and and kind of use and, and use, you know, use um, a different name for that collection. Just making a few pieces with this incredible natural fossilized uh, shell quartz. It would look amazing. $49.99. Amazing deal already. Valentina, Karen, Chantal, well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through already, which is absolutely great to see. Enjoy. We're going to take a big chunk of money off that price. Ooh. Can you imagine if David Attenborough was here? And here we have... He's... What a hero. Twenty nine ninety nine. You mean Saint Attenborough, as he should be. <laughs> it's not your price. We can go lower. Again, this is something which, um, you know, I, I, I think about other gemstones. I think about, oh, I don't know. Let's take amethyst. Let's take pearls, for an example. Pearls are still being cultured today. You know, I'll be able to hopefully get pearls, you know, forever and a day. What about amethyst and other gemstones? Yeah, well, I suppose so. You know, they're still being formed. They're still there. These are formed from gastropods which died out 60 million years ago, which were extinct. There's no more of this. There's nothing. There's no, there's no more. That, you know, this is, it won't go on for an eternity. There is a finite amount of this available. $29.99 is not your deal today. Enjoy. Loads of you coming through. We've got all the amber coming up as well, which is wonderful, which is another nod to the natural world. The natural world. It's so cool. Kind of not gem stones, but organic gems. That one there has got the lovely kind of, oh, almost like, like a, a yin yang, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? But a natural just, forming one. I know, yes, yeah. a natural yin yang. How incredible is that? Karen's got two. Well done to you. Ready? Steady. £19.99. Phenomenal. Not for one cabochon or for a pack of two cabochons, but for an entire strand of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, I think it's 18 or 19 on there. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Vivian, Keith, well done to you, Maker in Lincolnshire as well. Well done to you. And I think anyone who's interested in the natural world or paleontology, archaeology, this is an absolute no-brainer. Um, going to use the biggest fossilised shell as a guru bead in a jade and tiger's eye mala. Love Chantal from Suffolk. That sounds like the most incredible, incredible piece Absolutely. Of jewellery. Please yeah. do send that into the Wall of Fame, uh, Chantal. I'd love to see that. Well done to absolutely everyone coming through. Well done. Okay, so we've got triangles and we've got the gorgeous diamonds. Which one are we going to do? The diamonds. With that amazing <gasps> swish curl in there. Oh, wow. Which Look at this. That? I reckon that's one of those lovely unicorn -y shells. Like sort of in half almost. Look, that one there. The... There you go. So you see oh, the my gosh, that's inside. so cool. Wow, that, is, that is amazing. Oh gosh, there's all sorts in here. As you say, there's that lovely swirl as well, just there. Like that's the cross section of a shell, isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, do you know what, Neri? I think you're absolutely right. Neri says it's like when you find an insect in amber, isn't it? It's yeah, that kind of, it's a, ooh, look, that discovery. <laughs> no one else will have it. It's totally unique. That's so exciting, isn't it? And it, do you ever think when you look at stones like this and pieces like this, gosh, if they could talk, what would they say? What have <laughs> they seen? The <laughs> <laughs> what would they be saying? What have they seen? What 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 do they see in their lifetime? I'd love, I'd, I'd uh, yeah. I'd love to be a Dr. Doolittle. If, 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 if you held the stone or something and it just took you to sort of like some kind of... Oh, my gosh, like a time traveller. Like oh, my time, gosh. Yeah, and you could just see where it was from. I mean, it's like, oh, wow. Hannah, I would love that. Can you imagine that? That needs to be a film. <laughs> totally needs to be a movie. <laughs> uh, just amazing. And look at it with things like your amber as well. Maybe not that strand, because I think that's really faceted. I'd want to see it with a... Something a bit more. Oh, hang on. I've just seen this over here. Sorry. The king has oh, oh, them out yeah. so beautifully. Look at that. You've just wrecked her display. And I've just wrecked her beautiful <laughs> display. 
Oh, I oh like. my gosh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. What on earth is that, by the way? Yes, I know it's amber. It's just, it's just incredible. That's bonkers. It's fabulous, isn't it? You could team Watch it, if you had is that? Together, you'd team it with some pyrite and, and something, you know, and really... Pyrite? Put the, because it's, it's got that sort of... Ooh. I think it could be either metallic. So, so I'm thinking hematite, but then I was thinking actually pyrite might pyrite. be... Pyrite? More what? Tonally. It's got that silvery kind of gunmetal it... colour. What was that type? Maybe you can answer this, maybe you can't. Um, we only ever had like three or four strands. I want to call it feather pyrite. Is that what it was it called? Might, yeah, I think that might be. Pyrite with like ferny feathers in it, which about. is probably fossilised, to be fair. Look at this incredible jewellery that our amazing in-house designers have made. Gorgeous Anna and Sue, we love you. Look at these gorgeous pieces. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. It's monochrome. It's really kind of, but it's not black and white. As you say, it's, it's a softer. It's a softer, it's a softer way of doing it. So you yes. can wear that with sort of like either a black or a oh, white shirt or something like that. Super cool. Or um, grey tones go wonderfully with pinks as well, I think. Yes, so, they do. And yes. lilacs. Smoky well, colours. Yeah, yeah. Right, this strand is my favourite. Shh, don't tell the others. <gasps> it is my favourite. Oh, just Oh, look. my God. <laughs> wow. Look at that, there's loads in those. Wow, 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 wow. Just all of it is a bit of wow, isn't it? It They're really amazing. honestly is. Gosh, there's some beautiful pieces here. My gosh. We are so, we are so, so, so lucky to have a strand like this. Isn't, isn't that lovely? The fact that you've got such an organic, natural, fossilised stone in a really modern shape. Yeah. Oh, I mean, nice I, contrast. I, I think that's it. I, lo I like the contrast. It's the, it's the connection to the ancient world with a, with a modern geometric shape. And it's just really cool. Really cool. Yeah. Rings, rings, rings all day long. Imagine Jurassic rings. Oh wow. Gosh. Yes, Deborah. <laughs> Cool. Oh, yes, absolutely, your Jurassic, your Jurassic rings. I love it. I love that idea. I could just sense her excitement there. Also, Deborah, think about these um, with, if you put them on a lovely kind of hoop of wire and have them as earrings. Oh, wow. Why not? I mean, gee whiz, they're, they're incredible. And the, and the amazing thing is as well, you take these to a craft fair, you've made them into jewellery. No one else will be using these. Yeah. Or very no. few other people. Will be using these. I've never. You can have like sort of like the ancient world um, jewelry section, couldn't you? And you could have your ambers, and you could have your fossils. And, so yeah. You well, know, anything... that's what would you call the collection? Would it be Mother Nature's treasures the or land ancient? Before time. <laughs> the land before time. Why there not? You go. Or ancient treasures or something. You give it a name or you know, it, 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 it's it's just beautiful. Well done, everyone. £14.99. Noala, well done to Caroline, Sharon, Olivia, Margaret's got two, Diane, Deborah, Denise, Debbie, Vienna, Vienna, Vivienne, Helena, Keith, Pauline, Maker, Maker, Pauline, Christine, four left. Well done. Quick, gorgeous, quick. gorgeous, go. gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Well done, everyone. Four chances left with loads in baskets. Check out my lovelies. Well done. Absolutely superb. Well done. Love it, love it, love it. I really like that one. So nice, yeah. isn't it? So nice. Yeah, that one there is yeah. an absolute beauty. It's almost got like like Oh, I need it's to almost take, like cogs or that something lovely. with the with the pale shell coming yeah. through. It is, isn't it? It's like like little cogs or it's quite industrial looking. Yes, it, that's yeah. exactly it. It looks a little bit kind of yeah, oily industrial yeah. engine like. My husband is just so such a geek. Well, you've got a geeky husband as well. Uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the diff is broken. Uh, let me show you a photo of it. It's like I really, I, I don't, I don't need to see that. I don't want to see yeah. that. Nice manifold. Look at the colouring way. <laughs> it's like uh, the what? Yeah, but you see a photo anyway, <laughs> whether you want to or not. Isn't that amazing? What well, mm, is it? It's a piece of metal. Not yeah. Smile. Yes, dear. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Neary flies um, flight simulators in his spare time. Do you? Where did you fly to the other day? Was it Edinburgh? Halfway to Jersey last night. And then, he had to, then he had to go and pick his fiance up. I hope you didn't crash. 
Yeah. <laughs> Literally abandoned ship <laughs> yeah. halfway through. Parachute the out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, right. Oh my goodness. Is, does Elle know that we've got these in the show? I think she might she's gonna literally be gonna be waiting outside yeah. in the car park after the show. <laughs> <laughs> she jolly well can take a jab. This is hers. <laughs> no, it's amazing. I love it. It's gorgeous. Um are they doing are they doing Willow and Tig tomorrow? New collection or something? Yeah. I mean, they are, that yeah. sounds it's gonna be wonderful, by the way. Oh, gorgeous. Last in stock pieces as well. Some beautiful pieces in that collection. Right, let's do these. Ten mil rounds. This colour is fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It, it, you know what it is. It's unmistakable, isn't it? It's Look so, at that. so stunning. It's amazing to think, isn't it, how this gemstone forms, what it looks like in the... But in the rough, mm, it's kind of like nodulary. I think it looks almost kind of alien, almost. Well, where is it? Oh, Neri, we were talking about the piece in the rough. You there you go. You were on it there. Yeah, there. Look. Look. It's, it's like it's like some kind of alien world or something but it's our world it, i know it's crazy it's just beautiful isn't it and then you and then you go and look at kind of who's using this stone and then you go ah that's why we never get malachite ah van cleef and arpel use it in their alhambra designs piaget use it in their incredible kind of globe pieces um they're absolutely beautiful. There's your Van Cleef ring, yeah. magic Alhambra ring. Just three and a half grand. Oh my gosh. And that's for like a slither. It's just a little, yeah, it is. It's a little slice, isn't it? I mean, the ring's. I mean, it's stunning. very pretty. But. <laughs> but, exactly. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, Piaget piece as well, um, which is. <laughs> He's tutting at me now. <laughs> oh, there it is. The Piaget piece, which is beautiful, 1,690, much more affordable. Uh, but yeah, you know, one piece of malachite. I mean, this is like this this piece, you know, just this strand one of, here. One, one of those. One yeah. of the beads in this strand. It's gorgeous, isn't it? But um, it's not going to be a thousand pounds. In fact, today, your deal under 50 pounds for malachite rounds i mean compared to what the prices were for this incredible gemstone oh i'm thinking i'm thinking four or five years ago that that's incredible it's that is brilliant. absolutely incredible the fact that we can do this for 49.99 is unbelievable yeah they're not cabochons these are usable, workable rounds. They're gorgeous. They are absolutely wonderful. Yeah, and at Tucson, um, at the Tucson Gem Show, not, not this January just gone, but the one before, they just couldn't find it at all. It just wasn't, wasn't available. And it's because of the Van Cleef um, 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 Alhambra design, literally buying as much malachite as they possibly can, whatever the price point. Of course, they're going to be selling the malachite to them rather than us. Um, you know, because we want to kind of strike those really good deals and get, you know, the real bargains, um, but for the best kind of quality pieces. And you've got other retailers out there who make infinitely, you know, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, 49.99. Hang on. Is that the wrong clock? Is that not the price? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not the price. I'm being told. What are you doing, Neri? Neri, I think, it wants to take the price point down. I think he thinks if he makes a slide with the word Malachite written on it, then it, he's kind of justified <laughs> in doing it. There we go. <laughs> Malachite, a bit of time and effort gone in there. Look at that. Yeah, we're not just slashing and burning these. <laughs> oh, my gosh, we totally are. Here's your deal. I love, love, love this gem. <whistles> that is gorgeous. $34.99. Oh, They're yes. They're 10 mils as well, aren't they? They're really yeah. big. Really, yeah. really big ones, aren't they? They're just gorgeous. Newport, well done. Oh, now you're talking marker beads in a mala. Yes, I love that idea. Marker beads in a mala. You probably need five of these. So four marker beads and then one big kind of guru bead in the middle. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Well done, Newport. We've got you there. Well done to you, my lovely. Um, we've got um, some more rounds, actually. Uh, we've got a couple of different sizes. Well done to Mary in Devon as well. You've got two there. Yeah, so you've got a gem here. Thank you for that, Ollie. You've got a gemstone here because of the colour, because of the greens. 
it's connected to the heart chakra uh, but it, it, it kind of goes it fluctuates between the heart chakra and the throat chakra so a gemstone which supposedly uh, will give you the ability to love others love yourself universal love whatever it might be friendship but also a gemstone connected to the throat chakra, which makes you into a more articulate human being, getting yeah, your communication, getting, yes, yeah, being yeah. a better communicator. I lose words for everything all the time. I forget <laughs> the names of my own children. You there, that child number one. <laughs> Absolutely. And we all know that all the best people love Malachite and they jolly well do. It is absolutely beautiful. Love it. Yes. Which one are we doing then? Six mils. Oh, oh, that's this one. Ooh. I love the fact that you've got graduated sizes there coming through. It's yeah. Just, like, not in, this, in the one strand, but if you have all the strands, you could make graduated Marla. That is gorgeous. That needs to be a stretchy, doesn't it? Just, yeah. Just on its own like that. Totally unisex shade of green. It, I mean, it is, isn't it? I would say like a yes. prey night or a green amethyst green is much more feminine. Um, even Russian dioxide, maybe because it's, I often see it faceted, but this is a really, and also, oh gosh, well, here we go. It features in the, um, what's it called? The cup thing, the <laughs> World Cup um, as kind of the base of the World <laughs> Cup. So if you want to get this maybe for a, um, for a, um, Accompanied by 6.1 kilograms of gold. Wow. No wonder they're kind of like, <laughs> when they're kind of lifting <laughs> up. That is heavy. Um, so if you wanted to get this maybe for a budding, a budding a kind of footballer, someone who's a football fan, that would be so cool. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, that's seriously cool. I think I saw online as well, although I think it must have been reconstituted or made to look like Malachite. A Malachite bath. Oh, oh yeah, no, that. you can get interiors that are either malachite or or made to look like it. So you can get wallpapers in malachite. You'd be totally up for that, would you? Yeah. That'd be amazing. You feel like you're living in a rainforest. Yeah. Oh, in a no, bath in a rainforest. Oh, my gosh, I'd love that. <laughs> if anybody out there makes malachite baths, let me know. Uh, Cheshire, Kent, <laughs> Greater Manchester, Devon, well done to you as well. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, all the way down, £24.99. That needs to be a stretchy, as you say, Hannah. That is just the yeah. absolute perfect size and shape for a stretchy, isn't it? It's, it's just so lovely. But, I mean, mm. equally, I mean, if you were going to buy some of the other sizes as well, you can do graduated design. Lovely, you yeah. Can, you can make, um, you can do... Um, kind of like donut shapes like you like you could use some um, cubic right angle weave Ooh. with with smaller gemstones and then you end up with a donut i did it with jade once don't know if you remember um no like, like i a, don't like, like an ombre donut but but it's kind of like lots of little circles that make up one big oh how and use beautiful that as a pendant. these would look amazing in that absolutely really gorgeous and they look well done amber too dylan and yes with oh now that's a nice idea nice hannah there. oh hannah oh. <laughs> Look at that. That is lovely. Gorgeous colour. Oh, that is a lovely colour combination. Are those opposites? Mm, not quite, not are quite. they? Blue not would quite. be opposite the orange, wouldn't yeah, it, I suppose. Yeah. Hot pink but, maybe well, would I think be opposite. It still works, though. Yeah, it still yeah. great. It's kind of those element colours, isn't it? It's kind of fire, water, earth, air. Sharon, well done to you. We've got Maker in Newport, Pamela. Uh, Dylan, Jackie, another Pamela. And uh, Mary, all in baskets. Mary and Devon, you've got five of these bad boys in your baskets. If you want it, you need to check out now. Well done. When is the next World Cup, by the way? Is it next year? Is it next year? I don't, I don't know about... Or is it like the Olympics or something where they've got Olympics close together because of COVID? The Euros. Oh. Oh <laughs> it's like the Olympics then every four years. The Olympics is every three years, isn't yeah. it? I, I don't know. I thought it was all joggled around because of, cause of, um, cause of COVID. I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we've got a two, football chat two going on now. <laughs> fans of Harry Kane. I think he's. Well, I don't know. I thought. I don't know. I, I I know nothing about football. Thought he was supposed to be one of the big heroes. He is a. Hasn't he scored more goals for? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Malachi forty <laughs> carats in total. 
Uh oh, I, I fear, fear we've put them on their soapbox. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> oh. um, 40 carats, these are four to five mil in size. So you've got that slight graduation in size again. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. All the way down. Elizabeth is already there. Well done to you, my lovely. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? 30 seconds and we're dropping the price point. Gold, silver, rose gold. I think I gravitate towards gold with it. Me too. I think I think because it looks quite luxurious when you see it with gold. And for me, it's the Art Deco thing. It's like the yes. green with the gold. Very Art and Deco. The black and then yes. it's that kind of era for me. It's very Luxury. Art Deco. Yeah. Yes. And it is the green with the black, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Um, here we go, all the way down. I'm finding the older I'm getting as well, the more yellow gold I'm wearing, which I just, I just, I, I love it. I mean, I love all precious metals, but yeah, interesting. But you know, go, go for whatever you want. Horses for courses. Pamela, Denise, Maker, Sue, Wendy, Elizabeth, well done. Fourteen ninety nine. This is an amazing deal. Oh wow, that really is low. Elaine and Susan, well done to you as well. <laughs> well done, everyone. Michelle in Cheshire, well done to you. Debbie in Northamptonshire, Olivia in Cavan, well done to you, my lovely, Michelle in Cheshire. Go, go, go. Well done, everyone. Ivy in the West Midlands, well done to you, sweetie. Susan, Harry Kane is awesome. He holds the record for goals scored for England. England. I thought he was a, a big... He does. A big superstar. I mean, was that literally like last week? Last week, I think he, he kind of earned that thing, didn't he? Are they, are, they, are, they, are they doing this negative thing where he's, he's done loads that's brilliant, but they're homing in on the thing that he missed? Is that why they cross oh, with him? Oh, come on. Is that why they cross with him? Oh, bless Cut the guy him. Slack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just don't think you. Can... <laughs> I just, you know, poor guy. Gee whiz. Mind you, they're, mind you, they're paid a lot of money not to miss, aren't they? Well, I don't know. That. Yeah. Anyway, I know nothing about football. Don't stop <laughs> putting things through my letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, coming up after the break, it's going to be an absolutely brilliant hour with some amazing pieces and prices. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Amber Showcase. Oh, hello, Amber. Where have you been? Um, this is such... I mean, where do you even start with a gem like Amber? It's quite amazing, isn't it? Very amazing. I think, I think it's one of those uber cool things. And you, uh, if you see any Amber, the first thing you've got to do is look to see if you've got any insects in there. Totally. Totally. You have got here... Uh, we're going to put the whole hour, by the way, on pre-order. The whole hour. We're also going to be giving you last in stock opportunities for all of this amber. We've got huge amounts of variety. I really love the frosted ones you were showing us. Mm. So what we're going to do. Oh my gosh, look at all these pieces. We are going to absolutely annihilate these prices because most of these, we got ones, twos, maybe threes of, oh my gosh, look at Buddha. Buddha, oh. An amber Buddha, that's so cute. Um, so it is gonna be that amazing. Now, cute. I've got a little PowerPoint to show. Go and have a look on the website, but just get as much as you can, because it's all, it's all on pre-order. Now, let me see if I can find, there we go, lovely, thank you, lovely. Um, what is, what is amber? This is a really, I don't this, I, I, I took this from the internet. So yes, I drew this. Yeah, I drew this by hand, <laughs> no. Um, but it gives you a rough idea about what amber is and how it forms. So <laughs> you've got these, you've got trees, very specific trees, which aren't in existence anymore, which are either attacked by, uh, they can be attacked by insects and be, they can be attacked by birds. You think about woodpeckers when they're, pecking away at the uh, trunk of a tree. And the tree, to heal itself, to protect itself, creates sap. And they create sap, which is like a liquidy, if you've ever been stood too close to a tree and it's got sap on it, it's so sticky. Um, and quite often, the sap will capture little insects, it will capture pine needles, bits of bark, bits of uh, leaf. And what can happen is, is either the amber will fall into water. Sorry, not, not the amber, the sap, when it's liquid, will fall into water. And then it will kind of, it will float, um, uh, but then it will become compressed over millions of years. Or the trees themselves will be either struck by lightning or they're taken away by floods or they die of old age or whatever it might be and the trees fall over and then they become compressed and um and um uh, not calcified or fossilized they just they just become compressed over millions of years all amber all baltic amber that you see here is 40 to 100 million years in age now we can bring you amber from other locations like the Dominican Republic that's a different kind of amber it's still amber 
It's not 40 to 100 million years in age, but it's made from the same resin from the same trees. Um, and it's really quite amazing. It's beautiful stuff, but it is different in age. It's called young amber or new amber or immature amber. Um, what we're bringing you today, the majority of what we're bringing you today is Baltic amber. Now you've got a few um, different locations. Um, if you look at the map of the top right, it gives you kind of the Baltic Sea. There's a few of the Baltic states there as well. And you've got the little deposits, you've got the deposits, the main deposits of amber kind of highlighted in like a slightly darker yellow. The main deposits being in Gdansk in, um, in Poland, where you've got amber, which historically um, has washed up on the beach. And do you find it any more washed up on the beach? Not really, no, because it's been, you know, millions and millions of people have gone up and down the beaches, the coastline um, over the years, and they've, um, they've taken it all, basically. Um, but you can actually find amber inland. And that's crazy, but how, oh, oh, do not show that, yes. whoa. Oh my gosh. Go on. <laughs> that is an old, old, that is old. <laughs> right, here I am with my hood up. <laughs> so we're with Marius here who, um, Heads up our incredible uh, team over in Poland. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't just work primarily with jewellery maker or Gemporia. He does a lot of work with us, but he, um, he, he, he sells to all over the world. And um, I found it amazing to think that you can find amber inland. Basically, these deposits were carried inland by huge, um, by a huge glacier. So you've got amber, which has been deposited inland. You have to dig down to get it. You dig kind of a big hole, I'll say a big hole, a hole about this big circumference. You fill it full of salt water and then the amber literally floats to the ceiling, picking up something on the beach there. That's not a piece of amber, by the way. It's a, probably a piece of, I, I don't know, a shell or something. But the amazing thing is, is that the amber that we are bringing you here is all verified, genuine Baltic amber. The only treatment it has, it's not, it's not chemically treated at all. The only treatment it has is heat and pressure. Heated up to, uh, in a conventional oven, we've got rows of ovens, and they're literally heating the amber up to about 180 degrees, and it just helps to intensify the natural colour of the amber. And then uh, the only other thing that happens is it's pressure treated. So it's put into a big kind of thing about the size of a wheelie bin, which is basically uh, a big pressure cooker, and the pressure just helps to uh, bring out the clarity of the, na the natural clarity of the amber as well. Um, it is quite an amazing process. It's not a big operation either. We're looking at an operation which is literally in, in something the size of, uh, of like, a, of, of like a, I don't know, a, 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 I don't know, a three bedroom semi-detached house. It's not like a great big sprawling factory. This is a, this is a really um, a small kind of boutique kind of outfit that's going on here, but it's one of the only places that was, they are the only people that we trust with Amber. There's a lot of fakes out there. There's a lot of rubbish out there. There's a lot of plastic out there. This is completely and utterly genuine Baltic Amber. The piece you can see there, this is Maris's brother, um, uh, Andrew, who had this beautiful piece of Amber, which still had the skin on. And by having the skin on, it's like the frosted one that Hannah was referring to. When you start to polish it, because amber isn't faceted, when you start to polish it, you take away the outer skin and you can see inside the amber. And when we saw it, you could see there was a leaf suspended inside the piece of amber. So that's got the skin on. And when you polish it, the clarity and the quality is revealed. And there was a leaf in there. It's been sitting on Maris's desk for over a decade, I think. It was just absolutely magical. And we were all completely blown away by it. Um, you don't find pieces like that very often, big pieces like that very often. Isn't that beautiful? That's so cool. I love Isn't it. that stunning? It's the most gorgeous thing. The most gorgeous, gorgeous gem. Now, Kinga. Oh, gorgeous floor manager Kinga. We absolutely love her. She is from Poland, and, and I know that last time uh, she went back, you went to Gdansk last time you went back, didn't you, Kinga? 
Oh, it's your husband's town. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's her husband's hometown. It is a beautiful town. If you ever get the chance to go there, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's named kind of, you know, there's Amber Street. It, it's, it's, it's known as where Amber comes from. Um, but when you go there, when you look in the shops, when you see the prices, you'll be coming back to Jewelry Maker, let me tell you. It is quite, it is quite amazing. It's quite, it's quite shocking. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, coastline. It's gorgeous. It was very windy and very kind of, very kind of Baltic when I went there, but absolutely beautiful. You can see the sand there. You can see the tiny little um, grains of sand. There's probably bits of amber in there as well, which are really small little fragments. Um, it's incredible. After big storms, sometimes you find that, that pieces of amber have been washed up as they've been churned up from the seabed. You can literally take fishing nets and try and find amber. Chances of you finding any uh, uh, next to nothing. It really is. But, but you, know, you can always have a look. It's so cool, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Um, you'll find most amber set with sterling silver. Uh, most of it is set with sterling silver. But you've got here the most incredible incredible gem now we've got a whole selection here these are all low stock pieces we'll go through them reasonably quickly because a lot of them you know we've only got ones and twos left of them so let's just start off shall we where are we going to start lovely sources and rounds i've got it here so uh, th there's different colors of amber <clears throat> this is your cognac amber in the sources and then in the rounds you've got cherry amber you can see why it's called cherry amber. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I mean, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? I love it. I just love it. Now, you won't find many places which bring you amber rounds. Reason being, you cannot drill amber like you drill other gemstones. Most gemstones, you drill it from top to bottom and the drill hole goes straight the way through and the, the drill bit goes straight the way through the gem. You can't do that with amber because it's a very, very soft gem. So you have to get the, the bead and you have to drill it from one side and then the other side and the two drill bits meet in the middle. Makes it incredibly time consuming to cut, very time consuming to drill. And in fact, our amber suppliers, Jello, they um, outsource this, uh, this work. Not the drilling, but they outsource the calibrating and the round kind of quality and they're cutting the gems into rounds just purely because it, it, is, it is something which has to be done properly calibrated with a proper machine um it's amazing i love it whatever you choose to put this with whether it's going to be your green jade your red and honey jade that would be a really nice opportunity uh to go for something kind of really different um <clears throat> as well with things like turquoise you quite often see turquoise I, and amber yeah, together don't you turquoise and, and orangey tones are fabulous together well they're opposites aren't they yeah yeah but it's not that turquoise is a is a is a is an organic gem, but it it, it definitely has got a real stony feel to it, and I think that it just suits the the quality of amber so beautifully, doesn't it? It's yeah, it's got that really vibrant kind of like like depth of colour, and mm -hmm. I, and I think that really sort of bounces nicely off the, the vibrant depth of colour you sure. get with this. So you, you get that it's a tonal thing. Yes, and they they sort of match each other. I love two it. left, two left. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's your deal today. Well done. Um, these are gorgeous. I mean, yeah, they're kind of rondelles, aren't they? These are more than more than your uh, donuts. So, uh, sorry, more than your sauces. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Beautiful. That one's pretty much gone. Okay, next one. Faceted rice. Be yeah, the bobby beads. I was going to say faceted rice beads. These are bobby beads. So these were this bead was designed by Mark Smith. Um, and we did it with the first for the first time ever. We um, uh, we did the bobby bead in a in a gemstone. We did it in amber, and you get your lemon amber, you get your cognac amber, you also get your gorgeous cherry amber as well. It's such a beautiful cut, such a gorgeous display of colour, and my goodness gracious me, this is an exclusive deal. This is a world exclusive cut as well. This isn't done for anybody else out there. Thirty nine ninety nine. Absolutely amazing. Not your deal today. Here we go. Oh, beautiful bracelet here. Is this your bracelet, Kinga? Yes, from Mark. From Mark, Mark made on. Stunning. Mark made King of this Stunning. gorgeous bracelet. Thank you for that, my lovely. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? So, so, so pretty. That's just rosary linked. It's so special, isn't it? Jane, maker in the West Midlands, well done to you. Irene in Tyne and Weir, well done to you. 29 99 three opportunities remaining. Gorgeous. Yeah, amber does have that kind of antique feel to it, doesn't it? That antique look. 
It's that resin quality because it's very, very light. Um, it, uh, it reminds me a little bit, actually. Amber reminds me a, a, a little bit of um, Bakelite. And I know Bakelite is a plastic, um, but it's got a similar it's a 70s feel. thing though isn't it yes that, that it's those kind of um the the, the 70s um color and things For like that there was, there was a lot of sort of amber toned um textiles and things back yeah then. yeah good call curtains Cur yeah oh my gosh Flares. i remember our curtains uh, right here we go um this is so cute this is a butterscotch amber budder now butterscotch amber very, very famous, uh, very, very popular over in the Far East. But also, your butterscotch amber, how is it different? Well, it doesn't have clarity. And it's because of the presence of oxygen inside the amber, which gives you this kind of more opaque, lighter body colour. Sorrel, well done to you. Celia, well done to you. Caroline, well done to you. Absolutely gorgeous. Come to the little pin as well, ready for you to glue in there. Um, let's take the price point down even lower. Come on, let's do it. Why not? It's amazing. You can really see that carving, can't you? You can see his little cheeks and his tummy. Rub his tummy for luck. At the bottom of a marla, that would be absolutely gorgeous. Especially if you're, if you're teaming your amber with jade as well. I mean, the, the two together would look lovely. Absolutely, yeah. Three, two chances. Irene, Elvira, Sorrel, Maker, Celia, Caroline, well done to you. Cumbria's there. One chance remaining. Heather and Hearts could go to you, my lovely. Well done. You little beauty. Pendant. Oh, the massive one with the swoosh. Now, this is where I think we I think this gets lost in translation because we have Marius who says, oh, yes, we set our pieces of amber, you know, when they make them into ready made pieces with just the right amount of silver. No, it's literally with the biggest amount of silver that any bomb would I mean, look at that. It's sold out. It's beautiful. Look at that sterling silver tendril. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, Oh, I love that. It's sold out. Well done. Now, I remember the, the amber earrings that my mum owns. And I remember picking them up out of her jewellery box before I, I, I even knew what gem they were. I, I, I had no idea what they were. But I remember just holding them up to the light and going, gosh, that's amazing. Then when I found out what it was, it, I was even more enamoured. It's one of those gems that captivates you. You're holding something here, which is a... Not fossilised, not turned to stone, but literally life preserved. You've got to, you could have insects, you could have, which literally have just been captured, frozen in time, if you like. Uh, one chance left, twenty four ninety nine. Love these coins, loving that colour there. Yeah. Whatever it's, that is, like a melted butter colour. It's like apricots or something. In yes, it? isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful apricot colours there. Eh? Yeah, nice. Well done. That's pretty much gone. Next, I've got another coin strand. Yes, let's do it. Oh, hang on. You've just fallen off there. Let's put you there. <clears throat> this one's got the slightly darker tones, and I'll show them. So next they'd look to each nice other. together, wouldn't they, if you alternate them? Yeah, definitely. Let's do twenty four ninety nine on these. Yeah, well done. These have got more of your classic colours in here. So your cognac colours, your lemon tones. Ladies, collected amber, 51 years. Can we see that again? Oh, oh. <laughs> collected amber, 51 years ago, got first piece when I was seven years old. It's mesmerizing looking into the past. Isn't, Isn't it? it just? Yeah. yeah. I gave um, uh, to my daughter's um, reception teacher when we were doing the amber with the um, insects in. She loves dinosaurs. She loves anything prehistoric. And we bought her a piece of amber with a, with a mosquito or whatever it was in there. She opened it. It was like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what effect it had on her, but she was just kind of, oh my gosh, this is incredible. And oh, just it was it was fabulous. just amazing. Of the ambers that we've done so far, look at this. There's only one that's got any stock left. Ovals. Sorry, did I hear we're going on a we're going on a class trip to uh, to Gdansk? Oh, yes. Come on! Yes, please. Can we go there? <laughs> oh my gosh, I would absolutely love that. I'd absolutely love that, flying with Wizz Air from, uh, from Bristol <laughs> Airport. I was slightly nervous, but it was fine. Um, Susan, Susan in Cambridgeshire, Susan in Essex. Louise, <laughs> Louise. Wizz Air, yes, it's an airline, Wizz Air. It was incredible, from East Midlands. It was absolutely amazing. East Midlands? No, West Mid no, yeah, East Midlands. Amazing. Xena. Maker in Cheshire. 
absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone, at $29.99. I have a large collection of amber. I love it. I think you do find you, anybody who owns one piece of amber, it's not going to be their first, but sorry, it's not going to be their last piece. Everybody collects amber, yeah. don't they? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've got some amber jewellery as well. So I've got a big cocktail ring, which is amber, and then a big pendant. And I've got some little amber earrings that my dad bought me years ago. I think it might have been a, it might even have been a 21st present. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. So collectible, though, so, isn't it? Not that many years ago. Of <laughs> <laughs> Five years ago. <laughs> I can't remember where a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, right, here we go. So let's do these. These are fire. They are absolute fire. Slightly different, slightly brighter than these ones here. These ones yeah. are more cognac, aren't they? These are more, I don't know what colour they are. Fire amber, if there is such a thing. Absolutely gorgeous. $29.99. Well done. They look like burning hot embers, don't they? They do. They're like they're almost like you can almost see them still molten, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. They're just incredible, aren't they? Beautiful pieces. These are massive individual pieces. Each one of those could be a ring or two could be a pair of earrings, maybe. Right, next, what are we doing? Fasted rounds. We've got a message. Who's this from, Hannah? Uh, do you have green from Heather? Oh. Heather in hearts. Uh, Caribbean green amber. Oh, where's that? Oh, here we go. King is coming out. So we can bring you other colours of amber. We can bring you other types of amber. We can bring you amber from the Dominican Republic. And it's been found that, the, that this particular variety of amber is fat. Thank you, lovely. Has been made. There's your bracelet, by the way. I don't want you to lose that. Uh, that, your, um, that the amber is made from the same tree which existed in the Dominican Republic. There's no more of them now. These are like grapes. Oh, my gosh. They do look a bit like grapes, actually. They are gorgeous. Caribbean green amber olive beads. I wonder, is this one of these ones that does the um, that does the UV thing? I think it probably is, isn't it? They are absolutely gorgeous. Gosh, they are big, big beads. Linda, Diana, well done to you, my lovelies. Six on the uh, strand here. They are absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah, look, there you go. There's your UV. They got bright, they got light. So cool. It's a really cool property that um, your um, Caribbean and Dominican Republic amber has. It, it, um, it glows under UV light. Very, very cool. Absolutely amazing. It's so cool. Well done, everyone. $29.99. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Let's go. Right, where are we going now? That's not helpful. Microfaceted rounds. These are lovely. Now, aren't they? faceted amber, that's a mm. that's kind of a new relatively new thing as well, isn't it? <clears throat> aren't they lovely? What am I gonna put these with? Oh gosh, all they sorts. They almost look like garnet, don't they? They do look like garnet, don't they? Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Wow. Microfaceted five mil rounds. <whistles> Absolutely beautiful. They're stunning, aren't they? These are absolutely gorgeous. Faceted amber, honestly, is something you can't really cut amber or facet it um, um, with a with a cut it with a traditional cutting wheel because it'll just melt it. It will get too hot and it will just it will just ruin the gem. So you have to polish it. You polish it with a polishing wheel, and um, so nothing too abrasive at all. And the polish on it just. Would you put yes, that Hannah. That? I think you might. Yes, Hannah. I think you might. The <laughs> queen of colour. Absolutely, yes. That's gorgeous. Yeah, very, very vintage looking. Isn't it just? That's home. $39.99, not your deal today. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Maker, you want three. Can I tell you something? At the price we're going to go to, you're going to buy three, at least three. I've got another maker there, well done. Check out as soon as we can. How many of these do we have, uh, Neary? Oh my gosh, decent quantity, actually. Over 20 chances available. Chris in Cleveland, Valerie in Somerset, Anne-Marie in Greater London, Sue in Bedfordshire, Diana in Lanarkshire, well done. 24.99. Now that's a decent deal, that's, isn't that's it? That's fab, isn't it? Definitely. Very, very good indeed. Well done, Debbie. Well done to Jane as well. Lots of you coming through. Absolutely gorgeous. Maker in Meath as well. These are flying out the door. 
black spinel, turquoise with the shell pearl. Malachite. Jadeite, malachite. Yeah. Gesundheit, with all <laughs> of it, Rupal, well done to you. We've got Pamela, we've got Zena, we've got Anita, we've got Heather, there's loads of you there. Well done, everyone. What a winning gemstone. It's just amazing, it's isn't it? Stunning. I do like the fact they faceted it. I know, I know it's unusual to see it, but I think that makes it even more uh, desirable. Well, I think as well, because of the sheer value of amber as well, mm. people are reluctant to facet it because you're wasting quite a lot, aren't yeah. you? Also, when you get these strands, which are all the same size, all the same shape, regardless of the amber that they have in stock, even if they've, if they've got larger pieces available, they're still going to be cut down to this shape because that's what's on order, if you like. Um, so quite often, there's a huge amount of wastage. I love amber and buy it whenever I can. I can normally guarantee at Christmas that I get at least one piece of amber jewellery. Love nice. Chantal. That's so nice. She's a Whereas amber I, connoisseur then. Well, that's it. Mm. What can you guarantee that you get every Christmas? pair of socks cold <laughs> yes a cold <laughs> covid yeah exactly great <laughs> great uh well done that's pretty much gone gorgeous yes these are lovely these multicolor coins they're they're drilled at an angle <laughs> look at these beauties are they like scales? They are slightly, aren't they? I like, I like the fact that they overlay, so so you can make this, um, you know, kind of again sinuous kind of like whether dragon scale. Or yes, snake or a snakey. Or... Oh, this isn't this isn't multicolour. This is tricolour. This is a little bit like a bag of minstrels. Oh my gosh, who doesn't love a minstrel? They are kind of minstrelly, aren't they? They are. They are just gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that is so nice. I, make that into a design where you're going to really use that shape, that lovely. Oh, look at that. It's quite tactile, actually, because if you've got that on a sort of a, a stretchy bracelet or something like that, you, you could lay it sort of flat or you could sort of force it to, to go the other way. Yes. And you've got like a, you know, like a fidget spinner, but as a bracelet. A bit like when you've got velvet and, and you, you get, stroke and it. And yeah, I love and, it. and look that. at the nap. Is it nap? On, on, the on pile velvet, or the nap. Pile yeah, yeah, one of the two, yes. Caroline got these stunning. Yeah, aren't they gorgeous? Kent's got three. Maker Sarah, Susan, Christina. Also with your jade. I mean, we've you know we've all got lots of lovely jade. Um, oh yes, I've got it. I got it. I got it. Do you know we used to do amber weekends? We did. Can't do it anymore. We just don't have enough. We don't have enough. That's beautiful. That's effectively two strands for the price of one. Is this a whole necklace for you, Hannah, or is it I, multiple pieces of jewellery? Absolutely. I'd, I'd keep it all together. I would. I'd get, I'd get one of your other strands. Um, maybe, maybe the... Um, we've got a smooth... Is it a smooth round I can see there? With yes. That? I'd, use, I'd use that as, as the, like, to continue the rest of the, the necklace <laughs> and just wear it all together. I think, I think <clears> it's beautiful. There you go. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably with some turquoise seed beads in between, just because I could. <laughs> yeah, because you can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now, when you look, start to look closely at these pieces, particularly the larger pieces. I mean, I'll show you. Why don't I show you the largest piece? Although it's one of those annoying pieces, it's completely clear. So <laughs> I'm going to show you a piece which has got lots. How of dare clues. it be absolutely? How dare perfect. it be flawless? <laughs> just yeah, you don't really need it to. I mean, just it's just literally incredible, isn't yeah, it? It's just amazing. See. Look at that. Vegetation, gas bubbles, bits of bark. So cool. Got this, it's gorgeous. Amazing. Well done. And I think as well, you quite often <laughs> you quite often find that people, you know, if you if you sell your pieces of jewellery, if you sell your amber pieces, be prepared. Take your authenticity certificates, uh, photocopy your authenticity certificates, because it is very, very special indeed that these are completely, com well, I say it's very special that these are completely, you know, real uh, pieces of amber. There is just so many, uh, there are so many fakes out there. Yeah, please, 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 you know, just, I can guarantee the quality we are bringing you. I can guarantee the origin. I can't guarantee it for anyone else. That's it. Okay, let's do these rounds. This is a lovely strand again. <clears throat> again, a really tricky strand for our team to be able to achieve, but it looks great, doesn't it? Look at that. Woo! That is a lovely strand. It really is, isn't it? 
Very pretty. Are we looking at marker beads, maybe? Are yes. we looking at making beaded beads with these smaller ones and having a great big amber guru bead at the bottom? $24.99. You can make an amber mala very, very light. I mean, just e even saying that, an amber mala, like the, the, the fact that you, you could actually do that is incredible, isn't it? It is. You know? It's totally brilliant, isn't it? $19.99. Oh my gosh, go, go, go. Christina, Debbie, Christine, Irene, Karen, Susan, Suja. Well done to you, my lovelies. That is unbelievable. 12 opportunities remaining. Uh, Cornwall, well done to you. Sue in Bedfordshire now. That's wonderful. Well done. They are just incredible, aren't they? Well done, everybody. That is utterly, utterly, utterly brilliant. Incredible. Denise Maker, Pauline, well done to you as well. Sharon in Lanarkshire. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. Diana, well done. I can see you there. Surrey, Middlesex, Lancashire, Cornwall. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. 30 seconds for taking the details away. Look at all of those gorgeous beads. Aren't they stunning? They're gorgeous, aren't they? <gasps> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well done, everyone. <laughs> gorgeous well done everybody taking these details away literally in a couple of seconds you've done absolutely brilliantly there well done everyone go 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 <laughs> Zena, well done to you Leslie gorgeous absolutely brilliant okay Oh, gosh, these guys. <laughs> They're all about the snacks, aren't they? God yes. love them. Well, you will be eating some of my courgette cake on Friday. I know you will, Ollie. Bobbies? I don't have any more bobbies. Oh, and there. there's a cone over there. It's here! Hiding. Cognac, cognac, bobby beads. Oh, my gosh. They look amazingly good. They're stunning, aren't they? Aren't they just... Woo! So many things have sold out. Lots and lots and lots of things with just ones and twos left of. Be as quick as you can, everybody. Well done. $29.99. Maker in the West Midlands, you're the first one through. That's great to see. Such, oh, don't tell Mark that. He will go absolutely nuts. <laughs> he will go completely and utterly nuts. 12 by 6 million size. He'll definitely be watching. And he'll be really cross. Sorry, Mark. Love you. Oops. It look really nice if you got the faceted five mils, don't it? It would. Yes, Hannah. Yes, it would, Hannah. Yeah. Let's just step away from the fact we've just taken. I know. That, I just... <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe what we've just done. Denise and Heather and Jane and Maker in the West Midlands. Zena, Jeanette, Sharon. Why don't you make a two slightly different colours as well? Yeah, but I like that. I, 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 but I don't know how that's cognac. Yeah. What's that then? Uh, I don't know. Just... More of an orange or. I don't know. Just classic. I don't know. It's incredible, isn't it? Well done. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. That would be amazing. Oh, is it these? Amber beads. <laughs> 10 by 8 to 16 down. by 11. 38. Oh, so it's a strand. It's, it's that one. It's yeah, going to be this. One. This one? No. no. It can't be... This one. Thank you. <laughs> Look at these. Got it. Here we go. Ah, uh, no, I love this. It's got more of that kind of melded, slightly melted quality to it, hasn't it? So organic. It is lovely. I mean, I, again, I, I can see like a, a long line necklace over a maxi dress or something oh, like that. Oh, yes, definitely. Little denim jacket, maybe. Yeah, cute, <laughs> super cute. And do you know what? Just such a lovely chance to wear. You know, a lot of amber jewellery is very, it's quite, it's quite, um, um, what am I trying to say? There's some traditional designs, there's some quite Celtic designs, some kind of Macintosh inspired designs. What's so nice about, what's so nice about these is they're just a little bit more organic, a little bit more bohemian. bohemian yeah. Great for doing your rosary linking. 
Um, and if you are into using your rosary beads or your mala beads for meditation, these will make great little markers because they're, they're flat. So they're going to feel slightly different going through your hands than a, I don't know, a round or whatever. Also, because they're not faceted, you get to see into the gemstone more. You've got big faces. So if there are any insects in here or anything of note, you'll probably see it. Things. Look at that one. That is such a cool... What a cool gem that is. That looks... That's amazing, isn't it? Super cool. They always, almost look like they've got sort of um, glitter in some of them where you get yeah. these little sort of facets and where the light bounces through. Absolutely. That little baby there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. It's one of the smallest ones on the strand, but absolutely lovely. Gorgeous. Okay, let's do the sun. We are going to do these, aren't we? Blue amber. Okay, so again, I believe, is this from the, oh no, this is Baltic. This is Baltic. It says it's Baltic. Isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, this is where we kind of dye the amber. Obviously, uh, you don't get amber naturally this colour. That would be utterly terrifying. Um, it's beautiful. I love that ombre quality that you get. It's stunning. Really I'm, beautiful. I'm going to put these with your nine o'clock kits, Hannah. Yeah, so I can see that. You know, these, these ones, do you think? Olmec. <laughs> yes, Ollie. <laughs> with the Olmec jade. With the Olmec Jade. That would be incredible. Because you get that lovely sort of teal tone, don't you? I always say that looking at, look, I'll put, I'll put them in the desk actually, because I always say that looking into these blue ambers is like looking into an aquarium. It's just incredible. I can see that, I can see that. I'd love that with the Olmec. Right, it's, yeah, yes, yes. So this is your amber with the skin still on it, if you like, which is frosted. It hasn't been highly polished. No, that's way too low, Neary. Thirty-nine. <laughs> Thirty-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> Mrs. Carolyn Cheshire, Valentina, Susan Jane, thirty-nine ninety. Oh, Neary, what are you doing? Okay, we're going to go even lower. Why not? Let's go. Just do it. They are amazing, aren't they? And if I was to make, if I was to put these in the necklace, I probably wouldn't put them all in. I'd put one here. I'd put one here. You know, I, I wouldn't use loads and loads and loads of them. This is like a bar of pear soap, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think it's got oh. that look to it? Oh, I can smell it now. <laughs> pear soap. <laughs> Beautiful quality. Or it's like, a, it's like um, my sister used to play the, um, is it the violin or the cello? No, she used to play the cello and she used to have a resin bar that she used to wipe down the, uh, rub on the bow to kind of um, create oh, a, bit of, a bit of friction. And um, it, it's like, well, this is resin at the end of the day, isn't it? But you wouldn't, you, yeah, you wouldn't use this when you were preparing a bow to play a cello or a violin or whatever. But yeah, beautiful, hey? Right, what are we doing now, lovely? What is it? Okay, I don't... Oh! King Oz got it. She's amazing. Oh, this is a lovely strandage. So the first microfasted strand we did absolutely flew. These are microfasted five mil rounds. <laughs> Gosh, that colour's good. It is really good. That is really, really, really good. They'd go really well with those bobby beads as well, actually, because they're slightly darker, aren't they? I don't... I don't oh, gosh. OK, we're going into 20 quid. I don't know if you've ever seen kind of stained glass windows, but not stained glass windows that we know, which are the blues and the reds and the greens and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but the original kind of stained glass windows, which were like this lovely honey colour. And I don't know, it must have been a technique uh, utilised and kind of pioneered during the kind of medieval times. But, um, but honestly, these kind of colours are very much like that. It's gorgeous. I'd love to see, you know, lots of people wear lots of lovely kind of crucifixes, especially this time of year. That would be lovely to see one made from this amber, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd be stunning. Beautiful. Really, really beautiful, yeah. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Well done, Rupal. Well done to Anne-Marie. Well done to Heather, Maker, Anita. 1999. Amazing. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Neary's, Neary's directing as well. 
Oh, he's doing it. He's doing everything. Octa producer. Oh, should come on a strand because the strap. <laughs> strand uh, oh. Not on a strand anymore. <laughs> Sorry, gang. So it should come to us. Sorry, you're going to have to strand all that back on. No, you're not, are you? Just put it back in the bag. Say, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, mate. <laughs> Bye, Cones. <laughs> I don't need a boy. Oh. Oh. Grief. Do you know what? I don't, oh, I don't know. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Just shoveling this into the shot as well. <whistles> with your black jade. I know. It, it's something about this. It's like burning embers and coal, isn't it? It is. A phoenix inferno. <laughs> yes, the, the 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 phoenix that kind of rising from the ashes. There you go. Well done. Twenty one ninety nine. Tinyware Essex, West Midlands, West Wales. Well done to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. At twenty one pounds ninety. That's what it should look like. They don't look real, do they? They look like they're made from I don't know another material. But they are though. But they are genuine yeah. amber. Genuine amber. Such a lovely, lovely shape. Okay, time has arrived. Four. Four. <laughs> Can you tell I'm being fed this information? The time has arrived for... Yes, thank you. At last. Right. Here comes the oh, sun. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. One, two. Oh, gosh, that's so nice. Three. These are half drilled amber suns. Oh, gorgeous. Look, you've got that little, if I show you the back, you should be able to see the little see drill the little hole drill just hole there. For a peg, yeah. Uh, for a peg. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Hannah, these are so sweet. <laughs> Love. We're not allowed this. to sing the Beatles out of tune. <laughs> oh dear. This is absolutely <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my word. This is this is such a nice way to wear your amber. We often you know, we quite often say it's got that sunshine quality. It's like liquid sunshine. It's like liquid gold. It's it's just got that really beautiful. It's just got that really beautiful feel to it. Just beautiful. Make a Janice, Catherine, Mary, Sandra, Susan, Lorna, Anita, Maker. I think I think what you're referring to, Ollie, during during the era of kind of silent movies where you'd see the sun and you'd see the moon and it would be, they'd have actual faces on the sun and the moon. It's that kind of Victoriana kind of era, kind of early Victorian era, that kind of silent movie era. And it's got that really beautiful feel to it, I think, hasn't it? It's gorgeous. But it's not obviously, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be, it's, it, it, it's, not, it's not really obvious. It's not like it's been painted on. It's a suggestion of a face there. It's gorgeous. Make a Susan, make a Catherine, Sandra. Lovely, lovely thing. This is beautiful, is it? Look at that. Look at the lips. Oh, it's so lovely. And it's not like a deep carving, is it? It's kind of, it's kind of, um, it's subtle. It's, it's yeah. like an etching rather than a kind of full on carving, isn't it? Like it's just been melted. It's beautiful. Mary in Devon, Sandra in Lancashire, Lorna in Fife, check out Anita in Northamptonshire, Maker, check out. Well done. There's loads of you there for the final couple of opportunities. Amazing. Check out. Oh, hello. Uh, well done, everyone. Have we got moons. Oh. Oh, these are really sweet. Uh, these are really, really lovely. Check out. Uh, well done. OK, beautiful little moonies. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. Do you remember that Jaffa cake yeah, advert? Yeah, you're making me think of Jaffa cakes now. It's a great <laughs> advert, wasn't it? <laughs> They're top drilled, yeah. They're so cute. But look, you get one, two, three, four. 
full uh, four uh, crescent moons here. I'm a big fan of the sun and the moon. I do prefer the moon. It's much easier to look at. It's almost full today, actually. Oh. Driving to work and you can see the sun rising on one side and then and the, the moon, moon on the other side of the horizon. It's just looking beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> I couldn't actually see the sun. I could just see a bit of light. Uh, we're at 19.99. Oh, sorry. Had to go off for a minute to play. Here comes the sun. I know. Makes it does make it does make me cry that song. Yeah, and Blackbird as well. It makes me cry. Oh <laughs> my god! I just ended up in a puddle on the floor. Um, here we go. You get four suns. Moons. <laughs> 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 See, that doesn't sound right. Four moons. Uh, well done <laughs> for fourteen ninety nine. Gee, well, what is wrong? You know, I'm thinking as well. You might not want to use that drill hole at all. You might want to use. You might not want to use it as a moon. That would make a lovely ring. I mean, pretty cool. It's like a Taurus sign as well. That way up, it's like the sign for Taurus. Why yeah, I not? Really, I really like the idea of it's like a celestial necklace. So you could have the, the suns have all got half drills as well, haven't you? Mm. So you've got three of those and you've got four of, of these. So, so you could have sort of like interspersed on a chain, just little celestial oh, symbols celestial all the way around. Yeah. Design. How lovely would that be? Well done, everyone. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? Well done, Sharon, Maker, Denise. Well done to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. A pair of, pair of, pair of pairs. These are actual, they're made, they look like, they are, they're pairs. Oh, a pair of pairs. Fan of a conference pair. And they didn't send me conference pairs in my, in my online shop yesterday. They sent me another kind of pair, which I don't like. Oh. It was a sub and they didn't tell me about the sub. I so love actually it. got fruit though, because sometimes you can get sort of like a tin of pears instead. <laughs> well, what about the lady who found, um, after she uh, bought some daffodils uh, on an online shop and couldn't find them, they weren't delivered. She couldn't find them. So she got a refund on them. Two weeks later, she found a bunch of daffodils in the fridge, which her husband had put in there, thinking it was spring onions. <laughs> <laughs> which I love. OK, gorgeous pears, the perfect pair, a nice pair, whoever it's going to be for. <laughs> we are the perfect pair or nice pair. Right, anyway, smut. Smut to one side, goodness me. <laughs> 29.99. Oh, come on, let's take them down. Yeah, £10 each. Amazing. They're so cute. I tell you what, it's nice to see as well. So nice to see the, um, so nice to see these set with rose gold plated silver. It's nice, isn't it? Because the, um, quite often you see amber set with silver, don't you? Yes, yeah, quite often. I mean, I, I think it's nice, you know. Mm. It's, it's one of those gemstones that will go with most metallics as well, I think. It all is. Um, it's interesting that you, you do. You do almost always see it just with silver, but it's just it's just it's just so nice, isn't it? That you've got them with the um, you got them with the um, uh, rose gold plated silver. So lovely. Look, looks a little bit older, doesn't it? A little bit more kind of antique. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I've got stars here, Neary. We should have done the stars, the moons, and the stars. The moon, the so oh gosh, shapes. <laughs> the celestial theme continuing. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Tamsin Archer, yes. She was from Coventry. Blame your sleeping satellite. <laughs> Here we go, stars. Look at these beauties. These are cute. I like these a lot. <laughs> so half drilled stars. You've got four of them in the pack. Oh, there you go. Isn't that just lovely? Beautiful cognac amber. Linda Maker and Kent's got two. Kathleen Sharon Maker, Chris Maker, Maker Denise. This I can see on the end of an extender chain, on the front or the back of a necklace, because you could ha you could have sort of like a little, oh, you know, you said about the the um, turquoise heart earlier, and it had like a little asymmetric second heart. You could you could absolutely do that and just have a, sort of an asymmetric pattern and have like one of your suns what and, a, and then idea. A, a moon and a star. Um, and they could sort of all trail off each other. <laughs> we are all about the celestial yeah. designs with these amber pieces. I love it. Well done. So cute, isn't it? These have got great quality going through. Them. They really do. Sandy, well done to you. Denise has got two loads of these. That, so you're going to be getting four in the pack. 
for 12 99 which is amazing. That's £4.30 something. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Caroline and Sterlingshire, Jill, Susan, Carol, Priscilla. Well done to you as well, my lovelies. Absolutely brill. Okay, we've got, is it apples? I know. Apples and pears. Apples and pears. Apples and pears. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get, if you have a cockney friend, then you need to get them the apples and the pears. I'll be honest, that's not like a lot. Mm. <coughs> I'm not sure I've ever eaten an apple that looks like that. It's more of a tomato, actually, shape. Do you think it's an apple? It's a fruit of some description. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of cute, though, aren't they? <laughs> I think they're quite cute. They're so sweet, aren't they? There is an apple in Snow White, yes. The rosy side and the green side of the, uh, of the, uh, of the apples. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at these gorgeous leaves. And you've got the rose gold plated silver as well. They're just gorgeous. And look, they've got the little, the little kind of jumping on the top. Yeah, it is kind of like more of an illustration, isn't it, of an apple, isn't it? Like a cartoon illustration. Look at that little uh, little loop. There. They're beautiful. Well done, everyone. So cute. Bye, cones. Oh, yes, there they are. Now, this is, this is very cool. Oh, King has added the string in as well. Bless her. Thanks for that, love. I'm about to, about to just pop that there. <laughs> Oh, you know, that piece of crackling that you have, which always has a pit. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh. Uh, right. Here we go. Bye cones. Now these are, you've got your butterscotch. You've got your, basically your white amber here. And then you've got your earthy amber as well with all these beautiful kind of grassy, earthy inclusions. Love these apples. Very sweet. Got the stars. So excited. Jill. Well done. Good for you, Jill. That's awesome, darling. Well done. Oh my gosh. We've got the owl coming up. I didn't know we had any of those. Oh my gosh. Here we go, straight down. The owl is literally crazy. He's absolutely beautiful. Loving this. Oh, black spinel I'd go for with this. Nice to wear amber, but a different kind of Different kind of tone. Looking amber. Good with bumblebee jasper as well, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. gosh, what a lovely idea. Maker and Tiny Weird, Jay Marie Sorrell's got to. Well done to Elaine, Maker in London. Well done to you. I pl please tell me we we've got the hedgehog. Ah. Baby. Oh, baby hedgehogs. Called hoglets. Hoglets. We've got, we've got hedgehogs back in the garden again now. No. Yeah, we've been, well, we fed them all last year and then we waited and, and we kept feeding even, even when we thought they'd gone. And we, when it got to the point where the magpies were coming down to eat it in the morning, we thought, OK, yeah, the hedgehogs are hibernating. And then as soon as we've seen one in the garden, we started feeding them again. They're, they're back. <laughs> that five, I've got they? so many questions about that. How do you know? <laughs> OK, I'll, I'll have to ask you on the break. They come up to Because we we've got two little dishes and, they're, and they're, they're by the doors from the kitchen table to the patio. Do you see them? Yeah, you can oh, hear gosh. them too if you, ha if you have a window or door open. They're noisy. Oh, I'm going to ask you all about that on the break. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love hedgehogs. Right, here we go. Baltic butterscotch amber pendant. Look at the enormous drill hole going through here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the yellow colour as well. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Mm. It's going to glow. I love that big eyelet. I love the oversized kind of size of it. It's just so cool, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Um, Irene, maker in Lancashire. Judith, well done to you as well. Oh, gosh, we're going lower. We're actually going lower. We're going to finish off with the owl as well, just to let you know. Oh, my gosh, it is like a key ring, isn't it? It's a huge key ring. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I just love it. Beautiful. Monica, Gary, well done to you. Well, I tell you what, if you did use it as a key ring, if you dropped your keys in the water, it would float, wouldn't it? Because Amber tells me it probably wouldn't. Please don't take my advice on that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the keys would definitely drag the Amber down. Please don't take my advice. Well, Carol said, la, 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 la. my priceless, my <laughs> priceless, um, I don't know, I don't know, apartment in Monaco. And I lost the keys all down to Carol. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Coiny, coiny, coin. <laughs> yeah. Stay tasteless. Look, you'll never lose the keys. Carol says. Um, look at... Oh, that is so shiny. Love this. It's the more dramatic version of the previous one, isn't it? Yeah, it's, that's it's kind of what I'm thinking. It's colors. got those darker kind of colors jumping punchy, out. Punchy colors. Yeah, absolutely. Maker, you've got two there. Well done to you and Kent, Helena, Susan, Catherine. You know, as a bracelet, that would look amazing. As a necklace, how, how would you ensure that it stayed like that, Hannah, and didn't kind of flip and, you know, you end up with that? I think um, if you're going to do a necklace, you, you probably wire? have to do it in, in sort of two sides rather than just threading them continuously. Um, yeah. you, you'd need to have like two, two of them and make sure that they are um, kind of leaning in towards the central focal point and then maybe have one larger piece of amber, like a, like a pear drop, and then they'd all taper towards it. Oh, that's how, so yeah. it gives you direction. Yeah, yeah. What a lovely idea. God, and it then feels work with good. gravity, obviously, you know. You feel that. It's just... Yeah. They're nice, aren't they? I, really, I, I like the fact that they're so sort of tactile because it's something to like, muck about with as well. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah, if you're into fiddle jewellery because maybe you're anxious. All. Yeah. And then they, 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 they warm up too as well. Do, do, do they... They, smell, if they get if nice they get warm, warm enough, they then they do. Pine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're really lovely. They smell... Um, that kind of... Like a, like a frankincense-y smell. Yeah. These are amazing. Oh, they sound beautiful. They look beautiful. They they are beautiful. Um, so, a load of different ways in which you can use these. But if you, this is, this is, here's an idea for you. Here's an idea. Go to your craft fair with a load, take a load of wire, put a load of these in a, in a bowl, display them nicely and say, pick your amber, pick your metal colour and I'll make you a, a wrapped pendant. Uh, whilst you wait, you know, in, in however many minutes, in, in, in 10 minutes or so, go and grab a coffee and then come back and you can, you, you can have it. These pieces are amazing. My gosh. Lots of different colours. Butterscotch tones in there. This one's an absolute beauty. It's huge, isn't it? Woo! Oh, they are lovely. Oh, look at that. $29.99 for all these today. That's amazing. Linda and Neil, well done to you. They are gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Do you know what? We're going to give you a fiver back in your pocket. Look at this one here. This is cool. Woo! Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it comes with an authenticity certificate. There you go. Heat and uh, So it's heat and pressure treated from Poland. Fancy cut. There you go. Fancy that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Time. Well, yeah, we don't have time to do, uh, we don't have time or the quantity to do a star buy. This is the most legendary piece of amber we have ever made into a piece of jewellery. Oh, oh, it's so cute. It's the cutest thing in the world. Um, owls. Um, lots of people love owls, and I think there's lots of different reasons for it. Um, they... They're silent flyers, they are, they're nocturnal, they're beautiful. But apparently one of the things, one of the connections that we make with owls is that they're one of the only birds with their eyes in the front of their head, much like humans. Our eyes are here, our owl's eyes are here, whereas other birds have got their eyes on the side of their head. So there's something very human about owls. Yeah, um, yeah. Perceived for like, as like a, a, like a talisman of wisdom, aren't they? Absolutely. As well, you know, knowledge. Um, this is Albert. And, uh, and Owl, but... you can see him sitting on his branch with his little with his little claws. Albert has clearly had a very big day. He is, he is a full owl. Love that amber. <laughs> you love... Oh, look at his eyes. They literally glow, oh, don't they? they? Yeah. Um, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, the back is left open. Sorry, Ethan, I'm, I'm doing a good job here. Sorry, love. Uh, there we go. So it's lovely and open. You've got your sterling silver backing there as well. There's so much silver. Yeah, you're right. There is a, 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 a gigantic amount of sterling silver. Okay. I just love him. I love him. And unbelievably, this price is your deal today. It Honestly, it is amazing. Look at this. $14.99. Literally pop a jump ring in that. Put it on a chain. That's a pendant. That, I mean, that's done. 
So beautiful. He is just, look at how much he glows. Sold out, well done, 14.99. Um, amazing. Right, oh gosh, well brace yourselves because after the break, we have got kits coming up. You thought the nine o'clock kits mm -hmm. were amazing. Just wait until you see the kits coming up after the break, fully transferable and usable with the nine o'clock kits. They're incredible. They're shell pearls, they're seed beads, and Hannah's made some absolutely beautiful pieces. We'll see you in a sec. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. So you know what happened in the nine o'clock hour? Everything went a bit nuts. <laughs> Just prepare yourselves, because that's about to happen again. I love these pieces, Hannah. Love, 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 love these pieces. 
You've had loads of fun with these, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've, um, yeah, I didn't really know which way to go because there are so many different ways you could go with these Millions kits. So of I, I've, ways. I've just nothing's kind of coherent. I've done four completely different sort of bits of jewellery. Spiral, beautiful. Kind of, yeah, that floral design is so cute. It reminds me of the Van Cleef design, actually. Ah, um, love. Oh my gosh. Those two are made from the same kit, aren't so, they? Yeah, so that was an example. They're, they're both made from the same so kit, cool. um, but it's just how you place the colours and which um, seed beads you feature with them will completely change the look of the kit. I, th I think when you've got so much colour to work with in one strand, I think, you know, when you've got the queen of colour here, I think it's so <laughs> useful to see how if you place these colours slightly differently... It's how totally that changes vibe, yeah um we've got three kits they're all gonna go and these as we've been saying all show they go so beautifully with the nine o'clock kits they really do they're beautiful now we've got three kits the first kit we're going to do is which one neary sorry darling oh this one this one which is this one that one yeah ah yep yeah, lovely um and ah uh, hmm. so that's that's the one i've made the floral one from i think which is beautiful that one. and bridal yes. yeah yeah it's so bridal it's so um you said vintage before uh, yeah, the show and i, I think I you're feel right it's got sort of a bit of a vintage vibe to it yeah. I'm, I'm not even sure why it might be just the, the design i've done it's a bit kind of yes kind of an, a nod to sort of do lace you, work maybe oh yeah do you, do you not think it's the colors as well though it, yeah it could be it could be the, now the colors of seed beads you're getting by the way 20 seconds of graphics are going to be live and people are going to go nuts for these so just to warn you by the way, anyone who's come through to get the fire line as well, which has all sold out, obviously, um, you know, you, you're going to be getting these incredible kits. So, 11-0 galvanised gold seed beads. And 11-0 um, cream seed beads. These we never have. No, no. Well, well it, the trouble is things come in um, for projects and then the project tend to sell and then it's gone again. Um, but it's, it's not something that we would have as a, as a regular standard colour. Well, we, we try and get the galvanised whenever we can. They're really yeah. useful. But this cream here, if you do your bead embroidery, instead of using white, which, which can be quite stark, this is a wonderful colour to go with because it's a neutral, it's a, it's a flesh colour almost, isn't it? Great for skin tones if you are going to be doing um your bead embroidery or your loom work as well and you want to do faces it's just absolutely gorgeous and this by the way is your strand of shell pearl now i'm going to pick it up because because it the colors that you're getting here are just absolutely beautiful let's see if we can oh, do these that little mess. <laughs> what does it say beautiful jewelry as ever hannah those kits look so so expensive they're just so very classy gorgeous you Deborah there we go Aww. they're beautiful really they're really nice. gorgeous kits aren't they <laughs> so you get goodness was that a sneeze whoa <laughs> that did not sound like a sneeze that sounded like it's coming from the other end <laughs> okay so, <laughs> so you've got here these gorgeous colors and I think it's just up to you wherever you choose to put these colors they are so beautiful so we've got where where is he where is he I'm trying to find him there he is so we've got your pinkies there you've got your uh, yellowy tones there you've got your delicate delicate pinks there your lavenders back to your kind of stronger pinks there they are just gorgeous they work together really beautifully but you're getting everything in there from your uh, from your um, uh, beautiful amethyst purples to your lighter pinks, to your more salmon pinks, to your buttercup colours, to your beautiful kind of nude colours as well. It's just a gorgeous collection. Um, and then when you see them, uh, yeah, it's a metre of the shell pearl. Then when you see them in the pieces, in that gorgeous necklace that Hannah's made, it makes you go, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, that's just so... That could be bridal, that's mother of the bride. It's vintage, it's got a really... You could... You could go uh, mad like Hannah's done and make an entire necklace, or you could just make one and make a load of gorgeous seed bead and, you could, and you could have shell a, pearl a rings. Ring, yeah, or in the centre of a bracelet, something like that. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, gosh, you yeah, could make so a shell. Nice. Like Ollie's just saying you make a shell pearl marla well, if this you wanted is, to. There's so and much. And this is it. And we yeah. looked, we looked <sighs> at these kits this morning, and Hannah was like, I don't really know what I want to demo because there's lots of different things you could do with these. And I said, do you know what? I don't think it really matters what you do with these, but <laughs> what you demo, because really, these for me, yes, they are kits. Or is it just a great opportunity to stash a meter of shell pearls with a load of really useful seed beads? Make whatever you want. You really could. You really could, whether it's Marla's, whether it's a, a, a shell pearl purse or handbag, whether you're working with it on the loom, whether it's a bubble style piece, whether it's one of your beautiful uh, kind of bib kind of designs yes. you've made oh, yeah. before. I mean, literally, the world is your lobster. It really is. And, um, you know, whether, yeah, that's, that's what Kleshner used to say. Yes. God lover. Yeah. <laughs> God lover. Um, and whether you And whether you choose to... Whether you choose to um, uh, kind of follow the tuition which Hannah's going to give you today or just go, right, well, that's a mala. Those are beady beads. That's my bridal piece. I'm making a, 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 a beaded bag with this. There's so much opportunity here. This is not prescriptive. You do whatever you want with it. $29.99. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's so brilliant. good. Brilliant. Oh, my God. I mean, the amount of shell pearls you get is incredible. Now, Neary, we did see... Oh, no, it's not with this kit. It's with one of the other kits. Um, with this, I've got a tube of seed beads coming up, in one of the, um, coming up in one of the other kits today, which is basically this tube of seed beads, I believe. The Transparent tube. taupe. Yeah. yeah. Which is basically this tube of seed beads. I found this tube of seed beads online, and it was a tenner. I did send you the photograph, Neri. It is the worst photograph I have ever taken, but I will, <laughs> I will try and find it. Now, we're at $29.99. Oh, no, we're not done. Sorry, that's a terrible photograph. I'm embarrassed by that. That's just... I took... It was a photograph of a screen. <laughs> I know. It's an awful photo. Oh, never mind. Um, but the, the, point try, the point I was trying to make was... <laughs> the seed beads alone in these kits are worth, you know, over 20 quid just for the seed beads, okay? And then you've got the shell pearl. You're not trying to tell me that these shell pearls, this strand, this meter of shell pearl is what, like eight quid? Absolutely no way. Over 160 beads on that strand, by the way. Love that kind of salmon pink colour. I think that's so lovely. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really nice. Okay. Here we go. Price going down. Oh, thank you, Neary. That's better. <laughs> That's a much better photo. Seed beads and champagne Duracoat mat, um, 10.45. You know, look at this now. This is crazy because now we're taking it to £10 per tube and the strand is £1.99. That now ceases to be a kit for me. That's now a bundle. That's a stashable bundle. There's so many people coming through. Now, of course, with, the, with these kits, we price them accordingly because we want you to be able to afford to get all of these. Look at all these gorgeous colours together. Look at all these beautiful tones together. You've got all of that. You've got all of that. Put all those together. You will literally be able to make Joseph and his amazing <laughs> Technicolor shell pearl suit. It is just incredible. You've got all the seed beads. You've got the nine o'clock kits as well. Oh, got the wrong ones. You've got the nine o'clock kits as well with all the gorgeous lucite flowers on, which will go so beautifully with it as well. Twenty-one ninety-nine is not your price. <laughs> <laughs> right, Hannah, if I'm being honest, that little glance I gave you is because I thought that's where we were going to I stop. I thought that's where we're stopping as well, Mr Neary. <laughs> <laughs> OK. We are taking the price point <laughs> down again. Oh, Neary, what have you done? These are so expensive looking. They are so beautiful. Deborah said it absolutely, uh, you know, that they, they look, you know, they're such expensive looking pieces. Fantastic price, Hannah. I'm sure you're not going to charge $21.99 for any of those pieces. Getting me some more, says Deborah. Yes, Deborah, you go for it, lovely. All the way down. You know where we're going to go. We're going to go under £20. Makes no sense. No <laughs> sense. No sense whatsoever. So basically, oh, if you look at the price of 11 OC beads elsewhere, 
That's your seed beads. And then you still got to pay a bit more. Um, and then you, uh, yeah, and you, and, and we, um, are we giving you shell pearl as well? It's incredible. Nineteen ninety nine, absolutely. That's, that is phenomenal value. That really is amazing. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, I mean, that, that, it, um, well, is it a meter? Is it longer than a meter? It's about. I think it's about a meter. It says a meter. Yeah. I, mm, I, I think we are very off sometimes we, on our we, measurements. We, I think we're under promise and over deliver. I think that's a bit more. Yeah, I do. So you get a we few, measure it. Get a few extras. Yeah, absolutely. And then the seed beads, these are going to go on forever, aren't they? I know. Well, I mean, I, I, I've got seed beads all over my house. I'm <laughs> sick of them. But, That's exactly um, it. Yeah, it? it's just one of those things, isn't it? Like, if, you, if you've got them there, then you can use them, can't you? And, yeah. and it's, it's just the value of the seed beads. If you, if you know about seed beads, then you know that we're good value anyway. But I think to, when we put things in kits, we're allowed to, to play with price points. And we, we end up with, like, incredibly, incredibly good value. Absolutely. It's one metre, two centimetres. Oh, <laughs> A hundred and two centimetres. There we go. That's just great, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Checking out the baskets. You're just loving it. It's just got, you've got to check out because these are absolutely flying. Um, uh, Ollie is showing you the baskets there. It is literally, uh, it's stacked. It's stacked in baskets. Check out as soon as you can, everybody. Well done. And with all the gorgeous lucites. Oh, is it with that? Sorry, yeah. love. It is. I've got the wrong ones, haven't I? There we go. No. That one. That one. <laughs> and great for Easter, great for your seasonal wreaths, great for your uh, fascinators, great for any time of year. This is just awesome. Beautiful. Well done. Let's do you a minute clock to close, shall we, everybody? Well done, everyone. That is just gorgeous. Just purely because we've got to move on and it's 20 past and we've got to move on. So well done, everybody. Two more kits to do. Okay. Okay, well done everybody. 40 odd seconds and we're taking the details away. Baskets, Dawn, Tracy, Julie, Maker, Donna, Maker, Chris, Maker, Julie, Maker, Linda. Maker's got 15 in their basket. What are you doing, love? Marianne, check out. Well done. Julie, check out. Dawn, well done. <clears throat> Loads of there. Lorna's has still got it in their basket. Well done. Okay. <laughs> well done. Now, this kit is about to sell out. Well done. Absolutely brill. Wh which one are we doing next, Neary? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> was that English? I don't think that so. wasn't that was English, more of a, was it? More of a noise. <laughs> the pastel one. <laughs> are you all right, Tom? Words. <laughs> Oh, he's got no words Bless left. Him. Bless him. So these shell pearls, oh baby. I love that necklace that you've made, Hannah. Thanks. I think that's so sweet. I love that candy stripe of kind of blue. It's almost like um, when you get toothpaste and you squeeze it out and it's got the little stripe. Yeah, and you get that <laughs> twisting. Uh, it's twisting gorgeous, twisting isn't it? I mean, so that, that necklace, I've actually mm. taken two of the colours from the strand out because I was using them in the, in the first demo um just as a second sample so this is only You've taking the purple this is out. only three of the five colors that are in that strand oh um so i mean it's just again it just goes to show so i mean i've, I've focused more heavily uh, cool. on on the sort of like the the minty um freshness of that that lovely seed bead so it looks quite green but if you wanted to the whole thing could look more um kind of like pastely with purples and you could have the whites in there as well um, and the sort of like the ivory kind of tone as well. And yes. it, it, would be a, it would be a different <clears throat> look altogether. Um, so I seed, like the green. <laughs> yeah, the green is, yeah, yeah. the seed bead Kelly you're getting here is this gorgeous kind of transparent green, which is that lovely kind of turquoisey tone. And then pure white, um, opaque seed bees, uh, which are just gorgeous. These are lined, aren't they? They look like they're yeah. white lined almost. It, 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 it's a funny color. Um, it's really, really lovely, like sea glass. Gorgeous kit. That, now, that does go together so beautifully. And if you didn't want to, you know, if, if, if you wanted to add anything else onto it, then you absolutely could do. I'm just thinking, trying to think back to the Lucite flowers. They were, we did blue ones, didn't we? White ones, pink ones. Yeah, so, so they were, there was um, kind of like a, a green, purple and blue mix, which looks very lovely with this. Yes. And then there's also um, the sort of like the pink with whites, which looks very lovely very with Very nice. Um, there's an orange and as then well. Not even a red, but like a... There's, there's an, 
like an orange and a coral. Yes. Which would go with that, and and then the red. Mm. Um, so you can you can mix and match them, and they they all look fabulous together. Oh look, isn't that lovely? Yeah, there's a bit of a corally colour that pinky there, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Um, Beautiful. Here we go. Price point coming in. Judith's got to make a joke. Glitter of sloth. Well done to you. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Ollie's finding it difficult to talk. Here he's lost for words. Oh, gosh. Four and a half hours in, he's lost for words. You know what? That's just, it's barely... It's just, the man needs a coffee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another coffee, Ollie. Here we go. Love all of that. That's so lovely. Well done. I've got £19.99. That is brilliant. Gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah, it really is flying out the door. Well done. And, you know, if you are looking at this and thinking, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to make this with it or do that with it. N message us. Let us know. Share your inspiration because, honestly, that I think, you know, people are obviously going to be inspired by Hannah's demo, but obviously... When you've got really great components like this at such phenomenal prices, it just inspires you just to go, oh, I'm going to have a go at making that seed bead bag or that twisted design I've never done. Um, and the best news is, discount deal. Oh, my god! Now, gosh. this is silly. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh you know, you don't have to do this. Look at the amount of people coming through. Actor, singer, well done to you, Marsha. Well done to you, Joyce. <clears throat> we, oh. Chris in Cleveland, Chris in Yorkshire, Denise, Heather, Deborah, Maker, Nicolette, Maker, Julie, Tracy, Maker, Alison, Judith, Alison, Suzanne. Just enjoy it. Um, this is flying. I can't believe you've just done that. No, neither can I. Um, this doesn't cover the cost of anything in this kit. We, in, in fact, nearest, yeah, we're making no money on this whatsoever. There's nothing <laughs> in it for us. Nothing in it. Nothing in it for us. Enjoy. Well done. Oh, Absolutely point, amazing. Even if they don't know what they're going to do with it, that that's just get it. Just it's look at it as way too good at, a deal. That, at that level. I mean, they're way too good a deal to miss out on. Shell, shell pearls, and you get all those different colours. They are they're uniform. You know that you know the size. You, they're coming with seed beads. You can make so much out of one. You really can. Kit. You really can. That you really can. Crazy low price. That is amazing. Well done. Thank you so much for that, Neary. That is amazing. And do you know what's so brilliant as well? Is it's it, you know much like the Lucite flag kits this morning in the nine o'clock hour, Hannah. Is that it's giving people access to work with things and to make jewellery for prices. Um, well, this is a, a lovely comment that um, what's her name? Debbie Kershaw um, uh, says quite often. Jewellery maker gives you the opportunity to make jewellery you wouldn't be able to afford. Yes. Yeah. There it, you go. It does. It really mm. does. It's, 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 it's wonderful. I, you, know that, you know, the gorgeous pieces that Hannah's made there, you know, they're kind of hundreds of pounds worth of jewellery. I, wouldn't, I just wouldn't be, able to afford to, wouldn't be able to afford to buy it, but I can afford to make it because it's cost less than 20 quid. That's, that's the key. That's the really brilliant thing here at Jewellery Maker. Well done to Gaynor, well done to um, Helen, Maureen, Julie, Elaine, Marion, Pauline, Chris, Nicolette, Tracy, Maker. Well done. Check out as soon as you can, everybody. You're doing an absolutely brilliant job today. We've got one final kit. And then we've got the demo as well, which is just lovely. Uh, gorgeous. Minute to close. Well done, Helen. Uh, Rupal, well done to you as well. Pauline's taken two. Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Well done to you. Donna's taking this as well. So's a Wendy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. £17.99. pence. Still got loads in baskets. Check out as soon as you can, everybody. Beautiful. So many different ways in which you can take this. Well done, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. All oh, more people joining us. That's great to see Joe in Worcestershire, Ali in the Forest of Dean as well. Absolutely fantastic. What a treat for you today. Go, go. Gillian in Shropshire. There she is. Well done, everybody. Absolutely awesome. Um, and you get a 30 day money back guarantee with everything that you get from uh, JM as well. Not that you're going to need it. Well, I, I, I don't think you'd need to. You know, there's so much you can make. Imagine if you made um, like a kiss cross necklace out of this, and, mm. and you could, you know, you, you have little stations of kiss cross in different colours if you wanted. Or you could, I, I mean, I, I've done spiral weaves, I've done flat weaves, I've made flowers. There's, there's so many things you could do. But even if you were just to, to thread it, literally just strand it, and then use mm. the seed beads as spacers. Yeah. I mean, the colours are, are so like sort of fresh and spring light and cheerful. Yeah. You could literally just make the really long necklace, wrap it around a couple of times, and, and you've got like that lovely layered look in the sort of 
well, I think I think I called that one easy breezy because I, I was thinking, ah, you know, nice, nice, fresh easy spring. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. Oh, we're we moving on to the next kit. Yeah. Oh gosh, here we go. And this, I think this one's Twilight, this one. Did I call it Twilight? Oh, was it called Twilight? I know. So easy sort of, breezy. I sort of went through the day. So we've got easy breezy, summer, summer sun, and then, and then oh, something to do, do with... You know what my kids have started to listen to? Um, Twilight. Um, they, uh, I, I, they came on my Spotify ages ago. Bill Withers' Lovely Day. Oh, what a great song yes. that was. And it's, if you listen to the lyrics... Did they hold that last note? Well, they try to. <laughs> and I'm literally looking in my rear view mirror. And, and they're, they're going, both kind Yay! of purple. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're not Bill, you're not Bill Withers. Uh, but I mean, what an absolute... Oh. <laughs> when the day that lies ahead of me seems impossible to take, um, some, but somebody that other than me... Oh, I can't remember what Some, the lyrics are. Something like. inside Beautiful. of Beautiful. And, and then I look at you, and I know it's going to be a lovely day. Oh, I've got goosebumps. I just love that song. And they're going, day! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one can hold that note as long as Bill Withers, let me tell you. Right, this is gorgeous. Um, this is such a, ooh, rich evening, beautiful, expensive-looking kit. I don't know what colours I love the most. The Tahitian colours, the bronzes, the golds, the whites, the blues, the incre... These are gorgeous colours. Buttermilk kind of yellowy gold. And then the seed beads. I mean, wow. Seed beads, Mayuki yellow orange seed beads, which are these ones here. Like a really lovely uh, gold leaf colour. And then transparent taupe. These are 11 O's. Now, these are the ones that we found on, on, um, on the internet and they were, and they were 10 pounds 45. Um, I mean, it's just, it's, you know, it is the price it is. And people buy them, obviously. Um, we're very lucky here. Oh, hello. So I didn't believe you this morning when you said they're made with the same kit. But, but you, can, you can see it now. Now that you've got all the colours on the strand, you, like, so with, with the two different bracelets, I just wanted to show, because you've got the two different options of the seed beads there. If you want to, you can focus on either a cooler tone or a warmer tone with the same strand. Or if you thread them together, you get that lovely sort of moody kind of like twilighty kind of like... Kind of squally, stormy kind of yeah. colour. But isn't it amazing? And this is why, you know, Hannah's so good with colour. She's such a valuable asset to JM because... The way that you look at colour and you can make things look... I mean, Susie did it once with a, with a gorgeous Mookite kit. Mookite's the same kind of thing. Yes. You get two different palettes there. She made the same jewellery, one using the rich colours, one using the kind of really lovely pastels. Looked like two completely different gemstones and two completely different kind of suites of jewellery. But you can do exactly this. I love the seed beads in this kit. I think they're wonderful. They're neutral, but they're rich. They're opulent. It's a... It's a gorgeous kit. Well done. Alison and Kent. What about Alison and Kent? Will Neary match the price? Yes, he will. Just did. He's, he's just done it. Well done. <laughs> he's just done it. Well done, Gordon. Well done, Julie. Well done. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful kit. Amazing kits. Fab prices. Jill. Hi, Liam, the Prince of Pride. Oh, just take that off. Don't flirt with Liam. He's He'll not be back even in here. here. <laughs> Do you know what, Jill? Just, do you know, just stop it. Actually, I'm sure he'd love it if you <laughs> He would absolutely love it. You are just encouraging him. Message back when hobby makes it. Message back when someone cares. When someone cares. I'm Aww. joking. <laughs> no, I absolutely, we love Liam. That's his heart. But my gosh, he's, he's the only person, one of the only people I know. <laughs> that was the strangest accent I've ever heard. Um, uh, Liam is the only person I know who gives himself names. The Plummet Prince, the bad boy of JM. Sexy Liam. I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> he's gorgeous. We love him. But, you know, you can't give yourself those he's names. He's got that little cheeky smile, though, isn't he? If the you, Plummet you... Prince. That's what? another one. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Enough said. The Viscount of Value. Oh, isn't a Viscount a biscuit anyway? I mean, you know. <laughs> 1799. Well done. About to sell out. Gorgeous. Right. Let's move away from Liam and let's move towards Hannah's demo. <laughs> Have you written something in Braille or Morse code there? Yeah, it's a secret code. What's she written? Help me, need 
coffee. <laughs> I love it. Ooh. It's all right. King has already rescued me. I've got some. <laughs> These prices are ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Send help. Oh. Well, there you go. I okay. saw a lovely, sorry, I saw a lovely clip very quickly of a of, of a lady, a, a blind lady who was in a restaurant. It was her birthday, and they wrote in um, in chocolates, uh, kind of, um, and, and and they put in uh, put it in the freezer so it froze oh. in Braille. Happy birthday! Oh, that's so nice. sweet. It was just oh, oh gorgeous. Anyway. Hannah. Okay, so I couldn't I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. So I'm I thought I'd Lovely. I'd start off by showing you some of the flowers. Oh, depending on what time we've got, I can show you bits of the other techniques as well. Look, yes, they're all Jill. flirting with Liam Love now. Him. He's gonna be back in here, isn't he? Of course he is. Yeah. He's gonna be in here right now. Coming to, to see his adoring fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make him worse, you know. <laughs> right. So um the, these um flowers um all have little uh five points to them. So I'm I'm just gonna start off. Um, with each of the colours and I'm going to just thread them um, together. So I've got a long piece of thread and a beading needle. I'm just going to push these on. The thing with um, shell pearls is you might find that some of the holes um, are a little bit blocked so you could use a reamer or just push the needle through and they will go through. Um, it's just to do with the way they're created I think. Um, so I'm going to pass these on. One, two, three, four and five like that and I'm going to bring this down to the other end of my thread and I'm going to go back through all of the shell poles again which can be a little bit um, tricky but I'm just going to give it a go because I think it's worth reinforcing them one two three four five oh look at that it behaved itself straight well through all done. of them so pull your thread through <laughs> And then you can um, just make sure that that thread's nice and secure all the way through. And then you can tie multiple knots um, just because it's nice to make sure that they're all going to be um, secure in themselves because I've used them as individual components. So it's not like one continuous thread um, that goes all the way through the necklace. It's, it's lots of little pieces and then thread them together afterwards. So I've got a few little knots there. Then I'm going to pass this through the next one. And then I'm going to pick uh, one of the other colours just to sort of contrast as a central bead. Um, so I might go for that lovely corally colour. Pop that on. And then you're looking for one of these two um, beads on the other side so that you can go through it to create sort of a figure of eight. Okay. So I'm going to go through that one. It's got a little bit sticking out. Hang on. Pass that through. So straight across the middle of the flower and then help it to sit in the middle. And then where you've gone in through the one side of the bead, you're then coming obviously out the other, you then need to go back through the same central bead you've just added. Lovely. Hold it in place, pull that thread. Make sure you've got your, um, your thread sitting either side and then um, you want to find the, uh, the bead that you started from and you're gonna go through the other side of that as well. So both of the, the anchor points, if you like, are secure on both sides and it will hold it centrally like that. And then I'm just going to go through to where that tail end, end is and do one more little knot so I can trim that tail end away. And then I'm going to start embellishing the outside edges. So again, you don't have to do this many knots if you don't want to, but I, I, I did quite a few all the way around just to make sure. And then I trim that little tail end away. And then I'm going to go through one of my shell pearls mm -hmm. and I'm going to pick one of my two seed bead colours to become like sort of the outer edge, so the embellishment, or you can alternate. So I'm just going to count how many I've got on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. Okay. I think it's seven. So I'm going to try alternating, see what happens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're going to go in a loop. So back through the same shell pearl again. And hopefully there's enough to sit around the outside edge of that um, petal, if you like. Mm. Yeah, I quite like that. Cute. And then I'm going to go through <coughs> the next um, shell pearl. Yes. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Oh, Hannah. So one, two, three, four, Cute. five, six, seven. And then again, making sure you come through the same shell pearl again in a loop with the same number of seed beads and you should get a nice uniform 
look. Yeah, nice. And that's a great thing about shell pearl, isn't it? Yeah, because you know they're all going to be know, the same size. They, so if yeah. you're doing like a, a weaving technique or anything like that, um, it, you know it's going to, to, to fit nicely, neatly. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So also I'm going all the way around with this one. And then through the next one. It's quite satisfying, really, because you make all these little components. I did, I did have a little clip of, um, little video clip of all, all the little flowers sort of sat, yeah. like pretty maids in a row, <laughs> <laughs> on, on my beading board. Uh, four, five, six, seven, and that one, and then the last one on this little flower. One, two, gorgeous. Three, four, Love that palette. Five, six, seven. It's just fresh, isn't it? It's yes. nice, fresh and spring like. Fresh. fresh. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once you've got all, all the way around, what I found is that you could have the flower that way around. Yes. Um, but I actually prefer it that way around. I think it looks more realistic. So a little, you it know. It does. It's got that. You've got that shape. little sort of indent shape so mm. i'm just going to pass my thread um along uh, the center well if i just get it away from the knot is what i'm trying to say so i'm moving that along and then i'm just going to tuck it underneath one of the existing stitches to tie it off so i'm going to put it between those two pearls in there and get it all the way through if i can go on go underneath there we go Okay, and then if you take your thread, I always put my hand inside the loop of thread, take hold of the needle, and then you know it's going to tie a little knot. And then make sure that your knot goes between those two petals so it stays close to the shell pearl. And you might do a couple of sort of like reinforcing um, knots as well. Oh, pulled that one quite close. Thankfully, it went where I wanted it to. Gorgeous. And then before I trim that away, I'm just gonna pass that once more through a shell pearl. Make Lovely. sure it's all tucked away and that just hides all the knots. And then I'm going to trim that away. And I'm going to make a series of, well, I don't know. Shall I make a series of them? I was going to make a series of them and then, yes. and then just show you how I thread them together at the back. So if I make another one. Go so on then. They're so sweet. That They're really cute, just aren't gorgeous they? for a little ring. Beautiful for yeah. um, uh, the centre to a brooch, like a little... maybe. Whilst you're making another one, why don't we bring a strand of shell yeah, pearls sure. there? I've got... Uh, I've got two strands of shell pearl. Do you want to do both of these, Neary? Should we do the big ones? Big bad boys. Yeah. Bad these boys, are... bad boys. What you got to <laughs> These are gold, like spinning straw into gold gold. They are, they are like the Midas touch, like Mayan gold. They are so, so, so gold. Um, they're eight mils in size. What are the ones that we had in the kits? They were six, six weren't mil. they? Six, yeah. So a little bit, a little bit bigger, which is, which is just, you know, a nice way of using a different size. They are really, really gold. Oh my they word! Go they go really well with the, the twilight kits. Got that, that, yes, that color that in. Yes, that color in. Yes, yeah. you're absolutely right. That would be really, really nice. Um, Maker in Cheshire, you're through. Well done to you. Okay, price point coming down. Uh, Wendy, well done to you as well. By the way, if it tempts you even more, I've got these baby ones coming up. I've got the little baby ones in gold as well. So we're going to be playing these as well. Just so if you want to use this with the six mils and then incorporate them with the little baby ones, then you absolutely can do. Three ninety nine. There you go. Well done, Diane, maker in Cheshire, Francis in Somerset. Uh, well done to you. Uh, Wendy, you want two of these? Check out my lovely. Somerset, you want two? Check out my lovely. Well done. Gorgeous. Lovely, lovely size. These, if you just did that kind of floral design, had this in the centre and used um, black seed beads, that would give you a really lovely look. Wouldn't Very it? striking, actually, yeah. Three mil rounds now of your gold shell pearl rounds. These are, st look at this, I love these. They're so cute. Little bracelets. Oh, they're so sweet. Little individual links as well. Two ninety nine. You could literally, yeah, beady beads. That's a nice idea. You could, if you wanted to, just make them into little loops and make them into little 
kind of little jump rings almost. Do you know what I mean? That's, you know, why not? Diane, Sarah, Wendy, Andrea, Nora. Uh, a couple of makers. Rupal, well done to you. Jennifer, absolutely gorgeous. Linda, well done to you. How you doing, Hannah? I'm all right. I'm just working my way around the next flower. Working away. And again, just making sure I've got like seven little, seven little seed beads around the outer edge. One, two, three. Gorgeous. Four, nice with the white seven. background on, with the it's, white edging. So this is the thing. It's like it really does change how they look depending totally. on where you, you place the colours. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it can really sort of emphasise one colour or another depending on what's more, more prominent. So you yeah. can have some that look quite sort of delicate and um, feminine, whereas that, that, I think that, one, that one's quite loud because it's got a sort of like the peppermint yes. kind of edging to yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, I mean, I, fa I found that with the um, the kit that I, I actually did the necklace with. Three, four, five, sorry, six, seven. Um, it, it was just, I couldn't decide what colourway I wanted to do. So I thought I'm just going to keep making them in all different colourways and then put them together as a kind of a, a, a mismatch just because I think they look lovely with variety. So, you know, the, the, more, you, um, the more you create, the more combinations you sort of give yourself. Just re again reinforcing that before I tie it off. Going through the shell pearls and then through the stitch between the two shell pearls just to secure it. Look at that. Marin in Dorset's got two. Malcolm's got two. Sarah's got two. Hamida's got three. Well done. Loads and loads and loads of you coming through. Well done. I bet everybody makes different stuff as well. Yeah, and that's what I'm looking forward to seeing, um, particularly with these kits, I think, but also with the nine o'clock kits as well, because, of course, I, th I think, you know, you can make jewellery with them, but if you wanted to make it stuff, interior design or wreaths or Easter bonnets or whatever, or table centres, then you absolutely can do. I'd love to see people using these kits with the nine o'clock kits as well. It's going to be nice to see what people make with all of these, isn't it? Jane Marie, Julie, Gail, Marion, well done to you. Loads of people coming through to get the gold shell pearl rounds. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. So once you've done this, how do you connect them together then, Hannah? Um, so it is literally a case of, of threading through the back. So shall I, shall I show you? Yeah, with these I'd love two? to see. So uh, I, think, I think I did actually use just beading thread um, to okay. hold them all together. So a little bit of my, my beading thread. And then, obviously, long enough to, to, to make your necklace with. Yes. And then I sort of flip them all over that way. And then you, you've got options, really. So either you could go through the top one. So if you, if you think of it as like a five-point oh, star, nice. yeah. um, you can either go through the top shell pearl, which will make them all hang sort of down slightly. Um, but I made life difficult for myself because I thought it looked cute. Um, it was actually going through the central ones. And then what you'll find is it, it makes them flop about the place a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you're OK with it doing that, um, that's that's fine. But if not, then I've, I've tried to reinforce them at the back. OK. So I'll just pop a couple of one, two. I'll just do a few of these just between the two. So I put shell pearls between them as well to space them out. Mm -hmm. um, also to give it a bit more stability. So They're so sweet, aren't they? They're cute, aren't they? Yes. And this is like a good example of where seed beads become spaces rather than seed beads. Isn't it just? That's great. So pop these. I've gone for the like ivory kind of coloured ones. Yeah, in there. lovely. And as long as they're equidistant around your um, necklace, then they're, they're going to look fine. And it's up to you how long you make it. But I'll show you in a second the back of the necklace as well, where I've tried to reinforce it. And it's, it's kind of worked, but not really. So mm. I'd, I'll, I'll be open and honest about it and show, sort of show you what I mean. But... But you've oh. dealt with it. You've you've tried. You've tried yeah. to kind of uh, kind of find yeah. a way. Because I agree with you. I think the other way up, they look a little bit more realistic. Yeah. So if you turn them that way up, I, I just think they, they look so sweet. Much nicer. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I'd if I if I can take the the one off the bust for a minute and just show you. Um, sorry, I'm gonna. Is that okay? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Yep. So if you look at this. So. This is the side that I, I wanted to show with, like, with the top with a little sort of indented bit. And because they sort of move around like that, um, I, was, I was thinking, do I want them to sit sort of so they face straight up or do I want them to move around? 
and I was undecided. So I, I've tried to sort of create like a little sort of table underneath for yeah, them to sit on. Yeah, no, that's really, that's really well and done, actually, actually. It kind of works. So all I've done is, is once I've got all of these um, flowers threaded on, I've then gone through the same line of threading, mm -hmm. um, but with a, a fine needle and, and some line, And I've just created sort of a little... Um, Oh, it's almost like an eye on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. So, yeah. so they're, they're completely fluid. They all, they all move. But because you've got um, a couple of um, your little, well, I've, I've used bicones, but if you use like a little three mil bead or something like that, then you're you're sort of creating stabilizers for the flower. Stabilizer. Yes, yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. So um, if you want them to stay completely flat, it would be a good idea to then stitch these in place, mm. sort of through the shell pearl and through the back as well. But if you're okay with them kind of moving about, um, then I think Gorgeous. it's kind of okay like that. And also, I actually quite like it. So I think you can't really see from a distance that it's not part of the flower. Absolutely. You still see the outline yeah. and, it, and it almost adds to it. So if one flips over, it doesn't really matter. That's so, so lovely. So, though. yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank there you, you go. so much, Hannah. No problem. And like Hannah says, I can't wait to see what you make with these kits. They're just absolutely brilliant. Well done. They've been such popular kits. Right, let's do... <laughs> We've got this incredible jade carving. It's gonna we're gonna make it into a star Ooh. buy. It's an absolute beauty. Um, don't go anywhere. Here we go. Um, this is this is another one of these carvings which you look at and just go, oh my gosh, I just love every part of this. I love the borderlessness of it. It's not even a word. That's okay. Yeah, it is. I, um, I love the jet piano black shine. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, you've got this. Is it this way up, or is it the other way? It's entirely up to you. Um, beautiful flower. Um, and then yeah, you've got this gorgeous kind of almost bulb design. Can you see that there? with the tendrils going at you, lovely kind of bulb designs. It's just, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This reminds me very, very much, because this morning we, we were gonna bring you, we didn't have a chance to bring you any, but we were going to bring you some jet. And this reminds me very much of the kind of marker site and the jet designs that Queen Victoria would have been wearing during her, morn, her, during her period of mourning. But, um, but the, but yeah, the detailed kind of uh, malachite jet kind of pieces. It's quite Victoriana, this piece. I really, really like it. It's not ultra modern. Um, also, what I love is, again, you know, it's got that really lovely look of yesteryear about it. We were saying it reminded us of kind of illustrations that you get in kind of um, fairy tale books. It's got those lovely kind of tendrils. It's just... It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's got the most wonderful apertures going through it as well, which you can choose to use. You can choose to completely ignore. It's entirely up to you. It's a nice thing to have. And it's what it's doing is it's showcasing the level of skill needed to carve these pieces. We're at 299, six chances left. Oh, gosh, that's not many at all. Um, already interest there, which is great to see. Jenny and Dulcet's already through. That's great to see. Okay. Now, we're going to give you a 60-second clock. I love this. Um, yes, it's a pendant. I think as well, though, for me, if I was going to be making one of those lovely pearl by the yards or jade by the yards or whatever, shell pearl by the yards, whatever, I'd have this as a little station, kind of an asymmetrical station. I'd rather have it that way than a pendant. I don't know why, just my, my own personal preference. Um, I love the shape of it as well. That elongated shape, it reminds me of a vintage mirror almost, like a lovely hand mirror. It looks and feels antique, doesn't it? It's like the kind of, the detail you get on those beautiful dining chairs, the kind of carved say, wooden like dining cut, chairs. Like on, on like an inlay part of a chair, yeah, on, in the back, on the back. Or, on, or on the sides, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah it really, is, isn't it? Really like a, like a, an exercise in kind of wood turning and carving. It's just got a really lovely quality to it. Also, you know those lovely ornate fireplace surrounds that you see sometimes? It's got that lovely kind of ornate nature about it. Moira, well done to you in Cumbria. It is black jade. It's extraordinarily rare and valuable. Obviously, you know, this is something which we, you know, we've made you aware of lots and lots of times. But I just think this particular one has got just such a beautiful design. So different to anything else we've done so far. One, two, nine. 
Your individual split payments are 32.25. That's amazing. Five chances remaining. That's all we've got today. Absolutely phenomenal. Well done. Do check your baskets out as soon as you can. Last three chances that we've got available there. Well done. I've got bidders in Manchester, London, Cumbria. Well done to you as well. Dorset's checked out. That's great. Three chances. Susan in Essex as well. I've got you there. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Again, great for earrings, great for prong setting. Doesn't need to, you know, don't necessarily take, you know, my advice is using it as a pendant. If you want to wear that as a ring, you go for it. If you want to wear it as earrings, you know, to these, um, absolutely wonderful for black jade floral earrings. Gorgeous. We're going to do the marquees very, very quickly. Gosh, we're going to have to be very quick with this, but we are going to do the marquees very quickly. The marquees or the, yeah, this is beautiful. This, de this definitely does have a border. And it's just lovely. It's, it reminds me of a screen, you know, like a, yeah, like a, yes, people used to have them in their bedrooms, yeah, didn't they? Lovely changing screens, screens. Like that. in yeah. their boudoirs. Yes. In a boudoir. <laughs> um, and, uh, it's beautiful. £129, split payments of 32 25 Again, carved on both sides. This would be so nice, kind of glued onto a... Um, a box, a lovely jewellery box, maybe, or a, or a leather, a, a kind of a leather-bound book, something like that. Really, a lovely journal. Gosh, that's got such beautiful depth and shine there. It's just lovely. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely. There you go. Okay, coming in. Three, two, one. Here we go. Really? Is that is that right? Okay. Enjoy. Seventy-nine ninety-nine. Gosh, too low. Never mind. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well done. <laughs> These are crazy, crazy deals today. Well done, everyone. This is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? That's for a black jade carving. Seventy-nine ninety-nine. Susan's through. Well done to you, my lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. I'm just looking at it with the gold shell pearls as well. Look at that. Look at it with the gorgeous golden shell pearls. You know, not necessarily with the shell pearls, but with that gorgeous golden colour. Doesn't that look great? It's striking. It's imperial, it? doesn't it? It's just glorious. Well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. Um, go, 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 go. You get your 30-day money-back guarantee as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Listen, you're going to have a fantastic afternoon on Hobby Maker. Um, it's going to be so much fun. Hannah, thank you so much for today. That's all right. Thanks You've for having me. You've been an absolute me. legend. Amazing nine o'clock kits, amazing 12 o'clock kits. And together, if there's any of these kits left, please get them, put them together. You're going to have so much fun over the Easter holidays with, uh, with these gorgeous kits. They're going to be absolutely wonderful together for kids. For, for people of all ages, they're just going to be brilliant. I can't wait to see people's designs on the Wall of Fame. That's the best part. Yes, it? definitely. Always the best part. Thank you so much for joining us. The, listen, there's been a lot put on the website as well. Lots of amber. So if there's anything else, Nira's about to put a load more deals on the website as well. So do, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Loads more things going on our website, which of course is www.jewelrymaker.com. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic afternoon. Do not go anywhere. Um, enjoy uh, the rest of your afternoon. Thank you so much, Hannah. You've been and brilliant. Happy Easter, Val. Happy Easter, yes. sweetheart. Yes. We'll see you after the bank holiday. See you in a bit, guys, and uh, join uh, the team after the break. <laughs> 